Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. You have found the internet's best live break room featuring signed sports memorabilia and autographed sports cards inside the most exciting mystery boxes. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down to make it as easy as possible to understand. First, head to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interests. Most of the series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win an item at an extremely discounted rate. Then click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you have completed your checkout, tune into the next available live breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at 7 p.m. Central Time any day of the week or 4 p.m. on weekdays along with 2 p.m. on weekends. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen. When your specific break begins, your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once the randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations. You just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia that will be shipped straight to your door. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Most of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes can either be shipped directly to your door or opened on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our Signature Points Club. This exclusive club earns you points towards specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. Well, the time has finally come. Let's get break. Hello and welcome to Ultimate Autographs. I'm Common here with Colin. Ready for a big show tonight? Down to 15 boxes in the diamonds. So many huge headliners left like Joe Burrow, Trevor Lawrence, Randy Moss, and more. Cannot wait to rip some diamonds tonight. Every headliner still out there in the replica helmets. And we have four headliners left and 10 boxes left in the slab cards. Names like Peyton Manning, Jalen Hurts, and more. Mini Helmets got some big names left. Basketballs uh, got some of the best big men ever in that series. Thirsty Thursday tonight, Colin. Buy five break spots. Select the jersey with the sixth spot. Get that spot for free. Must be the same order. Must be the same cart. I'm ready for some action tonight, Colin. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. We got that double up for the slabs, too. Uh, four headliners left, I believe. And then what? Devontae Smith. LaShawn McCoy. And Chris Olave. Chris Olave. There's actually 70% chance that a headliner if you count the other names listed. It's going to be crazy. And uh, then a big so. series coming after it. So Absolutely. Uh, loving your wardrobe choice today. Let's go. Stephen Curry and the Warriors. We are both Warrior fans. We don't talk about this enough on the show. I know. <laughs> the fact that we both love the Warriors. We get along. Uh, it's going to be hopefully a good win for Golden State tonight. Uh, looking forward to that action. Sixers, Nets playing right now. Uh, we got Suns, Clippers, NBA playoffs in full swing, NHL playoffs. And we are exactly a week away from the NFL draft, too. Isn't it wild? So, what a crazy time in sports. Good time to be a sports fan. Uh, let's get this party started. Surprisingly, no pre-fills, Colin. Is that right? I think that's right. Ooh. We actually are, I mean, not wide open, but... Jerseys are two away. That's our closest. Other than that, four away on a lot of series. All right. I will drop in the Ultimate Autographs live break page link. Come and get it, guys. I will do the dice roll and the chase, and we'll go ahead and do a top-to-bottom rundown right after that. Uh, so two virtual dice, four and a one. That won't do. Five and a three, eight on the dice roll. My lucky number. There we go. I think we had eight on the dice roll the other day, and we had one of the biggest shows we've had, period, at Ultimate Autographs. Meant to be. Meant to be, baby. Wheel of Names, the chase tonight. We will be chasing. Here's a good one. The slab cards. Uh, so if you're on that slab double, by the way, you get your name in twice on the chase wheel spin. So we'll copy and paste the eight names in uh, one extra time for the chase slab. Uh, so that's good news for you guys. Uh, this, this actually, we could close out the series tonight, Colin. I really... I really see this as potentially closing out tonight. Uh, for 31 bucks, you can get Peyton Manning. 
I think the double is what sixty two. Uh, but still, for Peyton Manning, you know, Jalen Hurts, Josh Jacobs, Kyler Murray, a lot of good options in the slap class. Absolutely, man. Double up opportunities all over. Yes, sir. And I know those Eagle players in the listing, Devontae Smith, LaShawn McCoy, you can pair those guys with Jalen Hurts, of course. Crazy. All righty, so let's go ahead and do the top-to-bottom rundown. We'll start with the slabs, which is coincidentally our closest break right now. So four to go. In the double box break, 10 boxes left, and we have four photo headliners left. Peyton Manning slap card, five-time NFL MVP. That is the most ever. The best regular season player of all time, as I say, the great Peyton Manning. Jalen Hurts, the most money per year of anyone in NFL history. Uh, five years, 251. No, actually, it's 255, I think. Mm -hmm. 255. Uh, 255, the Eagles are committed. Uh, to one of the best quarterbacks in the world, if not the second or third best guy, uh, for sure top five in the NFL, Jalen Hurts. Uh, Kyler Murray on the slap card as well, Pro Bowl quarterback. We have Josh Jacobs, led the league in rushing yards last season. And then other names still in this series, uh, maybe the best rookie receiver this last season, Chris Olave, Devontae Smith, I'm what, about to be his third year, Colin. He is one of the best young receivers in the NFL as well. We have LaShawn McCoy, a fantastic running back. But really, there's 10 boxes left. There's 7 out of 10 chance you get either Olave, Devontae Smith. Uh, let's see. We had LaShawn McCoy, uh, Peyton Manning, Jalen Hurts, uh, Kyler Murray, or Josh Jacobs. Those odds are stacked. Yeah. Uh, stacked for sure in that break. And if you're an Eagles fan and a Card fan, 30% chance at an Eagle. Mm. Might as well go get it. Yeah. Well, sounds like if you weren't producing tonight, if you could legally play the breaks, you'd be playing. I'd be in there. Why wouldn't you be? I'd be in this break, personally, Colin. Welcome to the Jungle Diamond Helmets. Uh, this is the best break we offer. Uh, all authentics, all headliner-worthy names. Uh, for example, that Jamar Chase, which we pulled in the early show, that helmet is worth over $1,000. You can win it for 83 bucks in a single, 166 in a double. The Joe Burrow helmet, yeah, that one's probably worth more than that as well. Uh, so Burrow, who to me is the second best quarterback in the NFL, actually has a winning record head-to-head -head against Patrick Mahomes, which is something very few people can say, if not only Joe Burrow, honestly. It just be Joe Burrow. Uh, he is that good. Uh, such a great player. Such a great young player, such a great future as well for Mr. Burrow. He was a first overall pick, as was Trevor Lawrence. Uh, you know, his first year didn't go great. Year two, got better players around him, got himself a legit coach. Uh, second year in the system, uh, he was a top 10 quarterback at least the back half of last year in the NFL. Started playing like the number one pick. Then he was four picks in the first half of his first playoff game. Comes back and wins the game the second half. Uh, mental fortitude, baby. T-Law, Trevor Lawrence, former national champ at Clemson. Uh, we got Debo Samuel. He was second in the NFL in total yards two years ago, rushing and receiving combined. Also top five in receiving yards two years ago. People forgot how good he is, Colin. Mm -hmm. uh, had that tough year last year with injuries. Debo is an absolute superstar. Randy Moss, well... I think everyone knows how good Randy Moss is. Uh, number two all-time in receiving touchdowns. Uh, he might be the most talented receiver ever, the great Randy Moss. One play, one game, one season. There's not a guy I'm taking over Randy Moss personally, Colin. Uh, the dude was a bad, bad man. Absolutely. Great camel helmet, too. Mm, clean. Those are just the four photo headliners left in the last 15 boxes. Uh, we do have a Jalen Waddle still in play. Seventh in receiving yards last season. One of the best young receivers. You have a young star, Kenneth Walker, the third still in play. Uh, so we're looking at, you know, pretty much 50% chance at one of those names. Seven and 15 in the diamonds. The odds are stacked in your favor. As they will say in the Hunger Games, may the odds be in your favor, right? <laughs> the odds ever in your favor. Yes, sir. So seven to go in the minis. Double box break. Uh, you can double up in multiple possibilities here. For example, Joe Montana still in play, uh, four-time Super Bowl champion quarterback, uh, the first black quarterback in the Hall of Fame 
nine-time Pro Bowler Warren Moon. That's the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He's also in the Canadian League Football Hall of Fame to boot. So both NFC West hits, you can win both with one spot. Uh, Keenan Allen, an AFC West hit. Five-time Pro Bowler. Uh, then Brian Dawkins, I believe a nine-time Pro Bowler. Weapon X, he's out there in the minis too. And one of my favorite players growing up, Brian Erlacher, a pro and college football Hall of Famer, former defensive player of the year, one of the all-time great uh, linebackers. Tony Rosati says, Randy the Goat. Tony Rosati, what's Let's up, go, dude? Tony. Well, come and get him. I know Tony's more of a mini guy, uh, but a Randy Moss helmet, that is mighty good. Mighty good if you ask me, Colin. Uh, four to go in the red zone reps. I want the Dickerson. Still don't have a Rams mini, okay? There you uh, go. We did pull the Dickerson. Did you guys pull that yesterday, I think? Yeah, I think we did, actually. We did pull it, Tony, but we will have more Dickerson in the break room, and I'm sure there's more Rams minis probably in that series as well. Uh, speaking of series full of headliners, the red zone replica helmets. Every single headliner still out there, Colin. Uh, here's Warren Moon again. Uh, one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Deion Sanders, maybe the best corner ever. Terry McLaurin, one of the best receivers in the game currently. LT, three-time defensive player of the year. Uh, tied for the most ever. Probably the best linebacker ever. And if it's not Lawrence Taylor, then it's certainly Ray Lewis. Uh, he is number one all-time in official career tackles. Both those guys are out there in this series. And then arguably... Uh, maybe the two best receivers, maybe two of the top three or four in the league. Tyree Kill second in receiving yards last season. Devontae Adams third, but first in receiving touchdowns. They're both out there in the replica helmets, as is Jim Kelly, uh, one of the best quarterbacks ever. Took the Bills to four straight Super Bowls. Nice. Got a little Trayvon Diggs, a little DJ Moore, Javon Curse. Got a little bit of everything for you and I both, Colin, in those reps, too. Uh, eight to go on the slab cards, in case you missed it a little while ago. Ten boxes left. Peyton Manning, Jalen Hurts, Kyler Murray, Josh Jacobs still in play. Uh, as are Devontae Smith, LaShawn McCoy, and Chris Olave. 70% chance at one of those names. Those odds are redonkulous. Redonkulous. Two spots to go in the jerseys, Colin. Uh, we are still full of headliners. Antonio Gates, number one all-time among tight ends in receiving touchdowns. Kenneth Walker the third, perhaps the best rookie running back last season, either him or uh, Brees Hall. Tough to pick between those two. Uh, a lot of potential, though, in Kenneth Walker. Absolutely. Devontae Adams of the league in receiving touchdowns, as I mentioned. Maybe the best receiver the last five years in the NFL. Here's Brian Dawkins and the team he belongs on, Colin. Yeah. The Eagle custom jersey for Weapon X. And then... Prime time this time on the 49er jersey, the great Deion Sanders. Uh, such a fantastic career. I believe his Defensive Player of the Year award actually came as a Niner uh, for Deion. That's interesting. Uh, so 40-yard dash jerseys, come and get them. Four spots to go in the basketballs. We are down to eight basketballs left. One of the ones out there is KG, Kevin Garnett on the Hall of Fame uh, Timberwolves basketball there. One of the best power forwards of all time. And then we have another guy who, technically, he was a center slash power forward. Uh, had the height and size of a small forward. But seven-time rebounding champion, the Warren Dennis Rodman, still out there in the basketballs. Uh, what's up, Eric Thompson? He what, says, Eric? hey, guys, what it be, Eric? What it be? Uh, he's a huge Patriot fan uh, here in the break room. We are ready to go on the jerseys. Perfect. I also have some Patrick Mahomes trivia for you at some point. All right. Uh, let's get this jersey break done. Maybe we'll hit up the trivia right afterwards. That Moon or Montana mini would be great in my collection. Let's go, says Eric. Let's go, Eric. Let's get it, baby. How about them Timberwolves? Minnesota sports are a joke, says <laughs> Tony. Oh, poor Tony. Hey, division champ Vikings, baby. That's right. The Twins were division champs last year. Oh, man. Tony's a Twins fan. I don't even think about that. I'll be honest with you, Colin. They are better than Chicago sports. My goodness. Yeah, they are. The Bears had, what, the worst record in the league? Um, we had, of course, uh, the Cubs were bad last year. The Sox were 
I guess okay. But Literally okay. 500. They're 500. doing bad this year. The Chicago Fire, dreadful for us soccer fans like me. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Sky what, are decent. The, the Sky are good, but they lost some, what, their two best players or two yeah. of the three best. Candace Parker gone, of course. Uh, Chicago sports are not much better. Uh, Bulls, sick. I guess they didn't make the playoffs. They made the second round of the play-in game, uh, but still not a good season. Not great. Uh, 21 for the jersey, says Cody. All right, Cody Myers, the Sammy Sosa box. Twins are pretty solid until postseason, says Tony. That's how every Minnesota team is. I don't like talking about postseason. Makes sense? Uh, the Vikings have the most wins of any team not to win a Super Bowl, Colin. Uh, so that makes sense. Hey, look, that's a title. That's yeah. something. <laughs> uh, got my authentic in the mail today. Such a nice helmet. Which one was that, Tara? She got the Mean Joe full-size rep, I think. She might have got a stray hand authentic Sick. with the 141 and a half career sacks. Remind me, Tara, if that was the stray hand, a Giants flash authentic, which Ooh. is like a filler hit oftentimes in the diamonds. That yep, is... stray hand, she says. Okay. Oh. Uh, we got John Gagliano, Chris Godfrey, and Cody Myers in our first 40-yard dash jersey break. Uh, so... Uh, Cody Myers and Chris Godfrey, two longtime customers. Uh, they were both probably here right around when I first started. So both these guys making the return to the break room. Johnny Gags on Thursday. Uh, Thursday is for Thirsty Thursday jerseys for John. Yeah. He literally wakes up every week and says, I can't wait till Thirsty Thursday to <laughs> ultimate autographs. Well, look, he's made out today. It's the highlight of the week. Uh, the guy got in the early show, Lawrence Taylor. Uh, Maurice Jones Drew and Ricky Williams. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, eight times coming up here for our football jersey. Good luck, guys. Let's get these divisions set up and let's heat up these breaks, Colin. Let's go. Uh, surprisingly slow right now, uh, early on in the show. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and tell these guys what divisions Chris and Cody have because John's got the rest. He's got six out of eight. Uh, so. Cody's got the AFC East, and Chris, you've got the NFC West. Could be that primetime jersey, by the way. 21 coming up, 21 and 35 in the 40-yard dash jerseys. Good luck, folks. Oh, I like this one. So, John is a giant fan. Uh, he got himself a Washington oh, Authentic helmet <laughs> earlier. He did get a Lawrence Taylor Giant jersey. Uh, but here's a Cowboy star, one of the best young corners in the game. Two seasons ago, led the league in picks. It is Trayvon Diggs. That's nice. Uh, Stefan's brother. Clean-looking Cowboy jersey. Beckett certified QR sticker uh, on the front there. That's John Gagliano. Congrats, John, on your Trayvon Diggs. I'll tell you what, Colin. You get a Trayvon Diggs jersey... Uh, as a non-headliner in the Jersey series, you're doing pretty good. No kidding. No kidding. He's almost uh, he's almost got the whole NFC East Infinity Stones. That's right. Just he, needs the Eagles. Is it Thanos or John Gagliano here? Yeah. We're not sure. John Gagli Thanos. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Something like that. Uh, he's always missing your team, isn't he? Yeah, he needs the Eagles. Oh. Save the best for last, right, Colin? <laughs> That's right. That's not what he thinks, I'll no, tell you that. No, he doesn't. A lot of people don't. I guess I don't really have an NFC East team that's my favorite. I'm not, believe it or not, I'm not. Well, I might like the Eagles the most only because I like um, Hurts so much. I respect his, I respect him a lot as a they're leader, so as a person. Uh, he's out there in the slab cards, but I'm neutral on the NFC East. I'm all about the AFC West and the NFC North. Go Bears, go Chiefs, baby. Uh, that's how it be. That's how it be. Uh, NFL draft in Kansas City next week. It's going to be wild. It was in Chicago a few years back in Kansas City this year. What's the Mahomes trivia, Colin? Mahomes trivia. The only two teams that have a winning record against Patrick Mahomes. Bengals and Patriots. Not the Patriots. Is it counting the postseason? Counting the postseason. Okay. Patriots are two and two. Okay, two and two. Uh, okay, so Bengals are one. Not anyone in the AFC West, that's for sure. He owns them. 
Um, that, that was going to be one of my questions, is who's he got the most wins against. Is it the Colts? The Colts is the other one. Yeah. yeah. They're, it... oh, and, well, he's 1-2. and 0-2 oh, and two in the regular season. Yeah, I actually one and oh covered one of those games. I, when I was at the TV station uh, in Missouri, it was a Sunday night football game. Uh, Chiefs and Colts. Uh, he actually got hurt in that game because uh, mm. the offensive line wasn't doing great that game. Uh, and he was kind of basically playing like he was in the Super Bowl, but not quite as effective. Yeah, uh, That's kind of what he was <laughs> hobbling around, couldn't really run. Uh, they lost to the Colts on Sunday Night Football. And then, of course, they lost to the Colts this last season. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> that, that was an ugly game. Surprising. Yeah, it was. Uh, LeGarrette Blount, silver wrap helmet for that jersey, says William Manor. Ooh. Uh, well, William, you got to come with some giant stuff. John Gagliano actually is a Jersey guy. He loves jerseys. I got to come at him with uh, some giant stuff, my man. If you want to definitely cash in. He probably, Absolutely. Doesn't, probably doesn't care for LeGarrette like Blunt either. You know, he's an ego and Patriot guy. But I mean, always, if it's, yeah. Always get the shooter shot, though, right? Always. Always. There are also two teams that have winning records against them just regular season. Two more teams. Just right. Well, the Colts is one. Colts and... Bengals and Bengals, and there's just probably played, what one or two or three games. He's one and two against both of them. One or one and two. So he's played them each three times. Yeah. Regular season. Mm, no, they won that one. No, he's got a winning record against them because I remember him losing to the Ravens, but he's beat them multiple times. Ah, uh... three and one, believe it or not. Yeah, against the Ravens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was uh, three and zero oh until that. Uh, that game that I bet on, of course, the one time. Well, I'm definitely betting on him against the Broncos next year. He's 11-0. Yeah. 11-0 <laughs> wins the Broncos. Jeez. Uh, he's actually never lost on the road against any AFC West team. That's pretty amazing. That's a fun statistic out there. No AFC West fan has seen Mahomes go into their house uh, and, and lose. I'm betting it all this year. Putting the parlay together already. Uh, regular season. Beat the Steelers that six touchdown game. Hmm. Gotta think. So is it AFC teams? They're both AFC teams. AFC teams. I'll give you that. Regular season. Ooh, that's a good question. Ah. Uh... He's got. Uh, well, this will kind of give it away. I'll give you one. He's got one win in the postseason. Yeah, the Jaguars is one. That's what I was thinking of. Is it the Jaguars? He's actually undefeated against them. Undefeated against Four the Jaguars, now. okay. Postseason win against them? Uh, yeah. He's got two against one of them, 2-0 and in the postseason against one, and 1-0 and and against the other one. But they're 1-2. Oh, yeah, the Bills. Season. Yeah, I was like, as soon as 2-0. The and Bills. Yeah, they were, he's 1-2 against them against in the regular the Bills season. in the regular season, yep. But 2-0 and in the post. Yep. But and there's one more I'm missing. Yeah, kind of a wild card. There's one more that I'm missing, Colin, mm -hmm. right? Yep. One and two against them. One and two against them. We've got some fans of this team in, in the chat. I haven't seen them in a while, though. Dolphins? Not Dolphins. Fans of this team in the chat. It's been a while since I've seen one. Ooh, but okay. they exist, and they're loud when they are in here. A loud fan base, you say? At least a couple of them. A couple of them. Well, I know it's not the Raiders, because he owns the Raiders. It's not the Steelers. <laughs> not the Raiders or the Steelers. Not the Steelers. I'll think about that one for a little bit. Uh, while I think about that, guys, let me know what breaks you want to break here. Uh, we are surprisingly still kind of where we were when we hopped on the air. Blake Miller in here, though. What's up, Blake? What up, Blake Miller? What it be, Blake? Uh, we'll have a little loaded dice soon in the room. I think we have this diamond. The next diamond, then we'll have some loaded dice in the room. Uh, could it be Miller time here at Ultimate Autographs? Uh, Blake, I think it was last, worked last Friday, right? I think it was last Friday that he went crazy and got that Brady, got so much more stuff. Were you here last Friday, I think, Probably. Colin? It, the days are blurring. I know. <laughs> We're like Ronnie now. Yep. Double break slabs. Let's fill them up, says Brandon. Let's go, Let's Brandon. Go. Uh, this is the best hit in the diamonds in the early show. Uh, the diamonds are looking 
decent Terra. Unfortunately, they're pretty open right now. Uh, and I don't know why, to be honest. Uh, hey, gang, says Blake. Hey, Blake. What up, Blake? Uh, so 15 boxes left in the diamonds, right, Colin? I believe that's correct. We yeah. have a Joe Burrow Authentic still in play, the second best quarterback in the world. We have Trevor Lawrence. He might be a top 10 quarterback on the Flash Authentic. We got Randy Moss on the camo. Uh, probably the best or second best receiver of all time. Debo Samuel, one of the best receivers in the game today. Uh, so only 15 boxes left. Uh, we also have Jalen Waddle, speaking of young stars, and Kenneth Walker the third. So a lot of guys in that series that that value could go up. Waddle mm -hmm. could go up. Kenneth Walker could go up. A lot of possibilities in that diamond break. Absolutely. The slab that Tara's asking about, uh, we have, not the slab, that Brandon's asking about. He wants to see this happen. Uh, we have Jalen Hurts on that beautiful Oklahoma slab, the highest paid player in the NFL now on a per year basis, the most ever five-time uh, Super, not Super Bowl, five-time league MVP, Peyton Manning, the most ever, Tyler Murray, Josh Jacobs still in play, not to mention 10 slabs left, LaShawn McCoy, Devontae Smith, Chris Olave, seven and 10 chance at one of those guys. Those odds are mighty good. Mighty. Uh, we are five away on the mini helmets. Double box break. You can get Warren Moon and Joe Montana in the same double. Keenan Allen, Brian Dawkins, same double. Brian Urlacher, still out there. Uh, four to go in the reps. Every headliner out there. Uh, we got Dion. We got Terry McLaurin, LT. Uh, D. Lawrence, Taylor LT, Ray Lewis, the Cheetah, Devontae Adams, Jim Kelly, and Warren Moon. Every headliner in play. Uh, keep these orders going. Basketballs, we got the KG still out there with eight boxes left. Jerseys, we got Gates, Primetime, Adams, Dawkins. A lot of heat to be had here at Ultimate Autographs. Uh, let's keep these orders going. I'm going to go and get back to the trivia question. Uh, so I'm missing one team that Mahomes is 1-2 against in the regular season. Correct. Or losing record, rather, in the regular season. Losing record against them in the regular season. So we have the Bengals, we have the Bills. And the Colts. And the Colts. So we're missing one. Uh, Titans. It's the Titans. Yeah. Something about the AFC South. That's uh, tough. Got problems. Maybe you look past them. Well, I think the issue there is that the Chiefs used to have a really bad run defense. The run defense has improved greatly. Mm -hmm. It used to be really, really bad. Who do the Titans have? Derrick Henry. Yeah, <laughs> that's a tough match. Colts of Jonathan Taylor. Yeah, ex ex exactly, right? Yeah. Case in point. He's 2-1 and one against Houston in yeah. the regular season, and kind of surprisingly, the only team he's beaten every single time is Jacksonville. Yeah, 4-0. 4-0 against the Jaguars. Mm -hmm. It's kind of 5-0 counting the playoffs, right? 4-0 uh, total. 3-0 in the regular okay. season. 3-0 in the regular uh, season. Yep. Got the score update. Uh, the fighting John Gaglianos versus the fighting Bob Boulay's uh, Devils and Rangers are 1-1, one, one, looks like, right? Oh, end of one Devils, one Rangers, zero, says Bob. Yeah. Okay. He's got some more hockey scores going. Maple Leafs, three bolts, one. I'll Man, drop in some NBA scores, Bob. Uh, we got the Sixers up 51-40 on cover, the Nets. Cover, 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 cover. They are covering, and the Embiid uh, points assist and rebounds looks terrible, Colin. Sorry. The PRA. <laughs> Uh, three points, two rebounds, one assist. Sixers still up big. James Harden balling out. Trevor or Tyrese Maxey, 15 points, looking good. Philadelphia is going to get that sweep, I think, Colin. They're working towards it's it. It's going to be a sweep for the 76ers. Pittsburgh is uh, trying to blow my spread, though. There's 4 nothing going into the 7th. It's 4-2 to two now in the 8th. The Reds have second and third. Nobody out. Mm. Ouch. Uh, there you go. I had a lot of luck last night betting on hockey overs. Uh, Mahomes 11-0 versus Denver yeah. Broncos. That's 11-0. Yeah. That's why when people say the Broncos are going to make the playoffs, I say uh, they're already starting at 0-2. Yeah. What can they do in the other 15 games, right? Jeez. It's Ooh, wild. I don't, I don't know. It was that and it, it's, it's kind of interesting because, to be honest with you, a lot of those games have been super close. A lot of those games, the Broncos have covered the betting line, uh, but not quite. Except they've never won. <laughs> they've never won against Mahomes. Uh, four to three. I don't see them doing it anytime soon either, to be honest. We'll see. I mean, they got a, they got a good coach at the helm, that's for sure. 
Javon Payton, yeah, should help them. Uh, but they get Javante Williams back. That'll help. Put them in the playoffs, Colin. I don't either. But I don't they know. Might, you know, you never know. The Colts stole a game from the Chiefs. They did. Oh, anything can happen in the NFL. That's that's how crazy the NFL is. Uh, one game scenario, anything is possible. Yeah. I mean, that's how sports are right now. Sports are so wide open. As a sports fan, look, as a sports better, it makes it more complicated. As a sports fan, I've never seen more parity than we have right now in all leagues. If you look at the NBA, there's not a single team that you look at that like, that's an all-time great team. That team is definitely going to win the finals. I mean, look, I'm a Chief fan, but I look at the Chiefs. I'm not I'm not like they're way better than everyone else. I did pick them to win it all. They won. I'll pick them to win it all again because why not? They're the best team. But anyone can beat them any day, as we saw with the Colts. Uh, any given Sunday. Any given Sunday. Have you seen that movie yet? No. They'll need to. Uh, I yeah. saw one, though. I saw... Almost said the wrong name. Yeah. I almost said Rollers. It's not Rollers. Oh, rounders. Rounders. Oh, my God. Homework, man. Homework. I saw it, though. Yeah, you did. That's good. That was a great movie, wasn't it? It was. It was really good. Very entertaining. A very entertaining movie. Sweet Chase Helmet, by the way, it says, Blake, wow. It's a Speed Flex Authentic. It's not even the best Bengal helmet in this series. I know it's, I think it's a standard Authentic on the Burrow, but I don't care. Cool the guy. Joe Burrow is the best helmet in the series. The fact that you can get a Joe Burrow for $83 is mind-blowing. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. Even 166 from the double box break. That's a bargain. Uh, come and get that Burrow, the Trevor Lawrence, the Randy Moth, the Debo Samuel. It's actually pretty simple. If folks ask what headliners are left, Colin, it's actually very, very simple. Uh, the four on the right are still out there. The four on the left are gone. Pretty simple, huh? Pretty simple. That, That's a fun you know, way to think about the, it. The middle helmets get a little confusing. Yeah. Because Randy and Aiden are kind of lined up. But... Well, the better one is better. The That's Randy true. Moss. The That's true. The top rights are all out there as well as the bottom right. And Blake, I can confidently tell you, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> That's a great question. Yeah. Um, look, it's tough to say, but doesn't this feel like one of these Clay Thompson shooting nights? He's, he's up and down. I know it's game six Clay, but... This is kind of like a game six, kind of like a must win. Uh, Steph and Clay at home. It just feels like we get like 30 from, from both of those guys tonight, doesn't it? Hope. I, I, Gosh. My gut instinct, which is, I would say less than 50% of the time okay, is correct, right. is they're going to lose. Oh, no. I think they're going to lose. But okay. I hope they win. They have to. I did right. bet on tonight, but wanted to. They have to win this one. Yeah, it's six and a half, I think, right? What's yeah. the line right now? Uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of big. It was, six. it was six and a half. It's kind of a big line. I have uh, the Kings plus six and a half. Blake. Yeah. But again, take that with a grain of salt. I I think that the, Lake, the, not the Lakers, the Warriors win and the Kings cover is my my That's gut what I'm hoping is going to happen. I mean, Golden State at home is tough to beat. Oh, yeah. Uh, they are tough to beat. Uh Honestly, this has been a close series. Uh, and some of the guys on TV, like Charles Barkley, is like, well, the Kings are kicking their, you know, behind. I'm not going to say that word on the air, but they're really not. I mean, they won game one by three points. Curry misses a buzzer beater. Game two was a one-point game with three minutes left. This could easily be 1-1, one -one, Colin. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, to me, there's just no way that the Warriors lose three straight against a team that they are pretty evenly matched with, right? That's my thought. Uh, but, you know, it's a make or miss league. If your shooters shoot, you win. If they don't, you don't. Uh, and the Warriors are very reliant on their shooting. So it really depends on whether shots fall. I know that sounds like the most no good analysis. <laughs> uh, but that's true. I don't know. They but, play... I mean, all season long, the Warriors have been really good at home and really bad on the road. Yeah. So what's that saying? A series doesn't start until a team wins a road game. Uh, my thought on this series is, Colin, they rotate home and road until Game 7, which the Warriors win on the road in Sacramento. <laughs> Here we go. You give me the Warriors in 7, baby. Uh, there we go. Yeah, Warriors in 7. They are 33-8 and eight at home. Yeah. And 11-30 and 30 on the road. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy. And look, missing Draymond's going to hurt, but I think Draymond isn't quite the player he used to be. Uh, I think they have enough good players. Uh, one thing Charles Barkley did say that I agree with, 
They got to get some of those young guys in the game more. You know, the Kamingas, the Moody's of the Moody world. Moses, Moody. Uh, you know, they have a kind of an old team against kind of a young team. I mean, you're not going to take Steph out, right? But some of these other guys should get a little bit more minutes. Uh, so, you know, maybe Clay, et cetera, is fresh in the fourth quarter when they need him, right? Yep. That's Let's my see. thought on that game. Oh, so Blake says the same thing that uh, Chuck said, which I don't agree with, but I can see where you're uh, where you're going with that, saying the hero loss is bigger than Milwaukee losing Giannis. I think, honestly, uh, the, the thought there is that, look, Milwaukee's so good without Giannis, they can win with him. Uh, hero is, what, one of the two great score, potentially great scorers for the Heat. Uh, I see where you're going with it, Blake, but I, there's no world where I could say that, you know, Hero and Giannis. I know it's... I know where you're going with there. I think that Miami is probably toast. They're a good defensive team. They have some talent. Uh, they're not going to shoot as well as they did game one. That's the yeah. issue. They shot 60% from three. That hasn't happened all year. It's not going to happen again. Yeah, I kind of with Blake on the sense of like, the if the Bucks the Bucks losing Giannis, if they lost in the whole series, they could still win that series. Yeah, losing Hero for the Heat, that's that's pretty much it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you probably don't win without him. I I know what you're saying, and it certainly looked like it that last game. But Milwaukee has not been as good without no, Giannis. One hundred percent. I think the Heat could win that series with the healthy Hero if the Bucks don't have Giannis potentially. It's hard to say though. Uh, because we had two very different games, game one and game two. That is true. And it's, we were just talking about it. Struce on the, the loose, says Blake, needing Struce to get loose. Well, now that he's not playing my Bulls anymore, I guess he can get loose. <laughs> you can let him get loose. Ah, oh, Toronto scored again. He lost me the cover uh, badly in that Bulls and uh, Heat game, the playing game. Uh, we've got some movement on the break page right here. Some movement on the break page. We are currently three to go in the reps. Every headliner out there and four to go in the diamonds. So here's a question for the chat. What's the second best helmet left? I mean, I think Burrow's the one that people most want, right? Debo Samuel, probably the fourth most wanted one. Would you guys rather have a Randy Moss camo authentic or Trevor Lawrence flash authentic? Because that is arguably the best flash in the game. I think it's ranked number one in the Colin rankings, right? Mm -hmm. The official, unofficial UA rankings. I think it's ranked in mine as well. <laughs> I, I know I say that I'm very like split back and forth, <laughs> but that's probably number one for me. I'd still rather have the Moss, though. I think so as well. It's Randy Moss. It's close. It's closer than it should be, just based on name. But uh, Blake says Moss first, Burrow second. Ooh. Blake. Well, why don't we just go ahead and rank them? I mean, Moss Eric says Debo. Debo <laughs> says Eric. He's like, enough of that. I want that Debo flash authentic. Look at us. Maybe we're the minority. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I love Debo. Debo is uh, such a great player. I love that smile on his face. My girlfriend drafted him in fantasy because he had a nice smile. Oh, my God. That's what my girlfriend does. <laughs> Isn't it spooky? <laughs> yep. I told you they're pretty similar. Her favorite player is Tommy Pham in baseball because he, he has a nice smile. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Uh, Debo Samuel, uh, actually, he was really good for her fantasy team uh, two years ago. Mm -hmm. This last year, not as good. She was sure to get him both years. She's a regular Debo Samuel fantasy owner. Uh, Blake says Moss, wow. Burrow, Debo. Not, so Lawrence is fit or fourth. They're not. Ronnie likes Trevor Lawrence. Uh, what, what else do you guys think? Rank those four helmets left. Uh, in the series, Burrow, Lawrence, Moss, and Samuel. I got Burrow, Moss, Lawrence, Samuel. I think we're the same. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hard to say though, man. Honestly, I'm okay with Moss number one. I was such a big Randy Moss fan. I'm pretty torn there, to be honest, between one and two. I would lean Burrow, but look, it depends on what what you want, like. The quarterback is the most valuable. I was a Moss fan. I, I might say one and one A. They're right there for me. Colin. All right. Fair. Uh, that Moss helmet is cool. Uh, Taro says, Tara says, I want that Moss. I love that Jack's helmet, says Blake. Um, I want to root for Lawrence. We need to see more. That makes sense. Brandon and I are on the same page. Uh, Brandon says, Burrow, Moss, Lawrence, and Samuel. There you go. 
Well, who's going to get him, Colin? That's the question. Good question. We're two to go in the double now. Woo! Got some movement, baby. I like to move it, move it. Oh. I like to move it, move it. Oh, my. Let's I thought go. it was 30 boxes. Move I thought it, that was the key. I oh, like to here. move it, move it. Oh. Let's go, boys. I used to love Madagascar. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, that's You're welcome. Say, keyword used to. Used to. Um, who's hopping in here, guys, and knocking out those diamonds? Two spots to go in the double. <laughs> Bob. 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 Bobby B. He loves it. He secretly likes it, Colin. Don't worry. He secretly likes it. I know he does. Uh huh. Keep telling yourself. It's all right, Bob. It's all right. I can't wait for Bob to come up for UA karaoke night. I know. We need to have that happen. <laughs> That's going to be the next Canton trip. Instead of the Canton Hall of Fame, UA karaoke night. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think Matt's wife is not invited because she's too good. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> wow. The yeah. only thing that would have been a highlight of the whole thing. <laughs> right. The only good singer there. My girlfriend is actually pretty good at singing, too. But not nearly as good as Matt's wife. She's like I've never heard her sing. Yeah, professional singer. One to go in the Diamond Double. All right. Who's knocking out the Diamond? I'm telling you, man. As soon as I started singing and dancing, these break spots started falling off. Ronnie liked it. He was like, okay, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Now, Bob is the minority. Ronnie's too nice to tell you he doesn't like it. Nah, Ronnie likes it. What <laughs> Miller said I'm invited to his wedding because of the dance moves, Colin. Uh, so, oh, God. Let's go. Oh, God, Travis. Let's stop. Hear song, stop Colin. it, Travis. <laughs> well, I did offer this up earlier. Um, I will sing any song you would like if we do 30 boxes or more in a given show. <laughs> that, well... That works too, Bob. That that works as well. Yeah, maybe you need to do the opposite. Yeah. I am going to keep singing until Let's we do go. three boxes. I haven't heard Common sing, but I am. I'm sure it melts faces. I, I told you. Melts faces. Well, last night at karaoke, people were buying me shots. They liked the singing so much, Colin. <laughs> I think it was the dancing they liked more, though. Oh, my gosh. So, How much are you moving on stage? A lot. <laughs> a lot. Uh, I'm a bigger guy. I'm not in as good shape as I used to be, but that's a workout. That is a workout. <laughs> I move quite a lot on stage. What's a bigger workout, volleyball or karaoke? Uh where was that offer when I bought 11 personals that one day? LOL, says Travis. I don't know. Sold out, says Tara. 12 and 16. Uh, perfect. 12 and 16 going off the ticker here. People these days. So this is about to be what? Our, is it our, our second and third boxes? So we are 27 away from a song. By the way, Travis, you can rewind. I did do a little bit of a song, like a little short... <laughs> 15 second song. That just happened, didn't it? And rewind. <laughs> like, How was that long ago? I'll do it again, Colin. Uh, I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Move it! Classic. That's for you, Travis, for those 11 oh personal. Oh, my God. 12 and 16. Rewind. Bob says no delete. <laughs> oh, Bob. Oh, Bob. Uh, Dylan once rapped on the air. Yes, did. <laughs> Were you there that day? No, I wasn't. Oh, no, it's all replay. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. The Dylan man on the rapping scene. I don't know. I think Bob's in the minority. Every time it gets brought up, people say, let's hear a song. He's <laughs> Bob Boulay in the minority. Uh, Blake, Tara, Michael, Cody, Ronnie, and Don. Love it. Just got that. I'm buying another personal, says Travis. There you go. God, I cannot believe you're selling people. I'm selling people with my singing. There's something we're missing here, Bob. I don't know what it is, but we're missing it. I love it. I love it. Ronnie's sneaking in. Yes, sir. Ronnie's on the hot tub right now. Ah. Uh. Bob. I like it. Oh, my God. Toronto is murdering. Tampa Bay. Hockey. Five to one. Maple Leafs, baby. Maple Leafs. Six. We have, what did the dice roll tonight? Eight. It's eight. Six. All right. Seven. Eighth and final click. Uh, we got Blake Miller up to, oh, Blakey Blake. Uh, the man is looking for 
Randall, Randall Moss, baby. Randall. He's got the Moss spot. Uh, NFC South is Michael Frank. NFC East is Michael Frank. We got Tara, NFC West, looking for Debo. Ronnie, AFC North, already got Jamar Chase. Now looking for Joe Burrow. We got Cody, AFC South, AFC East, and Don, AFC West. Bob's rooting for the Leafs. Tampa doesn't have Hedman or Cernak playing, says Blake. Okay. Well, you guys uh, should have told me that before I bet on them. <laughs> Blake says, I just hope someday I can meet the UA Goats in person. There you go, Blake. Come on down. Shout out to Hightown, baby. Miller time. Show you a good time. Let's go. A box 32 in the mini, says Travis. Thank you, sir. We'll do that after this double box break. 12 coming up first. We got the Brady number, then we got the Montana one next. Speaking of goats, mm -hmm. maybe those are the real goats, Colin, not you and I. Yeah, uh, yeah. Brady and uh, Montana. Leave it to the professionals. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The best flash in the game. Former number one overall Ooh. pick, the talented Trevor Lawrence on the Flash Authentic. AFC South, it's Cody. Cody Myers with the T-Law, baby. Dang, man. I uh, love this helmet, the black ink right there. Uh, one of the best quarterbacks, talent-wise, in the world. Former national champ in college. Uh, I know we talk about this a lot, but you know what? This guy's got, he's got the it factor. Uh, he's got a great arm. He's got, you know... Great athleticism, but part of being a quarterback is bouncing back when you don't do well. First season in the NFL, didn't do well. Second season, bounces back. Uh, bounced back in the playoffs, that's for sure. Four picks, and he wins the game in the second half. It's unbelievable. Uh, sick helmet right there. Always like that Jax helmet, says Blake. Uh, Cody Myers has the uh, heart, love, smiley emojis. That a boy. Uh, he's got himself a Trevor Lawrence. Uh, flash authentic with the AFC South, Cody Myers. That is a beauty. My goodness. That's how we do, baby. Uh, and that God. is how we do. Always a pleasure to have Jaguars flash out here. Mm hmm. This will be a desk, desk boy here for you. Uh, yeah. It's never leaving the desk. Trevor Lawrence. Although I guess it might. <laughs> Burrow and Moss might have yeah. had a conversation. Yeah. Although all three could be a hit video tonight, all three will likely be in the hit video tonight. That's true. He might get a running mate right now. 16 is next. 16 to 25. Trevor Lawrence in the first box in the diamonds. It's going to be tough to beat this bad boy here. Hello, Clay. Come and get Joe Burrow, Clay. Got a little Joe Burrow authentic in the diamonds. Oh, oh my God. No way. No way. This is not real life. This helmet's even better than the last one. Randy Moss, camo authentic, number two all time in receiving touchdowns. The most talented receiver of all time. It's Moss time, baby. Oh my God. It's Miller time. It's Yahtzee, baby. She says Tara. Blake Miller, NFC North. Randy Moss, he says, wow. oh my, with the three <laughs> exclamation points on the Moss. Jeez Louise, what a double. That's one of the best breaks I've seen lately, for sure. One oh, of the best breaks it. ever. Trevor Lawrence, Randy Moss, both specialty helmets. Blake says, Yahtzee. Yep. Yahtzee. Yep. I think that would do. Yahtzee. Congrats, Blake, says Tara. Uh, holy cow, Randy Moss camo authentic. Uh, this thing is just beautiful right here. Absolutely beautiful helmet. I saw it. It's tempting, says Clay. What a break, says Cody with the fire. I mean, again, guys, these double box breaks, uh, they are full of heat. Get Samuel and Burrow in the next one. And Fuego, baby. And Fuego in the break room. Goodness gracious. That was cool. Uh, yeah. You, you never know when these are coming out. Uh, could be early on in the series, could be in the middle, could be at the end. Uh, 13 boxes left. Joe Burrow still out there. Come and get him. We are three boxes away from releasing the last five on the ticker, too. So we are closing on releasing the rest of the series. So Burrow should be coming out tonight, Colin. 
Could be coming out on the next break. I mean, we had, what, box 12 with Trevor Lawrence? Mm-hmm. Burrow might be in the room as we speak. Uh, I saw it. It's tempting, says Clay. Why in the world would you not hop in, Clay? Now, you've hopped in without Bengal players. You have the Bengal star in Joe Burrow. That would say is as tempting as it gets, Colin, right? Uh, no kidding. No kidding. I'm writing up the wrong order number here for Blake. You get this bad boy fixed for you, Blake, but holy cow, you recently won a burrow. There you go. Nice. Well, why not another one, brother? Two's even better. Uh, two's even better. Keep one, trade one, Joe Burrow. I'll be honest with you. We talk about this all the time. The Bengal standard helmet, better than the flash, better than the rep, uh, better than the, you know, salute the service, better than the camo, uh, better than the alternate. Uh, there's nothing, for me, it might be the best helmet of any NFL team currently in the league. That Bengals standard helmet, I mean, come on. Uh, that's cool. I mean, I, I do love our troops. The salute the service has its own special meaning. But the sheer look of that helmet, that's the helmet I want my Joe Burrow on. Okay, there you go. Personally, that's just my opinion. Uh, so whatever you want, play. It's a beauty. Off the top, this exact Joe Burrow that's still lurking out there in the break room. It's lurking. It's lurking. Little Joey B coming up in the Ultimate Autographs live break room. Uh, Revis did get pulled. Yes, sir. The Revis Island got pulled. Uh, actually, you guys have been tearing apart those headliners, to be honest. Uh, but there's a lot of good helmets left. The Regis Philbin is still there, though. Regis Philbin is still there, yeah. I haven't pulled that yet. He says, I agree, Common. There you go. Uh, it's actually going to be a retro Regis Philbin uh, hosting Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Common. Yeah, it's a bobblehead. A it's a bobblehead. A little, uh, desk. Mm, that sounds great. <laughs> uh, love me some Regis Philbin. Who doesn't? Legend. R.I.P. R.I.P. for sure. All right, so we are already got a spot in the single taken in the diamonds. Regis Funko Pop says Bob. Uh, we are three away on the slab cards, Colin. The double box break. Uh, there's 10 slabs left. Peyton Manning, Jalen Hurts, uh, Kyler Murray, and Josh Jacobs still out there. Not to mention we have Devontae Smith, LaShawn McCoy, Chris Olave. Seven headliners, counting these three here, uh, in 10 boxes left. It's a 70% chance that a headliner. Well, that's pretty good, isn't it? That double is likely going to feature two headliners. Speaking of headliners, every single headliner is still out there in the reps. Match is sold out, actually. So rep break is coming up next, but all these headliners still in play. I got his black and blue Debo today, says William Manor. There you go, William. Get that Debo in the Authentics to the Flash. All right, orders are trickling in here, Colin. A little bit of a slow start, but the last few minutes are nothing but spots. We got Colby Baldwin. Uh, we got Jody Grider, Jacob Davis, Paul Brady, Timothy Rodriguez, all jumping in. Michael Frank as well. The break page is under attack, Colin. <laughs> It's under attack. Do not send help. We like this. We are just fine with this, Colin. <laughs> oh, mini that. personal. My bad, Trav. I apologize. I forgot uh, about it, my man. Okay, you, uh, you have it, Colin? Yeah, I don't have the. I don't have the red zone set up yet, so that works out. Okay, you're good. Colin's gonna get the rep ready to go. And Travis, I got your mini personal here, sir. Uh, the comeback kid. 32 or 35. It's the magic box. The magic man. Now you see him, now you don't. Well, this is a guy you used to see a lot, Colin. You used to watch him all the time, and now you won't. Oh. Uh, former Eagle <laughs> running back, oh. Miles Sanders. My heart. <laughs> How's that transition there? That was a good one. I didn't like it. <laughs> uh, fifth in the league in rushing yards this last season. Uh, one of the best backs in the league. A great yards per carry guy, great dual threat back. He's now a Panther, by the way, Miles Sanders. Mm -hmm. So nice hit, Travis, on your Miles Sanders mini, sir. They got themselves a good one. Yeah, absolutely. And by the sound of it, they might be getting themselves a really good quarterback. Um, here's my crazy prediction for this year. 
Carol, not, maybe it's not that crazy, given how bad the division is. But I'll put it out there. Carolina Panthers win the NFC South. Ooh, uh, where's Bryce, Nicholas Huber? Bryce Young, Miles Sanders, and the boys uh, take home that NFC South title. Carolina, baby. Ow. Um, I'm going to say you're wrong. Fourth, Miles Sanders helmet. Okay, well. Uh, keep one trade three, right? Sanders Nation, where you at? Travis got a helmet. I forgot trade. he was saying that yesterday. <laughs> yeah. He's glued to Miles Sanders. That's all right, Trav. This one will stay with me. You're good. Oh, <laughs> that's an offer. Yeah. He wants another one. He was so so entranced with the singing that he wants another one, Colin. Box thirty three coming up on his mini personal. Before that. We'll do the red zone break, which filled up first. So, Travis, your personal is coming up after the red zone replicas. I believe this is the first break in this new series, right? You guys dropped this late last night, I think. Yep. Uh, so we didn't do one during the happy hour show. This will be the very first rep break featuring Patrick Newman, Jonathan Stewart. Speaking of Panthers, former Panther running back has entered the fray. Uh, we have Michael Frank. Big time winner last night, Bill Stefanelli. It's Tom Brady's cousin, Paul Brady. And we got Jacob Davis. Uh, let me know on the number, guys. One through ten. Currently available here in our reps. Replica helmets. One through ten. Not bad. A lot of goodies in there. No headliners have gone yet. Fresh rep series here at Ultimate Autographs Break Room. Otherwise, I think the slabs are coming up. Two to go. Two to go on the slabs. The minis are coming up. Three to go. Let's get these diamonds moving. Three to go on the basketballs, too. Could it be the night we see that Dennis Rodman ball? Yeah. A lot of folks looking for the worm. A lot of folks looking for the worm. What's the sixer line that you have at, Colin? Uh, got it written down here. Four and a half. They're up six right now, early uh. in the third. They were up just 11, uh, but it's like a mini like run for the Nets here. I think uh, I had a basketball parlay, a hockey parlay, and a baseball parlay. And I think the basketball one's the only one that still has a chance. No soccer, Colin? Of course not. Well, the, I don't know enough about it. Sevilla Man U live over two and a half cast in today. Well, what, what's, what's on right now? Uh, maybe MLS. Let's see. Do you know anything about the MLS? I do know some things about the MLS, yeah. Well, who do I bet on? Uh, not the Chicago Fire. That's yeah, sure. that's an easy one. They're terrible. <laughs> could have could have probably figured that out myself. The Chicago Fire, really, really bad. Used to be really good. Uh, really bad these days. Let's see, any MLS tonight? Um, no MLS tonight, though. Well, then what the... How I am know. I going to be betting on soccer? I know. Oh! Travis has, has a little offer for you. Whoa! Uh, if we pull a headliner here, you get to keep the Miles Sanders. Let's go, headliner. Oh, my God. You've never cheered for a headliner more, Colin. I've never. Never. Oh, man. I have no control over this, but I hope 33 is a headliner. Let's go. Which one do you want? Hopefully it's... uh. I don't even know. Warren Moon? Brian Dawkins would be fitting. You know, first place in MLS right now, the new expansion team, St. Louis uh, Soccer Club. Six wins, uh, two losses early on. 18 points, first place in the league. Yeah. That's who you should bet on. They're not playing tonight, Colin. St. Louis. <laughs> I passed there when I went down for the Bragging Rights game. I saw their stadium. It looks really nice. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, nice. All right, I'm going to randomize the rep number here. We'll do box 33. Uh, so I've already pulled three headliners yesterday, so we're limited here, says Travis. Cody says 33 is Montana. Okay. Wow. I hope you're right. <laughs> wow. That is quite the prediction. All right, here we go. We're going to go eight times here for our rep box number. Because I didn't get a number for the reps, and then we'll do the personal next. And probably the slabs after that, Colin. All those breaks coming up. Well, slabs, that's going to be exciting. Mm, there you go. Got three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's do box four in the reps. Oh, four going off the ticker. Then we'll do 33 in the minis. And then 
should do two uh, slab boxes next. Can't wait for that Warrior King game tonight, man. It's going to be fun, dude. It's going to be a lot of points, a lot of scoring. Uh, such an awesome series coming up tonight. Rangers taking the lead, the Fighting Bob Boulays. There you go, Bob. Congrats on your squad. You got five, six, seven, and eight clicks. No one wanted a box in the reps, so the randomizer chose four. And we got Michael Frank up top in the NFC North. Patrick Newman, you've got the NFC South. Jody, NFC East. William Stefanelli, NFC West. Paul Brady, AFC North. Michael Frank, AFC South. Jacob Davis, AFC East, and Jonathan Stewart out there in the AFC West. Four of 35, a red zone replica helmet series. That has a nice ring to it. Red zone reps. Red zone reps. We are starting with some heat here, Colin. Oh, yeah? This is how you start a series. Now, uh, we've got ourselves... One of the best quarterbacks of all time, uh, both in American history and Ooh. Canadian history. Ooh. Uh, Hall of Fame 06 inscription, Warren Moon. Nice. Uh, Moon replica, NFC West, William Stefanelli. Uh, Nine-time Pro Bowler, Warren Moon. Uh, also a Pro and Canadian Football League Hall of Famer. Uh, the guy actually, uh, here's the sad story. Back in the day, you were a black quarterback. You are not smart enough to play in the NFL. Uh, he should have been an NFL player right off the bat. Had to play six seasons in the CFL because no one wanted him as a black quarterback. Terrible. In those six seasons, uh, he won five Grey Cups, two-time Grey Cup MVP, and then went to the pros, and he retired in the top 15 all-time in passing yards, passing touchdowns. He's still in the top 15 in both categories, Colin. Uh, if he had those six years that he lost... It would be in the top 10. I think you're right. Uh, I mean, I know the CFL isn't the NFL. The talent's a little bit different, but yeah. he proved he could do it in the NFL. Well, he did because he Give was playing on more different years. teams. The Seahawks, the Chiefs, the Vikings, the Oilers. This man was a bad dude. Uh, the Moonster, says Blake Miller, uh, the first black quarterback inducted in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Well-deserved. I know we talk a lot about like guys like, you know, like Jackie Robinson, first black player in baseball. The first quarterback in the Hall of Fame. That's pretty significant here for Warren Moon. Is it 2006? 2006. Think about that. That's crazy. That that's, was, that's way too late. That was only 17 years ago. Um, 2006 for Warren Moon. JSA certified. A great hit. William Stefanelli on your Warren Moon, sir. It's a beauty. He's a beaut, that Moonster. Oh, I was like, where did Randy Moss go? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Randy Moss is going next to you. Uh, I set him aside there because he had some boxes there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't worry. Randy Moss is not going anywhere. Okay. I could have sworn we had two helmets. Uh, the hit video tonight, no matter what else happens tonight, I feel pretty good with those two in the hit video tonight. Mm. God, Jacksonville Flash. I really want to add that Joe Burrow on the list, though. That'd be nice. I do, too. Up to these guys. Up to these guys. I got the bird box. The bird box? Uh, this is, uh, are you, I don't know if you're religious or not, Colin. And we don't talk about religion or politics on this show, but if you were religious, you should say your prayers now, right? <laughs> That's right. Holy God. Whatever God you believe in. <laughs> That's right. The break room God. That's right. Uh, Colin is cheering for a headliner because Travis said he can keep the Miles Sanders if it's a headliner. Bless this box real oh quick. Oh, my gosh. Do the rituals. <laughs> Do the ritual. Oh, my God. Magic for Travis. Oh, my God. Travis Daniel. Okay. All right. 33 is coming up. Is this going to be a headliner box? Uh, who's Cody Meyer said it's Montana, actually. Let's go Montana. Uh, so that'd be nice. 33 and 35, the Larry Bird, the Scotty Pippen box. Let's go. Is it time for a headliner? We've got ourselves. Drum roll, drum roll. Oh, that's not a headliner. Not a headliner. It's a Browns <laughs> mini helmet. Uh, 
I think this might be Ozzy Newsome, Colin. I don't think it's in in here. Uh, I know it's a. Uh, I think it's not even back in certified. Well, you know, I think that's uh, Eternal. Actually, right. yeah, I got it. I think that's Donovan Peoples Jones. Donovan Peoples. Oh, it is number eleven. You're right. It's Donovan Peoples Jones. The Schwartz Sports Memorabilia cert. QR code on the back. Uh, talented receiver for uh, the Browns. Uh, he had. Just under a thousand yards, I believe, last season. Uh, very good player. Uh, not a headliner hit though. So, Colin, womp, womp. Uh, no Miles Sanders for you. That's all right. Donovan Peoples Jones, though, that's a solid mini. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a big fan of Donovan Peoples Jones. There you go, Donovan. And I mean, now he's got a uh, uh, Deshaun Watson. You know, he's mm -hmm. got a little shaking off the rust last season, coming into this season. Yeah. You never know. Man of the Peoples, Donovan Peoples Jones. Yeah, that's a great name, isn't it? Yeah. It rolls off the tongue nice. Donovan Peoples that's Jones. It. About the same, right, Cody? Hey, look at that. <laughs> Montana Peoples Jones. <laughs> Travis says you can keep it still. Oh, Travis, you don't have to do that, man. Oh, my God. You have a Miles Sanders mini yet? I don't. Okay. I need to get something Miles, though. Yeah. Still? You still want something? Be honest. What? Because you still want him because he's gone from the team. It's not his fault he's gone. No, I do. Yeah, okay, you do. Okay. I do. I love Miles Sanders. Some guys are like, he's no longer on my team. I don't want him. No, nothing. Okay. The only way I would say I don't want the best for Miles Sanders is if he went to the Cowboys, the Commanders, or the Giants. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. All right, what's next? Are those slabs full yet? No. Oh. I think jerseys just filled up though oh okay well that's fun let's get a jersey break in got four of them you could keep it he says okay travis you're too kind man that is awesome seriously nice. i mean you want it bro it's your money i i feel bad taking it super nice guy travis. that is very very nice two spots to go in the slab car Double box break coming up. Uh, John Gagliano closes up the jerseys. Jacob Davis got the first two. Johnny Gags the last six. Is he the only one who's used Thirsty Thursday? Uh, Darcy used it earlier. All right, so it is Thirsty Thursday tonight. You buy five break spots. You select the jersey spot with the sixth spot. It must be the same order, the same cards. You get that spot for free. Just accept it, Colin. All right. You're keeping... Travis. You're keeping the Miles Sanders. You're the man, bro. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. He will be proudly displayed in my apartment. Appreciate you, brother. Really. Thank you. Travis Daniel speaking truths, speaking awesome words, but the wisest words right now are coming from Cody Myers. He says, I cannot believe the slabs haven't filled yet. Aiton is still out there, folks. Stop sleeping. There's 10 boxes left, Colin. They're all in the room, all on the ticker. Peyton Manning is... I can actually see the slabs right here. I don't see which one is in which box. Oh. But I can see the slabs currently. Uh, I'm definitely looking at one of those 10 slabs is the Peyton Manning. There's also a Jalen Hurts, mm -hmm. a Josh Jacobs, mm -hmm. a Kyler Murray, uh -huh. Devontae Smith. Yep. Uh, LaShawn McCoy, mm -hmm. Chris Olave. Good God. Let's get it filled up. We're one away on the double now. Perfect. All right. I guess that that works. Uh, we'll get it taken care of with Travis. Actually, to be honest with you, Trav, uh, we have a winner sheet, and you can just not put it on the winner sheet. We'll kind of toward the box count. Or you want to put it in and cross out, do not ship. <laughs> However, do you want to do it? You're keeping it. He's spoken, Colin. You're Crab's the man. It. Crab is the man. 80s song called Me and Mrs. Jones, says Bob. Uh, so there you go. Lab double is full. Yeah. Uh, and Travis, to be honest, brother, we can let him know. We can pass the word along. Uh, but if you don't receive something, the best way to go about it is to contact customer service. I would say give it a week, but obviously if we're talking March, it's been quite a minute. Uh, contact our customer service team. Uh, they're the ones who really uh, dive into missing items, so on and so forth, Trav. Uh, so slab is full, looks like. 
We have a jersey break first, though. No one call out a number. I'm going to go ahead and randomize the jerseys here so we can do that slab break. So eight times coming up here on our dice roll. Dice roll. Yeah, hit up, hit up customer service, Travis. Uh, you know, to be honest with you, I know that seems weird, but what could have happened is that we shipped several of your wins together, and that one shipment somehow got lost, and that's why you haven't got it. Um, so definitely reach out to them. They'll take care of you, and hopefully we figure out where that stuff is. They'll figure it out. Uh, they'll take care of you regardless. Uh, I don't like to play the blame game, Colin, but obviously sometimes we ship something out and it gets lost after we already shipped it out. Yeah. Uh, that may have happened, uh, but we'll look into it and let you know what we may be able to do for your trap. And if we have to play the blame game, it's Steven's fault. Steven! <laughs> Steven! 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 How this dare guy. you? <laughs> Steven! Dang it, Steven. Steven! Give him a stop! <laughs> It's not Steven's fault. Uh, 23 oh. we'll do in the jerseys, the MJ box. Bob, that's the worst update you've had yet. What did Bob say? Something hockey? No, basketball. Oh, okay. Wow. Maybe a little overtime so can B can get some more points, rebounds, and assists. That's what I'm cheering for. And what do we got? 13 and uh, 13, I think. Let's see. 13 and... No, 11 and 23 in the slabs. Okay. Oh, it was 23 for the jerseys, though, right? Yep, it was right. Okay, cool. It's a lot of MJs in the room here. All right. Make sure it gives you the wrong one. Anonymous player poll asking the current guys who the GOAT is. I think it was like 58% MJ, 33% LeBron. I saw that. Uh, so that was definitely interesting. I don't know if Dylan Brooks was in the poll, but I'm pretty sure I know which way he voted. <laughs> That's for sure. Also, Dylan Brooks is dumb. There's no reason for him to say that. Even if he believes it, you don't want to fire up LeBron James. I don't know why you do that. Um, yeah. Just, I can't stand the Grizzlies. They're, they're a team that talks so much. They, they got to make the Western Conference Finals first. Uh, do something before you talk. Uh, 23 coming up. 23 of 35 in the 40-yard dash. Uh, Jacob's got the top division NFC North and the bottom AFC West. The John Gagliano sandwich in the middle. So actually, Jacob's got the the crust, and John's got the peanut butter and the jelly, and he put a bunch of peanut butter and jelly in there. It's like overflowing <laughs> this sandwich. It is a, a triple peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, yes, Thirsty Thursday deal, Cody Myers. It's if you buy five break spots in the same cart. We're not talking about five break spots throughout the night. This is only Thursdays. Uh, every Thursday at 4 and 7, if you buy five break spots at once, uh, then make sure the sixth spot is a jersey, and the jersey will be free at checkout on your sixth spot. Yep, all in the same cart. Yes, must be the same order, Cody, not five spots. So if you've already bought in five times tonight, you're not going to get that deal retroactively. No one's going to get it, Colin, unless they buy five times at once. At once. At once. Same order. Here we go. Our second jersey break of the show. Oh, baby. This is, in my opinion, the best jersey left in the series. It's the best corner of all time. It's the show, man. It's prime time. The on Sanders. It's prime time on the Niner jersey this time. Uh, I believe he was Defensive Player of the Year with the Niners. I think it was 94. That's the NFC West. That is John Gagliano. Johnny Gags. Johnny Gags. Uh, jerseys today for Johnny. What did, what did you Sheep. want, Colin? Both shows. John Gagliano. Trayvon Diggs jersey. Yep. Deion Sanders jersey. Yep. Uh, Lawrence Taylor jersey. Yep. Maurice Jones Drew jersey. Uh -huh. And yeah, just really sick Ricky Williams jersey. So you're telling me that even if they're not headliners, all the jerseys are great. Mm -hmm. And our other series are even better. Yeah. Uh, so we got a lot of heat in the break room. That's, I think that's what I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh, prime time, baby. Uh, NFL Defensive Player of the Year in 94. This year he played with the Niners. Two-time Super Bowl champ, eight-time Pro Bowler. NFL 1990s All-Decade Team. Pro and College Football Hall of Famer. Robert Clark says prime nice. 
It's not Amazon Prime. It's Dion Primetime Sanders <laughs> for John Gagliano. It's not Amazon Prime. <laughs> Imagine, like, you know, all due respect, you know, I, I love old people personally. They're my favorite along with younger folks, but... Um, Imagine telling your 80-year-old grandpa, hey, grandpa, the game's on Amazon Prime today. Uh, he's like, what? What is that? What? <laughs> How do I watch it? Is that Channel 7? Dude, people are like that already. Oh, grandpa, it's Amazon Prime. Put it on, grandpa. The Thursday night football game? People oh, are uh, a little confused on how to watch it. So good hit, Johnny Gags on the Deion Sanders. You write this up, and the slab double is next. And then what's our closest break after that, Colin? Closest break after that would be the basketballs at three, I believe. Ooh, let's play some basketball, oh, baby. Come back, kid. Wait, that's not right. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, come back, kid. Minis at two. All right, minis are coming up. Basketballs it's all coming been up. Uh, let's keep it going, guys, here in the break room. Keep these orders coming. Uh, let's break some boxes. Let's go, Rangers. Ryder's got, he's got four goals in the series, Bob, already. There you go, Is Bobby right? B. He's a fighting Bob Boulay, Colin. Why not? <laughs> so I'm going to need, the. it looks like the Rangers are going to win. They are on the parlay. I need four goals from Tampa Bay in the third. You're toast. Come on. You are toast. Come on. <laughs> uh, that stat I gave you, Colin, home teams that are uh, down 0-2 in a playoff series cover, what I say, about 68% or something of the time. Nets are looking to cover, but so much time left. Yeah, and 74 they're, they're all. Now? all right, cool. 74 all That's here. It's the only one I can win. Come on, Sixers. Mm. James Harden balling out. 19 4 and 4 for the beard tonight. Yeah, four already. Good gracious. Mm. Hands on fire. Biggest hockey fan I know, Bob Boulay. As an honorary Rangers fan for the Stanley Cup playoffs, I approve. I'm an honorary Boston Bruin fan. I want to see that season get recognized for what it's been, Colin. I'm rooting on the Bruins, most points. They got to get past uh, Most first. wins. I know they lost yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm going for Boston. Talk about bipolar. They're yeah. bipolar. The Panthers are bipolar. Yeah. They're really good or really bad. So we have a double coming up in the slabs. we got Brandon, Tyler, Cody, Timothy, Michael, William, and Jeff Grand Mason. Oh, my God. That's a blast from the past. Uh, Jeff Grand Mason, a customer before your time, Colin. I, I told say, you. I don't remember. Uh, we have a lot of customers that love the Ultimate Autographs experience. Uh, you know, they spend enough money to take a break, and they usually come back. And, Jeff, I've got good news for you. The hits here in the break room are so much better than they used to be. Uh, I mean, the filler hits we have now used to be headliners in some of our series. Uh, so anyone who rejoins the break room... This place is in such a good place, Colin. It's only getting better, which Agreed. is crazy. Uh, so welcome back, Jeff. You don't know what you're in for, brother. Uh, you have no idea what you're in for when it comes to the hits here at Ultimate Autographs. It is nothing like it was uh, back when you first joined our break room. Eight times coming up. Good luck, everybody. Uh, we have Peyton Manning, Jalen Hurts, Josh Jacobs, Kyler Murray still in play, uh, full of... Headliner Heat. Six, seven, and eight clicks. Cody Myers, he was rallying the troops for Peyton Manning. Uh, Peyton Manning slap card could be yours. You've got the AFC South if it's in box 11 or 23. We got Brandon in the NFC North. Jeff, you've got the NFC South. Tim at the NFC East. Looking for a little Jalen Hurts action. Tyler NFC West could be Kyler Murray. William Stefanelli, AFC North. Cody's got the Manning spot, as I mentioned. He's got the AFC East as well. And Chief fan Michael Frank, you've got the AFC West, brother, which could be the Josh Jacobs. So 11 and 23. Actually, you've got him here. My bad. Yeah. Good news, Colin. What's this up? is also the chase tonight. Oh, yeah. The chase item of the day, the slap cards. Let's go. All righty, good luck, everybody. Let's see some heat. I smell at least one headliner here. Yeah, 40% chance at a photo headliner, 70% chance at a headliner that is in the listing. I would say a headliner does smell pretty good. You're feeling real good if I'm Timothy ooh, Rodriguez. All those eagles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, my God. You're going to love this one, Colin. 
Uh, we got ourselves LaShawn McCoy hey. rookie card. Pit Panthers, Tops Magic, Beckerton autograph, nine min card. One of the best running backs uh, in the NFL the last 20 years. Yes, LaShawn sir. McCoy. Uh, beautiful card right here. How about these great pit players? I mean, Tony Dorsett, uh, Dan Marino. How many of these guys played at Pittsburgh? That is a low-key, a great, great football school. LaShawn McCoy. Let's do the tenure the beauty. here. Beauty. Let's see, McCoy, where he played longest. Oh, uh, it's Philly. It's Philly. He was drafted by Philly as well. Actually, a little bit closer than you may think. Played in Buffalo for quite a bit, but it is the Eagles. It is the NFC East, as I thought. It is Timothy Rodriguez with the LaShawn McCoy slab card. He was excellent, man. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Count them six Pro Bowls for LaShawn McCoy. Uh, led the NFL in rushing yards in 2013, 1,607. More than 11,000 yard rushing yards in his career. That might be enough to put him in the Hall of Fame. I hope so. It's going to be it's gonna be close. I'm not saying he's guaranteed... But 11,000 yards? Two, two Super Bowls, too. I mean, he didn't really play in them, but he does have two Super Bowls. I think he's in the top 25 all-time. NFL all-time rushing yard leaders. Uh, let's see, LaShawn McCoy, 22nd all-time in rush yards. It's crazy, man. He was so much fun to watch, so swifty, hard to take down. That I always think about that game against Detroit in the snow, the yeah. blizzard. And they were going to lose that game. And he just came out of nowhere mm -hmm. in the fourth quarter. Absolutely put the team on his back. Excellent player. I haven't seen him in the break room. It's yeah. fun. LaShawn Bucks legend says, Blake, <laughs> I've got a funny LaShawn McCoy story. Uh, what I first think of him, uh, I, you know, I used to work as a TV sports reporter. I've covered about like five chief games because I worked in Missouri. Uh, I think of him of, of his uh, Jaguar underwear. He's got the most colorful underwear in the locker room uh the guy was a hoot he is such a personality uh you see LaShawn McCoy with these like leopard spotted jaguar underwear like the Jacksonville Jaguars that is hilarious uh, he is something else <laughs> LaShawn McCoy heck yeah says Timothy Rodriguez and I got some news for you Timothy you could double up with Jalen Hurts in this break Ooh, can you imagine or Devonte Smith oh my god could be a Timothy show here in the break room he played one season with Tampa, I think, and one season with the Chiefs. Uh, so, LaShawn McCoy. Okay. He's a great running back. I mean, he was so, like... Really good. I guess the, the best word to describe him is shifty. Mm -hmm. He was shifty, LaShawn Watts. Put the moves on, that's for mm -hmm. sure. Very patient runner. Mm -hmm. Kind of like uh, like Le'Veon Bell in his prime, where it was, like, but, but more very athletic. patient, but, but more athletic. athletic. Yeah. yeah. 100%. All righty. Box 23 is next. 23 to 25. The MJ box. Four and nine chance at a photo headliner now, Colin. Odds are getting better and better. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Well, this is in the listing. It's not a photo headliner, but it probably should be. Uh, we've got a rookie patch auto. RPA, your boy, Devontae Timothy Rodriguez, one spot in that double. He's Beauty. got two ego hits. It's the running back, y'all. Then it's the receiver, Devontae Smith. Uh, top 10 in receiving yards this last season. Uh, had the Eagles rookie record for receiving yards the year before. Former Heisman Trophy winner at Alabama. Uh, Beckett 10 autograph on the card, 8.5 um, rating as well. Overall, uh, beautiful hit. Timothy Rodriguez on... Uh, Devontae Smith, Blake Miller says, roll tide. Roll tide indeed. Roll uh, tide indeed. How good are those Alabama receivers now? Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddle. Um, they have so many great young receivers. It all started with like Julio Jones back in the day. Yeah. But used to be running backs, you know, uh, linebackers, defensive players. Now these Alabama receivers are also really good. Yeah, and I mean, he's the clear-cut number two receiver in Philly, and he still almost had 1,200 yards receiving and seven touchdowns this year. Yeah, he's probably number one on more than half the teams in the NFL. Actually, probably most teams. He's top ten in receiving yards this mm -hmm. last season. 
He's well, incredible. I think he was, what, ninth, Colin? Eighth? I think ninth, I believe, yeah. in the league. More receiving yards than any rookie in Philadelphia Eagles history. Yeah. Very Crazy. impressive. I mean, literally, realistically, I'm not playing it. They spend the rest sure. of their careers in Philadelphia. They could be the first and second best wide receivers they've ever had. No doubt. If they keep this pace. Better than Harold Carmichael, I'll tell you that much. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah, but you're Carmichael. Right. <laughs> uh, we have a ninth in receiving yards, by the way, Devontae Jeez. Smith. Ninth. Uh, Blake Miller with the statement there, SEC, it just means more. Agreed. You look at the best receivers in the NFL right now. You have your Justin Jefferson, your um, Jamar Chase, you have Devontae Smith, uh, you have Jalen Waddell. Uh, so many SEC, Alabama, LSU guys, even Mike Evans. He was a Texas A&M guy, SEC. Uh, it's it's the place to be, man. SEC is. is the place to be. We have a mini break coming up. That's right. And, and the big have... story in the slabs, too, by the way. That's now four and eight. Is that correct? There's eight boxes left. We have Kyler Murray, Jalen Hurts, Peyton Manning, Josh Jacobs. Pretty good. 50% chance at a photo headliner. Ooh. I mean, if we're not hopping in there right away, I it's the chase tonight. True. I don't know what, what we're doing right now, Colin. We should be doing more of these slabs, man. Get these slabs rolling. Let's go. 9 and 12. 9 and 12. Come back, kid. We got Tony Baloney, Anthony Ciccatelli. We got Eric Thompson, Michael Lemke, Michael Frank, Kobe Baldwin. Welcome, Kobe, new customer. David Styles, Warren Eyed, and Michael Frank as well. Come back, kid. Number one. Uh, one. We're looking for a bunch of headliners in this series. Looking for a bunch of heat. Uh, like Joe Montana, the best item left, I would say, is that Montana mini helmet. 8276 nets after three. Ugh. Yeah. Gross. And it's Embiid's fault, by the way. Nine points only for Joel Embiid. Oh, gosh. The man is sleeping at the wheel. Who's left in the jersey, says Johnny Gags. Uh, jersey headliners left. Antonio Gates, Kenneth Walker, Brian Dawkins, Devontae Adams. Uh, there's not that many left because you got them all, Johnny. You got the Deion Sanders. You got the Lawrence Taylor, the Maurice Jones-Drew, the Ricky Williams, which was in the listing uh, you're tearing them apart, Johnny Gag. I mean, that's still half the headliners, though. Nah, he's picking headliners. I mean, he's ha he's got half the other half are out there, Colin. No that's kidding. how it is. That's how it is in those jerseys. Michael Frank in the slab double. That a boy. A Frankinator. How about them pirates? Says Canyon. Yeah. How come they couldn't cover the spread? <laughs> <laughs> they get the walk off win probably by one. Four to three. Ah, uh, yeah, it's bad. All right, they're doing good. They are doing good. Uh, it is April 20th, but uh, <laughs> the Pirates usually are not this good at April 20th either. This right. is true. Five, six, seven, eight is the dice roll. Eighth and final click. Hey, look at Tony Baloney. No longer in the NFC South. He's now living in the AFC West. That's his house right now. Oh. Kobe's got the NFC North. NFC South is Eric. Michael, NFC East. David, NFC West, Warren, AFC North, Michael, AFC South, AFC East, and Tony Baloney, AFC West. Got a basketball coming up. Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that. Uh, yeah, 14 runs yesterday and 14 the game before. They're doing great, Cannon. They are doing great. Pirates are doing great. Just cover the spread. <laughs> uh, a basketball break is coming up. 2-4. We got the Mamba Box. Blake Miller will get 24 off the ticker. The basketballs. Humba box. That's right. Uh, you got the NFC North several times already, Tony. Uh, I have an idea how we can get the NFC North, but it's one Tony's not going to like. Uh-oh. Uh, he has to buy all the spots. That is That would guarantee it. That would guarantee it, Colin. Uh, but nine coming up. Uh, then we have 12 next in our mini double box break. Tony says buy more spots. Oh, Blake says Harden's ejected. Uh oh. Harden's ejected. Uh oh. Well, that's not good for your cover. Harden's ejected. Not good for your cover. <laughs> what do you mean he Harden's ejected, Blake? He gone. What do you mean? He gone. What do you mean he gone? He gone, Colin. <laughs> I don't know. Why? Why, oh, James? I'm about to get ejected. Oh my god. I'm about to get ejected from this room. Uh, nine out of thirty-five coming up. The comeback kids. What could we have in here, baby? Ooh, 
It's time for Mr. Cowboy. Oh. If your nickname is Mr. Cowboy, you're a legend. We got Bob Lilly on the Salute the Service Mini Helmet. Hall of Fame 80 inscription. Uh, this bad boy is JSA certified. Uh, that is Michael Lemke in the NFC East. Uh, congratulations on your uh, beautiful Bob Lilly Salute the Service Mini. That's nice. Good so, signature on Bob Lilly. Yeah, beautiful auto. The Joe Montana, Colin. It's going to look pretty similar to the Bob Lilly. Just going to say Joe Montana on it. Very high quality autograph. Uh, an absolute legend, by the way. 11-time uh, Pro Bowler, 7-time First-Team All-Pro, uh, Bob Lilly, Pro and College Football Hall of Famer, former Super Bowl champ, NFL 1960s and 1970s All-Decade team. Uh, nice hit, Michael Lemke. Very nice, Michael. He's a realtor. Lemke the realtor, baby. Okay, Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike. Need a house? Just call Mike. I'm looking. Yeah. My girlfriend and I are in the market. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So, here well, we go. There you go. Um, I don't know. I don't think he's a local guy, though. Better call Mike. Better the Better Call Saul? Yeah, but Better Call Mike. Better Call Mike. Last season of Better Call Saul on Netflix. Let's there go. There you go. Get after it, Colin. Get after it. Oh, you know. Maybe tonight I'll start it. Ted See what Lasso, time to get out. <laughs> Ted Lasso episode was so good this week. I'm still like, holy cow. Dude. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> <laughs> You'll watch, see, of all the things, like, I know Steven's brushing you on Harry Potter, which is great, obviously. <laughs> I think you would enjoy Ted Lasso more. Yeah. I also think your girlfriend would love it. Uh, it could be a good couple show to watch together. I like it's, that. It's very good. So one more coming up in the double box break. And we have a basketball next, and hopefully slabs afterwards. Maybe diamonds? About a jersey, I think that's a jersey. It's one away, so okay, Johnny Gags again. Oh, yeah, he's making those moves. Thirsty Thursday, uh, the fighting Gaglianos. <laughs> uh, we got a, this is kind of a very underrated player. Uh, think about this this is always, I know he played forever, he had the most touches. I know all that, but this man right here is third all time in the history of the National Football League in rushing yards. Only Emmett Smith, Walter Payton, more rush yards than Frank Gore. And let's be honest, Colin, I know they have 17 games now, but it's all about passing. Frank Gore will likely be the third leading rusher in the NFL maybe like in 30 years. They look it up, it's still Frank Gore. Uh, it'll be tough to top that number. NFC West, David Styles. He's styling, man. Yeah, styling and profiling. Let's go. And winning Frank many Gore. helmets. I mean, he still had nine seasons over a thousand yards rushing. Oh, he was great. Yeah. I think people forget how great he was. He was really good. And you know how I know he's disrespected? How? I saw a top 25 running back of all time list. I'm not going to say he's top five. He may not be top 10. Maybe he is. But he's they had him as the 25th best running back ever. I was like, are you kidding me? The third all-time leading rusher in sorry. NFL history is 25th all-time on your top running back list. That's cap. That is cap. The man had 16,000 yards and 81 touchdowns. Yeah. The internet, Eric. Uh, a specific article I read that had him as the number 25 best running back of all time. Cap. Terrible. Just terrible, man. Yeah, I, he's, he's definitely not top five. He's probably not top ten. But he's, he's top 15. I think top he's top 20 15. at least. Yeah, he's got to be top 15. Third all time at what you did. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Very good. Uh, David, what do you want for that Bob? The Bob Lilly. Bob Lilly. It's actually not David that got the Bob. That was Michael Lemke. Uh, David got the Frank Gore, William. Correct. Uh, but good hits. Uh, good non-headliner hits, man. Uh, these are filler hits. Uh, in our uh, mini helmet series, and they're pretty good ones for sure. So Frank Gore, and we got some basketball yeah, coming up. They're playing and basketball. Bat oh, <laughs> are you singing, Colin? Boy, that song is catchy. <laughs> playing basketball, man, I love it. A little Mike, just like Mike. That's where I first saw that song. Yep, it was fantastic. Bow wow. Bow wow. Oh my gosh. What's he up to these days? He's not little anymore. He's probably playing uh, basketball. He's like, 
medium size wow like, oh, <laughs> the medium size wow basketball baby says blake uh darcy william Brittany, and blake what's up Brittany hellman right been a minute that's a Steeler fan Brittany hellman you know Brittany? i know Brittany. oh my god we go way back it's been a hot minute what's up <laughs> brit uh welcome back to the break room i told you these guys they miss us, Colin. Yeah. Uh, they, they spend too much time away from Ultimate Autographs. They start getting bored. Uh, they stop missing memorabilia, and then they come back. That's just how, it's how the cycle goes. Uh, cycle of Ultimate Autographs. Uh, all right. So Darcy, William, Brittany, Blake will go eight times for our basketball divisions. Then we have a jersey break next. Drop me a number for the jerseys. And we're sort of starting to move a little bit on the break page, Colin. Moving and grooving. Moving and grooving. We are pretty open right now after these next two breaks, but the momentum feels like it's there. Let's make a push, boys. Definitely slabs and diamonds. Gotta well, recommend. Bob, greatest running backs of all time. He's not top 10, but he's better than 25. Uh, I mean, I, there's no way he's the 25th best running back ever. Uh, in my opinion, at least. I'd have to look, but I, I'm with you. I don't think there's any way. I think I can no. comfortably say. He's better than 25th. Yeah, I'm not saying he's a top five court or running back. Right. At all. Yeah, no one's saying that. Uh, no one is saying that, to be clear. Uh, but I'm saying he's better than 25th, that's for sure. Uh, let's go, says Ronnie. Ronnie's off the Twitch. He's on the tube right now. Okay. He's on the YouTube. YouTube Ronnie. Johnny Gags wants 15 in the jerseys. All right, Gagliano. In the jerseys. We'll do 15 for the jersey board. Johnny Gags. Uh, we got William in the Atlantic Division. Blake's got the Central, Southeast, Northwest. Brittany in the Pacific. Oh. And Darcy stand up out there in the Southwest, Miss Standish. You got the basketball, Colin? Oh, no, I don't. What do we need? <laughs> uh, we need. I think oh, it's the I Mamba know. Box. 24. Bomba box coming up. Little Kobe. I guess ripping boxes is hard without the box. Nah, that's that's usually how it works, Alan. Usually how it works. Uh, alrighty, guys. The Northwest, by the way, could be KG. Uh, that could be Blake. You know, a lot of folks want that Dennis Rodman in the Central. That's also Blake. Uh oh, Blake's in a good spot. Is it Miller time or Yahtzee time potentially? Fifty percent chance for Blake. William's in here, and there's two ladies in here. The ladies do usually teach the guys how to do it, Colin. That's right. So we'll see. 24-25, uh, the full court press. And a great basketball series, to be honest with you. This is a series that should be gone. The fact that it's still in the room, a little bit surprising. But that's all right. Means we have some fire hits coming up. Ooh. Oh, baby. We got ourselves a headliner. Uh oh. Blake Miller. How about a little KG? Kevin Garnett. Hall of Fame inscription. One of the best power forwards of all time. Look, this guy had no weaknesses. Defense, offense. You know, he could pass. He could block. You had the mid range game. Yahtzee says Blake. Yahtzee, Eesh. indeed, on the KG uh, out there in the Northwest Division. Beauty. I say this story sometimes, Colin. When LeBron first came in the league, they asked him, who is the best player in the world? He didn't say Kobe Bryant. He said, Kevin Garnett, baby. Hey, G. Uh, nice hit. Blake Miller. Anything is possible. Including Blake winning this Kevin Garnett. Uh, Keenan Allen is still in the minis. Ronnie and Salako. You gotta make sure Ronnie's not been hacked on that YouTube, right? Uh, yeah. uh, usually comes in on Twitch. Uh, yes, Keenan Allen is very much available uh, in the mini helmets. Nice hit. Uh, Blake Miller on the KG. I think he's longest with the Timberwolves. I'm gonna make sure right now, actually. Having one of those moments where I'm like, yeah, Minnesota long is tenor for sure. Actually came back to Minnesota at the end as well. Kevin Garnett. Yeah, what a I would have bet that was the case, but probably, you know, better take double sorry. Check. Yeah. Uh, guess how many all-star teams KG made. Just take a guess, Colin. Eight. Oh. Twelve. Way low on that one. 
15. 15 on the dot. 15 time NBA All Star. Oh, God. Nine time All NBA first team uh, defensive team. Four time All NBA first team player. Three times on the second, twice on the third. Uh, former league MVP. Four time rebounding champion. Uh, the great Kevin Garnett. Wow. YouTube's getting easier, getting better at technology. We're still on Halo dial-up, says Roddy. There you go, Roddy. <laughs> he got off the dial-up. He's now on the tube. Said, I feel like, still on AOL correct me if I'm wrong, but Twitch <laughs> is more uh, more new and advanced than YouTube, right? I don't know. I don't use Twitch, Con. I'll be honest with you. Whenever I watch Ultimate Autographs, I either use Facebook or YouTube personally. I actually almost always use Twitch. Gee, okay. It's all preference. It's all preference. Uh, Pacheco, did you guys pull Pacheco last night? Nope, I don't think so. Isaiah Pacheco should still be out there in the minis. Tony Rosati. Thank you, UA says Blake. You are very welcome. You got it, brother. Mr. Miller. Uh, mini helmets, by the way. I know some of these guys in the break room are getting smart, Colin. Uh, they are getting smart. They look at the photo headliners and they look at some of the other names. Isaiah Pacheco has not come out yet. Uh, that is also in that series. Not bad for a seventh round pick, Pacheco. I uh, scored a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Uh, I call them a top 10 back in the NFL, and I still stand by that statement. Granted, you know, bottom of that list, like, you know, 8, 9, 10. But in the current NFL, I like me some Pacheco. Certainly the chief number one for years to come. Isaiah Pacheco. He's probably top 30. <laughs> Come on, Colin. Don't be mean. I'm not. No, he's got a lot of upside. A lot of upside, Isaiah Pacheco. Pacheco's the man. Common says, Tony, I agree. Uh, you know what the Chiefs said when they drafted him? They said that his college team was so bad, his college offense, offensive line was so bad, that they didn't know how good he was because they didn't have enough tape of him actually having a chance to have a chance to do anything. <laughs> he hops in the NFL, gets a good offensive line, and, you know, he's a Super Bowl champion year one. Right. Not bad for Pacheco. I'd be, it's so, so funny because I'd be like agreeing with everything you say. And I do until the end. And then I'm just like, dang it. Yeah. <laughs> they beat the Eagles. I know. I'd be so happy for him. Someone, someone's a little bit sour over there. I'm Colin. definitely sour still. A little bit sour over there, our Colin Rudisell. Here's the jerk. Thank you. And then we have uh, Michael Frank. has a, he, he got a personal. I have not seen Michael Frank in the chat. In the uh, minis. All right, so Michael, if you hop in the chat and drop us a mini helmet personal number, we can do that. Otherwise, we'll send it to your house. We don't pick the numbers for the personals unless you guys have them. Uh, so Chris Godfrey, Michael Frank, and John Gagliano in the jerseys. 15, the Mahomes box, called out by Johnny Gags. Johnny Gay. Break page is fairly open right now, Colin. Am I correct? I think you are correct. So let's get these orders moving. Unless you guys want to go home early tonight. I would prefer not to go home yet. Uh, but my girlfriend would be happy, Colin. So uh, it's up to these guys. Either make her mad or uh, let us have a good night here in the room tonight. I think we're, we are actually two away on the next mini. Okay, good. Minis are moving. Michael Lemke, the realtor's in for another one. I told you he's a realtor, Colin. You're right. He is a realtor. Uh, we have seven and eight clicks coming up. Michael Frank in the AFC North. We got Chris Godfrey in the AFC South. John Gagliano, he's got the rest. Uh, he has won every jersey break he's entered. Uh, That's true. So technically, the math says he should lose with a 75% chance. We'll see what happens here. Uh, Blake is feeling Warriors tonight. Let's do it. Do it, Blake. Do what makes you feel better, baby. Just do it. Go Warriors. Tell you what, Blake. If you bet the Warriors tonight, I'll bet with you. We're riding. Put it down. We're riding hard tonight. Well, it's another John Dagliano win. Ooh, I it's like time it. for Cole Peppa. Dante. Dante Cole Peppa. Uh, led the league in uh, passing yards and passing touchdowns at one point. Uh, Randy Moss's boy, JSA certified. NFC North, John Gagliano. What's the bet, Blake? Is it six and a half? Six? What's the current yeah, spread? What are we doing, Blake? What are we doing? We're riding. 
Are you hopping in too? I'm hopping. I'm bad on the Warriors, of course. Yeah, let's do it. You're going to fade your other pick? <laughs> yeah, well, that's going to die. Let's go. Oh, yeah. it's a parlay anyway. All yeah. right. Maybe We're riding. Hit. Let's see. Uh, Culpepper, NFC North for Johnny Gax. All right. Well, look, let me see. I'll, t- I'll take a look here in a second as well. Yeah, my free play's in. So my bookie. Here we go. What are we doing, Blake? Is it? Yeah, what's the play? Is it six, six and a half? Or you have a player prop? What's the bet, Blake? You let us know. Colin and I will place the exact same bet. We're riding. It'll be uh, Team UA tonight. Yep. All the people. Follow Blake. Look, Blake <laughs> Blake is the winner. I feel good following Blake. I do, too. I, look, I, none of my own stuff works. It's Blake knows what he's Blake. doing. I think Blake's wanted to bet the Warriors the whole night. He just hasn't done it. He's wanted to do it. And finally, he's like, I'm going to do it. Thanks, Bob. Just what I needed to hear. Another nice tricolor jersey, says Johnny Gags. I do love that jersey. You are doing good. Oh, I'm thinking money line, but spread would be safe. Uh, hello, hello, fellas, says Jason. 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 Look, Jason's got to hop in the slabs, man. Uh, there's eight slabs left. We have four headliners left. Kyler Murray, Jalen Hurts, Peyton Manning, Josh Jacobs. Uh, he's playing with house money right now because he got the Montana yep. earlier today. Go Jason get your Hurts, man. Yeah, he should have been in that uh that first double with Sean McCoy and Devontae Smith. Mm, that was good. Good that time for Eagles fans. An Eagle double up in the NFC East. So, let's keep it going, folks, here on the break page. Uh, let's attack, attack, attack. Just got another one into the diamond single. Our so six away there. Making them moves. We're caught up, right? This is our caught up here. We uh, have... Yeah, other than... The personal, but I don't, oh, no, I don't know if we're going to hear. Yeah, Michael Frank, let us know what number you would like, sir. And I'll go ahead and take some boxes once yeah, again. Yeah, boxies. Boxies. Getting a little bit crowded here tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we've been more crowded before, but definitely crowded enough next to me to hand you some boxes. There's Valerie Vander East. What's up, Val? Valerie! One to go in the minis. Where's Tony been? He's in the minis. He's in as well? Uh, oh. Tony Rosati, anyway. Oh, Tony. I'm talking about Tony Vander East. Oh. Is Tony There's Bolo- too many Tonys, man. Tony Baloney in there, too? He's not in yet. Ah, get in there, Tony Baloney. The minis are missing you, brother. Minis are missing you. Beautiful uh, jersey here, too, Colin. I love it. Love the color scheme uh, for Johnny Look, Gags. Johnny Gags has won a lot of very colorful, nice jerseys. Have you said another tricolor jersey? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. A lot of good jerseys. So, Johnny Gags was celebrating on Wednesday, Colin. Uh, doing the Lakers tomorrow, Phillies tomorrow, and Warriors tonight. Money line parlay, says Blake. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what we can do here, Colin. Not a lot of juice to be had on the Warriors, right? Like, the, the money line's got to be pretty high. Six and a half. I'm putting I'm putting in some money on that one. Let's do it. Let's do Let's it. Let's have some fun. I'm going word for word what Blake's doing. Okay, word for word, Lakers, Phillies, and Warriors money line parlay. I'll do the same. I'll do it tomorrow though, because. Well, I guess I got a place to parlay okay. now. I think you got to do it now. All right, let's do it now. I'll put in the same parlay. That works. You only live once, and Blake's gonna win us some money. All right, so. We'll have to wait till tomorrow to cash in. But I'll do the same thing as Blake. And then tomorrow we'll revisit here in the break room and see what we did or didn't win. Yeah, exactly. Not worth the money line. That's my thought. Because it's like very, very mm-hmm. high money line. It's actually minus 250. All right, so Warriors line, he said Lakers tomorrow. Where are the Lakers? Where are the Lakers? Oh, they're there. Oh, there we go. I didn't see him on mine either. I was like, what the heck? Minus 210 tomorrow, and he said the Phillies. Is that right? Baseball Phillies? Baseball Phillies. Yeah, plus 175 on my end. Okay, so minus 250. I got plus 189, Colin. Okay. That well, works. Done. <laughs> a little extra juice. I'm in, Blake. Done and done, Blake. Is We're riding. In. Let's ride. We're riding, riding hard here in the break room. 
418 in the minis. Tony Rosati. Thank you, Tony. 418 going off the ticker in the minis. There's actually not many minis left. I know it's about a 35 box series, Kala, I think. I want to say that's right. I've got one right here. But oh. a bunch of these late ones have gone in personals, I think. Yep, 35. And yeah, we've had at least three yeah, that so are going we are back. Knocking out spots in the minis. So we'll do four and eighteen. I'm gonna do some boxes yep. here. Load me up. And let's keep it going, guys. Let's ride. Russell Wilson. Yeah, that's right. Break room country. <laughs> let's ride. Break room country. The Broncos country, you said? Yeah, I think that's right. I think Broncos it was Broncos country. country. Uh I can't remember if it was before your time or not, Colin. Were you here for the Let's Ride Diamond Helmets? I think you weren't yeah. here. I think I was. You were here? Maybe not. Okay, I don't think you were. Here. I think that was actually just before you started. Because we had someone else was in here, I remember, for that, that break. He would always say, let's ride. I'm like, let's go, baby. Let's ride. It was a great series name. Shout out to Luke. The comeback kid, we got Tony Rosati, Michael Frank, David Stiles, Michael again, Michael Lemke, Ronnie and Salako, Valerie Vander East, and Michael Frank. 4-18. Got the Favre in the Manning box. I'll go count to how many we have exactly. Perfect. We can update the board and let the guys know. Got enough boxes to bring back there, Colin. That's good. We got five, six, seven, and eight clicks. All righty. Michael Frank up top. You've got the NFC North. Right below is Michael again in the NFC South. Ronnie, a Cowboy fan. You've got the NFC East. Uh, we have Michael Lemke, NFC West, Michael Frank, AFC North, Valerie, AFC South, David, AFC East, and Tony Rosati, AFC West. Harden tied it at 96. Uh, Harden hasn't played the whole fourth quarter. Philly tied it at 96, says Blake. Well, yeah, he got suspended. Uh, makes sense. Uh, makes sense on the James Harden front. All righty. Good luck, guys. We'll do four first and 18 next in the double box break in the mini helmets. Let's get these orders going, everybody. Let's heat up the break page. Only 8.51 p.m. Central Time right now. Double the boxes, double the fun in the comeback kit. Ooh. Well, Ronnie got the full-size helmet, the authentic, the other night. And now he's got the mini to match. Joe Theismann, Flash Mini Helmet, 1983 NFL MVP inscription, uh, former Super Bowl champion as well, uh, college football Hall of Famer, the great Joe Theismann. Let's go, Ronnie. A little Joe Theismann collection for, ironically, the Cowboy fan. That a boy. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done on your Theismann. One more coming up in the double box break here. I'll write this up for Ronnie, then we'll rock and roll with the next box. Let me take a peek at the break page right now. Nice, says Tony. Uh, we are five to go on the diamond single and pretty open on the rest. Let's get these orders moving, guys. Ronster, baby, says Blake Miller. Uh, he's calling Ronnie the Ronster right now. That was a good nickname for Ronnie the other day, and I can't remember what it was. The, Ron the Ronster is the good, Ronster. too. Like the Manster. Former Cowboy Randy White. So Ronnie's got a Joe Theismann Authentic and a Joe Theismann Mini. So he's got a little bit of both. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, Colin. Sixers and Nets tied at 96. Uh, actually, now 99-96 Sixers. What, oh, they can still cover. What's the line? Five, uh, four and a half. Four and a half. Okay. I'm talking six. six. 16 minis left? After this, these two. And we still have five photo headliners, plus that day of Pacheco. Yep. Got some goodies in there. Got some goodies in the minis. 18 is next. 18 of 35. Come back, kid. Brooklyn's got free throws, so you're probably Ooh. in trouble, Colin. Almost like this. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. We've got a little headliner magic here. 
This is one of my favorite players growing up. Uh, we got ourselves a Brian Erlacher salute to service. Pro and College Football Hall of Famer, former Defensive Player of the Year. We have a Hall of Fame 18 inscription. This man could pretty much stop anybody. Tight ends, running backs. Usually you get a tight end or a running back on a linebacker, you feel good. Against Erlacher, uh uh not so much. This man would shut you down, no problem. Congrats, Michael Frank, uh, on your clean, clean Ryan Erlacher. Erlacher, by the way, in college, Colin, this guy played every position in college. Uh, safety, he was receiver, tight end, kick returner, punt returner. The man was just an athlete. He really is. Was. Uh, great hit. Uh, he's now a big-time superstar on the billboards on the highway. <laughs> yeah, all over Chicago. The face of hair, or rather... Um, Kind of, right? I guess he is the face of hair. Yeah, whatever that one brand is. Yeah, no kidding. I don't even know what it is. I see it all the time. Yeah. Uh, we have Tony saying nice. Looks like we're going to have to run the minis again. Anyone else down? I'm sure someone's down, Tony. Valerie says I need a win. Well, she might be in for the next minis. There you go. Yes, Valerie's and her east. Actually, what did I say? There you said 16. 16. So it's actually 15, though, because we've got to give Michael Frank one. That's right. So it's 15 because of Michael Frank's personal. And four headliners. So if you're out there, Michael, you're ordering, let us know what number you would like for your personal, sir. D. Uh, Michael Lemke in for another one. Well, let's go. DJ Khaled, another one. Another one. Uh, Ronnie with the great comment saying, B.A., are we going to see Burrow tonight? The Diamond Helmets. There's, what, 13 left? Joe Burrow's one of them. I certainly hope so, Ronnie. I certainly hope so, sir. Got a little Joe Burrow here in the break room. All right, guys, keep it going. Well, let's keep the orders going. What a tough night for MB tonight. 5 of 13 shooting. 0 of 3 on threes as well. I need a little, I need a little overtime. A little overtime? Or, I mean, it's a, a three-pointer. Yeah. Burrow, I would like to see Burrow, my man, says Blake. All right, well, hey. Uh, we got, let's see, a refresh here, make sure everything is right. And we got a second column, a fresh mini as well, good Oops. sir. Yep. Uh, we have five to go in the diamond single. Uh, and we have, the double is pretty open. Uh, so only 13 boxes left. Uh, we knock out three more. We release the last five numbers of them take or the whole series is up. Uh, so, I mean, look, the diamonds is not about the headliners. It's all about every helmet. I mean, the headliners matter, but everything is headliner worthy. There's a Debo Samuel still in play. I kind of really like the promise in these other names. Jalen Waddle, uh, seventh in receiving yards this last season. Uh, we have Kenneth Walker, the third. A lot of valuable helmets in the diamonds. Let's get these bad boys knocked out next here in the room. Agreed. Sixers win. Big block from Embiid. Oh, no. But don't did say they that. cover, Colin? I don't no, think they did. They're up by two where I've got them right now. Probably one by two. Yeah, Dinwiddie. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, they got fouled. I don't know if it's over. There's eight seconds left. They're going to go shoot free throws. So they might win by four. Are you minus three and a half? It's, I think, four and a half. Four and a half. So Ooh. literally going to miss it by, by a half. By a half. That's not good. Odds makers knew what they were doing. That's right. Vegas knows something. Do you ever feel like they've got like someone who's like like a fortune teller, someone who sees the future? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm curious. They should make like a documentary or something about odds mm -hmm. makers because I don't really know a lot about them. Mm -hmm. But clearly they know. I mean, they have to study something or at least have some sort of program yeah. that gives you a number. PJ, PJ Tucker uh, actually made one of two. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Very good. A uh, former Heat player, also a former Buck. Actually went to the Bucks sixers game earlier this year, Colin. Got a standing ovation, he did. Oh, really? Uh, they, they liked him. A P.J. Tucker played on a bunch of teams. Like a solid role player. He plays defense, and he sits in the corner to knock down threes. He he does do that. He's very, good. Very well. He's a good player. So, listen, if they get a steal, and then they get fouled. Yep. Yeah. Or, no, they could miss the three and foul them. Yeah, the Nets, there's only eight oh, seconds, though. Like, I don't the know. Philly might foul, though. Philly might uh, foul. Don't be lame. That's what they'll do, Colin. I think they're fouling probably to prevent the three. Well, hopefully, perhaps. now what would be great 
I'm guessing they called a timeout or something. Yeah, but there's a timeout. Just a quick pass in. They should quick three, miss it, rebound Philly. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah that's how that's you what win. I need. Yep. That's what I need. Isn't it so fun? The significant, the sum. I guess the game is technically still in question, though. Yeah. The game itself, but there are moments the, though. The, the betting though just makes it so interesting right now. It's so I whenever there's games where it's like thirteen point lead or whatever, and then like there's just a garbage time three or like somebody gets a steal and dunks it home at the buzzer. Yeah. I'm always like somebody just won or lost a bet on that. Uh huh. <laughs> like I just I know somebody just won or lost a bet right Steven there. Stephen and I were in here when I hit an over Bears Lakers. Live over, there was like eight seconds left. Shot clock winding down. Bulls are up like 15 points. Uh, if this guy misses the three, uh, the game's over. They rebound the ball. They're not fouling down 15 with eight seconds left. It's a three. I win by half a point. Oh, my God. I've been yeah. at the other end many times. Yeah, well, I remember a uh, fun one. Race Thompson in Indiana. Oh, yeah, that was terrible. After the show one night. He yeah. missed so he many like free four throws. Four free throws in a row. He, he just needed to make one. Yeah, if he had made, I think if he had made two out of four, I would have covered. Yeah, and I think he made one. Yeah. And he missed it. So it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> uh, headliners left in the minis. Actually, to be honest with you, good as time as any to do a top-to-bottom rundown. We'll give you guys the rundown on everything we got going on. Uh, I'll do the minis first because these guys are asking specifically on the mini helmets. Oh, Colin, you got it, buddy. No way. That's what Blake says. Although it's five seconds left still. No way. What happened? I'm watching it. They I don't believe it. it. They missed it. And they, <gasps> they got a steal. Oh, they got a steal. They got a steal and they didn't pass it out. He went. I mean, I guess you don't want to pass it out. Oh, my God. You might as well get the bucket. Okay. Yeah, they got a steal on the inbounds. Yeah, I can't pull it up on my stream because it doesn't work here. Yeah. Uh, but I've got the game cast. Your hands, up. everybody. Well, the Nets still get the ball back, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they might miss. Maybe. Maybe. Philly's not fouling, that's for sure. For Philadelphia, oh 76ers. Gosh. All right, top to bottom rundown coming up. Uh, everything we got going on the Ultimate Autographs live break page. We have seven spots to go in the slab cards. Uh, we are down to eight slabs left, Colin. We have four headliners left. This is the fact that we're not doing a slab break right away is mind blowing. It's honestly, killing it's killing me. I mean, I get it. Maybe you guys don't like slab cards. That's fine. But a Peyton Manning could sh s sign my shoelace, and I'd be like, oh my god, <laughs> uh, five-time NFL MVP, the most ever Peyton Manning card is still out there. Uh, the richest quarterback on a per uh, year basis right now, and the richest player in the NFL, Jalen Hurts, five years, two hundred fifty-five million, and I mean, he's worth it to me, man. He's worth it. I hope so. I mean, one year in, he certainly looks like the real deal. You gotta pay your quarterback. Uh, Jalen Hurts is worth it. Let's go. Uh, we have Josh Jacobs of the league in rushing yards last season, and we have Kyler Murray, Pro Bowl quarterback for the Cardinals. Uh, we have eight to go in the diamond double again, guys. Joe Burrow, authentic helmet still out there. Uh, maybe the second best quarterback in the world for me. Debo Samuel, one of the best receivers in the NFL. We still got Jalen Waddle, Kenneth Walker. A lot of good options in the diamonds. Only 13 boxes left. Six to go in the comeback kid minis. Uh, so you said 15 boxes left. We got to save one for a personal. So 15 in play, we have four headliners left. Uh, we have Joe Montana, four-time Super Bowl champion quarterback. Warren Moon, the first black quarterback inducted in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And get this, they're both NFC West hits. You can get both in one break. I mean, the odds of that happening are getting more and more likely. We're about to have every number on the ticker here very shortly. Uh, <laughs> we still have in the minis Brian Dawkins out there. Uh, Nine-time Pro Bowler, one of the best safeties ever, the Hall of Famer. It's actually Brian Dawkins on a Bronco, which could pair with the Keenan Allen, which is an AFC West hit. Five-time Pro Bowl wide receiver, one of the best in the game. And how about this, AFC West? I say Pacheco we haven't seen yet. Uh, could be quite the spot to be in the AFC West. Could win two items at one spot. Five to go in the Diamond Single for 83 bucks. That Joe Burrow helmet worth what? More than a grand? For 83 bucks, Colin, you can get a Joe Burrow authentic helmet. Uh, all the hits are good. Enough said. 
about those diamonds. Seven to go in the reps. Actually, only one break in. We did pull a headliner, Warren Moon. Uh, so Deion Sanders, salute the service rep. We got a Terry McLaurin flash rep. Uh, we have the best corner ever, one of the best receivers today. The two best linebackers ever, Lawrence Taylor and Ray Lewis. And we have Tyree Kill second in the NFL in receiving yards this last season. Devontae Adams, by the way, was third. So two of the best receivers in the game out there in the red zone reps. Jim Kelly, Hall of Fame quarterback, uh, took the Bills to four straight Super Bowls. A lot of good options there uh, in the reps. Eight spots to go in the slab card single for 31 bucks again. Peyton Manning, Jalen Hurts. Uh, that's a little surprising for sure. A wide open on the next jersey break. Uh, we have Antonio Gates, Kenneth Walker. Uh, Gates, by the way, number one all time in receiving touchdowns for tight ends. Seventh all time, period. He's really good. Uh, Kenneth Walker on that beautiful Seahawks jersey. Brian Dawkins. On the Eagles custom, and Devontae Adams led the league in receiving touchdowns this last season on that Raider jersey. Six to go in the basketball. Boy, they picked the headliners apart, Colin. Yeah, they did. Uh, but we do have a Dennis Rodman ball still out there, the warm in the basketballs. We'll come and get those spots. Let's rock and roll in the break room. I kind of feel like Philip Rivers and Antonio Gates was like the original Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey. It was. They were a great combo. Really good. You got the cover, Colin. I know, they covered. They oh missed a three. God. It was awesome. That's incredible. So now I did just fade my own pick by doing Blake's, but that's okay. okay. You know? That's all right. Have you been to the Xfinity Live by the Philly Sports Complexes? It's pretty fun, says Blake. I have, actually. Uh, went right after an Eagles game one time. Ooh. Very fun. fun. It's a party. They won, too, so like everybody was in a good mood. I believe it. Really, really cool place. I'm for the Warriors, says that's Blake. That's right, right, baby. Warriors. Uh, let's get it, Golden State. Well, that stat I gave you, Colin, about the home team uh, up 2-0 or down 2-0 in a series and covering, well, the Nets didn't cover, so maybe the Warriors are due. That's true. Well, actually, they don't need to cover. See, I didn't actually fade my pick. Yeah. Because the Warriors come in by, like, three. Yeah. And we're good to go. I can get both. That's true. Best of both worlds. Hoping for the cover. I'm feeling like a live bet in this game. I've been hot live betting lately. Uh, feeling a live bet for the Warriors. Maybe they're down like two or three, and the line's like minus three. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to get in on tonight. Well, the uh, the Boulay-Gagliano battle is seeming pretty inclusive in this one, or conclusive, rather. Okay. I've won Rangers. There you go. Yeah, I yeah. love it. Let's go, Blake. I'm a Heat fan, Let's but match. with that greatness, putting my Curry jersey on for the back. Let's go! Uh, I told Colin... I also have a Stephen Curry jersey, uh, but I have a belly that doesn't allow me to fit in it anymore. <laughs> Mine's getting kind of tight. I, I can tell, it's, yeah. It's not, like, ugh, terrible, but... If it were any more, though, it'd be bad. Yeah, yeah, we're getting there. If I was, you know, pick up 15 pounds, it's, Yeah, I it wouldn't, it's wouldn't a wrap. fit. Uh, so, maybe I could put it on, like, when I get home, just wave it in the air. <laughs> uh, Stephen Curry. I can't remember if I hooked that for my mom's or not, though. So when I moved out, I left certain clothes back there. I may have left that one back in the does not fit category. <laughs> it was actually a gift for my brother. Uh, he went went to the Warriors game back in like 2014. No, maybe it was 2016 he went. But I was still in Arkansas at the time. He got me the Curry jersey. And the last seven years uh, have definitely have not allowed me to fit it in anymore, Colin. <laughs> Feel like that sometimes. Uh, but it's a nice jersey. Super nice Steph Curry jersey. That's My brother got me this jersey. That's funny. Perfect. And brothers know. They know. When you know, you know. Steph Curry. I actually just saw a great piece on ESPN about uh, Stephen Curry's shooting coach. Q, did you see that one? Mm -mm. Look it Check up. Check that it's out. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, it's such a good piece. And favorite player of all time, Steph yeah. Curry. Really? Okay. Right. Number two. Steve Nash. Oh, I like that. He's up there for me, man. I, I, I'm I, such a fan of Curry. I was a Jordan fan. Um, people won't like this, but I'm a LeBron fan, too. I love MJ, LeBron, Curry, and Giannis, and D-Wade. Those are probably my awesome. top five all time. When D-Wade got up on the, the little stand or whatever after he hit the game winner. Oh, iconic. Just, yeah, and everybody's... Iconic. Yeah, oh, God, I don't know so if I could pick just one. It's so hard to say. It's tough. God. 
I, I love was, those guys all so much. I was a son. I didn't really like basketball that much growing sure. up. Like professional basketball is all sure. college basketball. Yeah. So it was wherever Steve Nash was. So like I was a Mavericks fan for a little bit. Then I was a Suns fan for a long time. Yeah. Then he went to Los Angeles and I was like, ah, I'm not rooting for the Lakers. Same time that happened. Steph Curry gets yeah. drafted by the Warriors. Yeah. Followed him in college. And I'm like, that's my guy. I loved him in college. because so good. I was a UNC fan in college. So uh, I watched Davidson play UNC tough. The year Davidson made the Elite Eight, I actually had it in my bracket. Really? I put him in the Elite Eight just I think, because. I don't think I had him that far. I had him I in the Elite Eight 16. and I was riding that Curry train. The year before against Maryland in the tournament, yeah, he was great against Maryland the year before as well. Uh, the other guy I love is Shaq. That's probably my yeah, sixth he's, player. He's, I was love just thinking Shaq he might too. be third for me. Yeah, Curry is such a likable guy. He's an awesome player, an awesome person. Uh, he's actually the most fun guy to watch play, I think. like uh, I've seen him in play in person. you got to get there early for the warm-up show. Uh, he's fantastic in warm-ups as yeah, well. Yeah, I always see the videos. <laughs> Common, you're speaking in my ears, baby, says Blake. King James and Wade County, Miami, says Blake. That's oh, right. Man. How uh, excited were you, Blake? At, at the time, probably not personally, Colin, probably not quite as excited as Blake. At the time, those were my two favorite players in the NBA, LeBron and Wade, and they joined forces together. I was like, yes, thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. And they would have won more had Wade not gotten hurt. People forget how great Dwayne Wade was. The last, like, seven, eight years of his career – all about injuries. Full disclosure, I actually hated that team originally. Oh, now did. I've come to respect them. Of course them. you did. Of course you did. Yeah. Everyone did. Yes. Yeah, he was so cocky when he left. Mm -hmm. Shaq was unreal, says Blake, 100%. Uh, Shaq was uh, the most dominant force that I saw growing up. VA, I love the Heat too, says Ronnie. There you go. Uh, you know what I love? What do you A love? diamond break. We are two away on the diamonds. I hope not, Tony. Hopefully not an early night tonight. Let's get these orders going so we don't have an early night tonight. Uh, two spots to go. Come and get this Joe Burrow for 83 bucks. Uh, we're also going to have a mini break coming up. Three spots to go, Colin. That's right. So Keenan Allen, Brian Dawkins, Joe Montana, Warren Moon. I got to say a Pacheco. I know there was at least a couple people that said they were in for one more that I don't think are in yet. Who's that? Michael Lemke? Yeah, I don't think Mike's in yet. Okay. I do have Tony Rosati though. Okay, Tony's in. I think I think Blake's in. Although I don't know if you said that. I do like the Heat too, Colin, because Jimmy Butler, former Bull player, one of my favorite players in the NBA today as well. I got nothing against the Heat oh, other the Heat. than them beating the Bulls. That's for sure. Spolster, a great coach. Waldo's diamond sneaked on me. Says Blake. Thought I looked and it was open. Yeah, get in there, man, before it's too late. I think it's too late for this one. <laughs> oh, who shut the door? Michael Miller? Was not. Oh. Cody Myers. Let's go, Cody. Oh, pardon me. Bless you, sir. I need a number for the diamonds. It's full Ronnie and Salako. Sold out. We're going to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. I don't know how the rest of it goes. Otherwise, I would sing it. Um, something we got everything you want, or we got everything you want. <laughs> You're like, I'll go with it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, box number, guys. That was actually uh, the fight song to my high school basketball team. And you I don't know, know the it. words. Yeah. <laughs> what know. happened? I'm terrible at randomizing lyrics, Kyle, or, or memorizing lyrics. I'm terrible <laughs> at it. I just listen to the tune in my head. Yeah, I gotcha. That's why. Well, karaoke is nice. I got the words in front of you. Exactly. If it wasn't for that, I would have no idea what to say. <laughs> uh, 18 coming up. 18 off the ticker. Thank you, Cody Myers. We'll rock and roll with 18. The man in box. Peyton, that is. Uh, let's get all of them on the ticker and they will fly, says Ronnie. We are only two boxes away from that, Ronnie. We are one double box break away from releasing the rest of the series on the ticker in those diamonds. In case you just tuned in, it's a new break room rule. We want to keep it consistent uh, as far as how we release numbers on the ticker so it's the same for every host. Uh, we start with 10 on the ticker, Colin. We knock out five. We, we add 10 more on the ticker. Uh, anytime we're down to five or less on the ticker, release 10 more boxes. In this series, only a 25-box series. We are currently down to seven. We knock out two more. 
release the last five. That's how it goes. Keep it universal and consistent. Let's go. Blake asked in common, have you ever tried singing Fleetwood Mac? Oh, great. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know if I have, to be honest. I would not be great, I'm sure, but I have tried singing Macklemore, Thrift Shopper, Blake Miller. That's a good song for sure. 18 coming up. 18 of 25 in the uh, Diamond Single. Who wants to knock out this Diamond Double? We'll release the rest of the numbers on the ticker. Who's in for a diamond double spot? Uh, by the way, who knows? Joe Burrow might be in here now. Uh, Randy Moss, Trevor Lawrence, uh, both of those guys uh, were pulled already in this series. Okay, sounds good. I got the raspy voice like Stevie would be a good hit. That works. A great song was Don't Stop. Bob says, I would say stop. You see, <laughs> Blake wants to encourage my singing. Travis Daniels wants to encourage it. Everyone but Bob loves it. You got to sing uh, Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. Okay. That's a banger. Okay, got to practice. Got to practice. Eight clicks here. We got Thomas Coyle. You've got the NFC North, Thomas. NFC South is Ronnie and Salako. Ronnie, NFC East, looking for some Cowboys. Cody NFC West could be Debo. We got Darcy AFC South. Our AFC North is Cody too. Could be Joe Burrow. Uh, Darcy AFC South, Blake AFC East, and Michael AFC West. It's so good, right, Blake? Okay. Uh, it is a good song. I, I actually have heard that one, Colin. That is a good one. Oh, it's so, it's like my happy song. It's just peaceful. Blake's dad sang with Martina McBride? What? Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. awesome. And Brennan says, Common, it's not a bet, but I'm calling Gooners in Southampton. Saints finish even tomorrow. There you go. Hmm. Brennan, wow. there is cool. seven basketballs left, brother. One of them is Dennis Rodman. The worm. Hop in there, Brennan. Get it. So here we go. 18 coming up. 18 to 25 in Welcome to the Jungle Diamond Helmets. Nothing but heat in this series. Like says, didn't even know I was in this break. Okay. You're in the break. You're in the break, sir. You might, might even win. win. Yeah. Uh, you might even win. That would be hilarious. That'd be funny. Oh, well, cool. I'm glad I got a spot. I won. Oh, okay. Cool. That works. Ooh, this is a nice helmet here. You know, this guy's heating up right now in the break room. Uh, Cody Myers, you've got a Kenneth Walker, nice. the loop to service authentic. Mm, beauty. Uh, one of the best young backs in the league. I love this gold ink on the salute to service Hawks helmet. We got the American flag on the back, uh, the beautiful back insert. Have yourself a hit, Cody Myers. I think he got the Trevor Lawrence earlier today. Did he not? I think he got something earlier in the diamonds today. It, it, it was him. Yeah, he did get the Lawrence. He is heating up. Holy cow. I love the Walker man. He's going to be the guy, says Blake. He's oh, yeah. already the guy in uh, Seattle already. Yeah, and uh, Seattle's had a strong run game for a long time. Yeah, remember Marshawn Lynch? Oh, yeah. A beast mode. Over 1,000 yards rushing this last season. Played in only 15 games. Uh, fantastic player. The PFWA All-Rookie Team. A uh, former Doak Walker Award winner. Unanimous All-American in college at Michigan State. Uh, great player, great hit. Cody Myers, he says, nice. Yes, sir. With multiple exclamation points. He was all that, is all that, and a bag of chips. 100%. Kenneth Walker the third. Strong start by the Warriors. Clay Fire says, Blake, that's what I said. You heard me say that, Colin. You did say that. Yeah, feels that like means it's about to hit a three. I said over 30 points tonight for Clay Thompson. <laughs> On my stream, right when he said that, I was like, uh, they just got a shot blocked. Yeah. And it's only two to nothing. But they are up 5-0. Yeah, Clay. Uh, it just seems like whenever they really need him to have a big game, I know it's game six, Clay, but it feels like a game six. It's a must win. I think Clay Thompson's going to be uh, shooting hot tonight, mm -hmm. which is crazy if you think about it. Like, Clay Thompson, Hall of Fame basketball player, right? He might be top 50 ever, but no one's going to say he's top 20 ever, right? No one's got Clay that that far. No, no one. 
he might be the best streak shooter in the history of basketball. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, even more than Jordan, even more than his teammate Steph, when he gets hot, it's game over. He's tough to stop. Game over. He's got one of the most purest shooting strokes I've ever seen. And the release is so quick. Yep, it's so good. So quick. One of the best. Uh, actually, I went to a Bulls-Warriors game a few years back, and he had like well over 30, maybe close to 40 points. He loves playing the Bulls of the UC. <laughs> it's one of his favorite places. He tears down Chicago every time. Love to hear it. I so, go. Got to see it before he retires. Yeah. Hopefully he does. he'll be on the Warriors next year. Oh, Clay, 100%. So, 8-6 Warriors early on. That play's got a three. Steph's got a three. Yeah, I just saw him make it. It was deep, too. I told you, both over 30 tonight. Let's go. I didn't bet it anywhere, Colin, but I think Steph and Clay both get 30-plus tonight. The Splash Brothers. They're, uh, they're wearing their sick black and yellow jerseys tonight, too. Black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> you set one me my, up. One of my dream memorabilia pieces that I hope I get one day is a double framed jersey with Steph and Clay Ooh. with like some custom stuff going on. That sounds right. awesome. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say one of your dreams is for me to sing that song. No, that's definitely not. <laughs> okay, all right, my uh, bad. Uh, so Rangers We are not at win? 30 yet. <laughs> uh, not at 30 boxes 17. Yet. Oh, we well, some work to do. <laughs> 17? Oh, that's more than I thought. Well, actually 16, because we didn't open the personal. So we are within striking range. 14 boxes to go, and I sing a full song, Colin. Mm, boy. Mm, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go, Patty Kane. Uh, I'm talking about. All right. Good game for Patrick Kane. 12-8 uh, Warriors here, Colin, early on. Let's go, Warriors. But uh, not too much. Good. Looking good early. <laughs> uh, means nothing in the NBA, of course. Nothing in the NBA this early. Oh, uh, yeah, not this early. Uh, Wiggins on the board as well. Jordan Poole. Uh, they got the hot hand here. Three of five on threes. I was really happy when they drafted Jordan Poole. Yeah. I'm a big college basketball guy, as I said, but even bigger in the Big Ten. Michigan star. Yeah, Jordan Poole was excellent. He had, like, a huge uh, shot in college, too, mm -hmm. like, for Michigan in the tournament. And it's funny, he made that, and I was like, that guy looked good in a Warriors jersey. And I kind of yeah. said that jokingly. Here we are. He's very up and down, to be honest. He's very talented. Uh, just to, some nights he's good for 30, the next time good for three. He's it, it not having as big a season, or he didn't have a big a season this year as yeah. he did last year, but. Hopefully he gets it going. Ooh, Wiggins. Buffkin for Michigan is this year, the next pool, and he's a lefty, says Clay. Okay. That sounds great. I love lefties. Uh, I'm not a James Harden fan, but I just love watching the lefties shoot. Like when Harden shoots it, I'm like, ooh, that's nice. I'm technically a left-handed shooter, but I kind of shoot like this. Okay. Anyway, so I'm kind of more of like a women shooter. Yeah. You know? I kind of shoot from with the two chest. hands, too, to be honest. But mine goes in, Colin. Enough of the time. Uh, I'm not... That's enough. <laughs> I mean... If, if, I, if I give you 10 three-point shots, how many are you making? Oh, open? I'm good at open threes. Yeah, just like right now, we go out to a court. I let yeah. you warm up for five minutes. Shoot threes. How many are you making? Open, I maybe four. Wide, four? Yeah. That's really that's good. pretty good. Yeah, that's really yeah. good. Yeah, wide open. I think I'd make two. Two? M if okay. Three, maybe. maybe. If I'm feeling good. I think I can get four. I've done a lot of three-point shootouts. Uh, I would say my, probably my wide open three-point percentage, probably about 35%. We gotta, we gotta play the company basketball. We gotta play the company point. basketball. Has to happen. What's still out there in the minis? We have... Warren Moon, Joe Montana, Keenan Allen, Brian Dawkins, uh, and we also have uh, still out there Isaiah Pacheco, not even uh, photoed. I mean, we're having a three-point contest, says Blake. I'm not bad. There you go. To be fair, Colin, uh, if we did it now, I might also make two. Because I used to play rec basketball up until, I want to say COVID is when I stopped. Really? Uh, I used to play, like almost weekly um and i definitely have not played much the last few years so we'll see i would make negative two shots says tony there you go uh well, that's honest tony rosati that's yeah, yeah. that's kind of how i feel sometimes too. If, if i played for two or three weeks in a row like twice a week i think i would make four colin uh right now i might make two 
I don't know. I just, you know, we're, we're all about content here, I, obviously. I also might make seven and then make one the next time because I'm very up and down. I think on a Saturday in yeah. between shows, yeah. let's go out. We'll have a quick three-point contest. Let's go. We'll put it on TikTok Live, yeah. Instagram Live, whatever. Absolutely. And then let's just see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see yeah. what happens. We'll have these guys place their bets. Have a little prize if you pick the right person. When I worked in Arkansas, uh, I was part of... I was the local TV sports anchor, and I was part of like a charity free throw shootout. So I actually shot, it was a lot. It was 50 free throws. I think I made, uh, I want to say 29 out of 50. Wow. So that's not bad. No, that's good. It's 58%. Terrible for the NBA. Yeah, yeah but you, yeah. but for me, it was not bad. I want to say it was 29, might have been 28. Something in the high 20s I made out of 50. And that was actually good. There was like 30 people who did it. I was something like 7th or 6th. Some guy made like 39 out of 50. It was a normal person. There you go. So it was really good. That's impressive. Now, that, this was back in uh, 2015. It was a while ago. But that's when I used to play more regularly, mm -hmm. too. What do you guys want to break, says Ronnie. I'll challenge someone to hockey... Or baseball, though, let's go, says Tony. Now, what are uh, we talking baseball? Look, you'll crush everyone in, in hockey, but baseball, we got a state champion pitcher over here. I'd like to pitch to Tony. Oh, yeah. I got. I still got a little something in the cannon for him. Okay. You're a lefty, right? Crafty yeah. lefty? Crafty lefty. Little uh, mm. circle change. That was my go-to pitch. All right, as far as what we're going to break next, uh, the minis are going to coming up soon. We have two spots to go. Unfortunately, the rest of the break page is pretty open. Seven to go in the slabs, eight to go in the diamonds, seven to go in the reps, eight in the slab single, eight in the jerseys, six in the basketballs. So this break is happening 100%, Colin, for sure, no matter what, the comeback kid minis. Uh, we are down to 15 minis left, four photo headliners left, Montana, Moon, Keenan Allen, Brian Dawkins, and we believe... At least Isaiah Pacheco has not come out yet either. And actually, you were you guys dropped these minis yesterday, right? Yeah. We've been moving. Which of these other guys did you pull? Vic and Trayvon Diggs, did you pull those guys? You remember? Oh, you got the winner. Yeah, I was about to say I can pull it up. We can pull it up and look too. Do that. I wanna say no. we did pull Trayvon Diggs. That's the one I thought, but I don't know about Vic. Okay. So if Michael Vick is out there, that would be yeah. I don't think we did Vick six in fifteen chance at those names, uh, which by the way, not bad. Uh, challenge accepted. Colin says Tony Blake Miller says challenge is I'm going to come to Chicago. Boy, we're going to have a sports day out here. That's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, we'll be. We, I think we can use it. Blake says I want to go to a Bears game with Colin or Chiefs and a Philly game with Colin. There you go. Bears or Chief game sounds great, Blake. I love it. Never been to a Bears game, but I've been to Eagles a few times, says Blake. Well, Ooh, I bet you okay. had a blast. <laughs> we got we to gotta go in September. I don't want to go to a December game. I'm no, sorry. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's not the Bear games in December, cold. I'll go to any football game. All right, break room. We know what to do now. Just wait for the off-speed pitch, says Brennan. <laughs> is, that, is that your deal? That's uh, the off-speed pitch. That's what yeah. you got to look out for. Blake's been the Arrowhead a lot. Yeah, Arrowhead is great. I want to go somewhere. Uh, I've only been to a handful of stadiums. I've been to Arrowhead, uh, Soldier Field, uh, Edwards Jones Dome. Back when the Rams played there, Arrowhead's the loudest one I've been to. But again, only a few stadiums for me. Uh, that, that takes the cake, uh, Arrowhead. Such a great place. Very passionate fan base. It all becomes red. The seats are red, Colin. It just feels red in that stadium. I, yeah, it's on my bucket list of, like, field slash stadiums I want to mm -hmm. go to. Yeah, Arrowhead is definitely up there. 17-10 uh, Warriors, actually. Look at that, Colin. Let's go. Looking good early. Warriors. Uh, NFL stadium I most want to go to. That's a great question. Mm -hmm. You know, I really want to go to Seattle. Because I hear Seattle and Kansas City... Uh, are the two like loudest stadiums? Yep. I'd love to go to a Seahawk game. That'd be fun. I don't know if I could pick one. I would say my top three: Arrowhead. Yeah. I want to go see SoFi because yeah. it's a smart stadium. It seems pretty sure. cool. 
Uh, and I gotta, I gotta go to Jerry World. I do too. I gotta go to Jerry World. Yeah, I want Jerry the Eagles World to play. looks cool. I want to be the enemy in Jerry World. Yeah, I want it. When it comes to baseball, it's Fenway first, Yankee Stadium second. No question for me. I think the Giants Stadium would be nice too. I've been to Yankee Stadium. Once. Oh, there you go. Not the new one. Not the new the one. one. Yeah, that's still cool. Yeah, it was very cool. Yeah. Uh, definitely want to go to Fenway yeah. though. Basketball. The Giants too, actually. My oh, company. really? Yeah. Yeah, I want to go there. Uh, basketball, it's got to be MSG Knicks, and I was going to say definitely Lakers, but I don't know how I feel about the Crypto Bank or whatever yeah, it's called now. Yeah. When it was Staples, it's the same court though, right? Just the arena. Yeah, right? I think they just changed the name. I guess I want to go to Staples Center. I'm and the Warriors, San Francisco. TD been, Garden in Boston would be nice too. I've been to Oracle. I've okay. not been to Chase. Yeah. Yeah, but I was at the OG mm. the year before they that sounds switched. sounds nice. Yeah. Uh, I think we are also ready on minis. There you go. All right, mini helmets are coming up. We have 9 and 19. Uh, we'll do 9 and 19 on the minis. And let's get it going. Sounds like we're going to games with Ronnie and Blake. Well, Ronnie wants to go to a Warrior game, a Padre game, or a Ram game with me. That's oh. what he said. So you got to go out there. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to Cali. We're going to Cali. I wish I could have played shortstop, Tony. I was left-handed. They didn't let me. Ooh. Oh, that makes sense. I yeah. played I played third in baseball, but I didn't play in high school, just little league. You know what's funny? I actually got to play shortstop one game when we were crushing a team. Uh-huh. And I got hit in the mouth. Oh, oh that's not good. Yeah, it was terrible. Nine might be gone. Nine is gone. Let's see. All right, nine is gone. What would you like, Tony? My bad. Nine is gone, sir. Are you sure? Because I thought I triple checked the numbers left. He's hiding back here. Nine back there. All right, you don't see nine. You have 19. I got 19. All right. And then Tony says we can do 20 and 12 if you want. All right. So what do you guys think? 12 or 20? If nine's not there, 12 or 20? Tony says, let's go 12. All right, so 9 and 12 in the minis. You know what? We just did that, I think. I was about to say, I don't think I it's think 12 either. We just did 9 and 12. I apologize. Uh, we just did those, actually, Colin. Uh, those are the last two we did. Uh, my bad. Uh, and actually, we should have released more numbers before that break right, then. Let's just reset. So let's reset. I think the last double was 9 and 12. So, Tony, you are the first box call. Let me know what numbers you would like. 12 is not there, by the way. 12 is off the ticker, sir. Are you now? Is that... Yes, so 20 is one. Drop me one more. 12, was, uh, 12 is not there. Uh, yeah, 12 was never there, actually. You don't see 12, right? No, 12 is gone. So 22 and 29. Nope, 20 is first. Oh, my God. Sorry, sorry. Uh, a lot of numbers coming through. All right. So Blake will do twenty for Tony. Would you prefer twenty-two or twenty-nine, sir? Nineteen's not on the ticker. Nope. Nineteen. I have nineteen. Oh, you have nineteen. I have nineteen. Oh, nineteen. We have. Let's do nineteen and twenty then. Yep, nineteen is there. Yeah, I didn't have nine. So we didn't have nine, but we did have nineteen. Right. That makes sense. Yes. All right. Sorry about that. We that was confusing. <laughs> I think we just did nine and twelve in the last break, if I remember correctly, in the minis. Yes, I think yeah. that's correct. All right. So real quickly, apologize, guys. Uh, we had already done nine and twelve. Uh, so Tony Rosati called out the first two numbers, nine and twelve. He would then have dibs at the two numbers called out. Uh, actually called 9 and 19, sorry. So 19 is good. Uh, we have 19 right here. And then, Blake, you wanted 20. We'll do 20 for the next one. It's like when there's, like, multiple penalties on one play and I the know. referee's trying to explain everyone I that know. happened. That was weird. Um, but those are the first two we, we called out that we do have, Colin. Yes. That's what we'll do here. Uh, we got eight clicks coming up. Uh, we have Tony, Ronnie, Zachary, Blake. Michael and Cody in this break. Now that was confusing. Um, you know, I did triple check the ticker before the show, but we did nine and twelve in the last break. I forgot to take them off. So or, or twelve and whatever, because nineteen we do have. Yeah. 
All right. The Bucks, too. That's another one I'd like to go to. A box game? The, the Buccaneers, specifically. Yeah. Their field looks awesome. Yeah, it does. Five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, all right. Cody Myers up top. You've got the NFC North, Cody. Right below is Ronnie, NFC South. We got Blake, NFC East. Uh, Cody, we got NFC West. Blake, AFC North. Michael, AFC South. Zachary, AFC East. And Tony, AFC West. Uh, good luck, guys, in the comeback, kid. Number three, got 19 and 20. And Ronnie, how about this? I'll do a chase wheel spin for all the minis if we can knock out one more break in the minis. Uh, so <laughs> that works. We did celebrate 420 a little hard. Just with Ricky Williams jersey. 100%. 100% celebrated hard. All right, 19 is first. 19 of 25 in the minis. The comeback kid. Good luck, everybody. Uh, we got ourselves. This guy's heating up in the break room. Former Pro Bowl linebacker for the Niners, Cody Myers, with another one. Navarro Bowman. Ah. 49ers mini there. Nicely done, Mr. Myers, on the Bowman mini. One of the best standard helmets in football. 100%. The Niners standard is a classic. Warriors death winning, says Blake. Okay. I wish the game was over right now. Six okay. points. Perfect. Up six right now? 23-17. Okay. Good. Uh, I saw a stat uh, on SportsCenter this morning. Warriors are actually the third best defense at home in the NBA. Really? 28th best on the road. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just so weird. The record, the records are wild. I've never wild. seen a spread so bad. I know usually you're and better so at home, but that's just crazy how different that is. All right, next mini coming up. 20 is next. 20 of 29 in the comeback, kid. 20 of 25, excuse me. Oh, actually, we are really confused. Only 25 in the series, Colin. Uh, so we're releasing the rest of it, actually. I don't think that's right. And it is 30. I think it's 35. It's 35. So our production team also celebrated 420. <laughs> it says out of 25, it's out of 35. Perfect. Everyone's celebrating 420 Everyone's confused. in the minis. <laughs> Confusion everywhere. Oh, here we go. Tony Rosati, the one you were looking for. Uh, we got ourselves Isaiah Pacheco. Pacheco on the Chiefs. Mini helmet, salute to service. Ooh, salute to service. Uh, beautiful helmet right there. Scored a touchdown in the Super Bowl. The Chiefs number one back. The man took over the title. JSA certified. Pacheco for Tony Rosati. All right. Let's go, Tony. Box number mojo. It's the one he wanted. <laughs> probably happy we did 20. <laughs> yeah, probably happy we did 20. Sick thank you, guys, says Tony. Sick indeed on your Isaiah Pacheco. Nicely done, sir. Okay. That's a good hit right there. Pacheco. Man. Wow, one of his favorite minis already. That a boy. That's perfect. That is very perfect. 830 yards, Colin. 4.9 yards a pop for the Chiefs. A fantastic rookie player. Not bad for the 251st overall pick. Uh, Pacheco going out to Tony Rosati. Beautiful. That'll do. I think, Ronnie, the folks are waiting for the full release of numbers. He thinks Joe Burrow's in here now. He might be, he man. He might be. He might be. He might be. Uh, look, I don't want to give away free stuff. I said it this way. If we knock out one more mini break, Colin, we'll do a chase wheel spin. I know that got a little confusing, but technically, uh, we did offer up what we would normally offer up. Yeah. Uh, first dibs for Tony Rosati on the boxes. He called out the two boxes that were there. We had 19 the whole time. We just didn't have uh, nine, and he called out 20 as his next option. Exactly. So uh, I'll do a chase wheel spin if we can knock out another mini helmet break, and I'll put all you guys in that chase wheel spin. Well, David's already David Styles is already in for three. So okay, there you go. That works, and we'll do a chase wheel spin for the slabs as well. I have to imagine it's going to break tonight, man. I mean, if Tony's in, Blake's in, you're in, 
That's already two spots left. That's going to fill for sure. Yeah, there you go. Not yeah. to mention, we still have four headliners in, what, 20 boxes? Uh, yeah. Yes, we do, sir. So, actually, we are going to release through 30. Can you do me a favor, Colin, so we don't run into this confusion? Because I know a lot of personals were called out in the minis. Can you tell me the rundown for all the boxes we have through 30 for now? In those mini helmets. I want to make sure the ticker is right. Uh, and I'll let you know what we have. Five so through 30. Okay, so we have, do we have five there? We have five. 14. 14. 21. 20. And then is it 22 through 30? Or is there one that was done as a personal one there? Four is gone. 24 is gone. That was a personal. Yeah, and then we have five, 20. Okay, perfect. So ticker is updated out of 35 this series, is right? We, we only have 31, 34, and 35. 32 and 33. Okay, perfect. So we are knocking on that door. Uh, let's get these minis done. 14. 14 minis left. And we got to save one for a personal. So 13 minis. 13 left. minis left. And four headliners. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we are three away, so that break is going to happen. That chase wheel spin will happen uh, for you guys. Yeah, this, this mini break's definitely happening. Uh, I will say I'm, we're going to do the chase wheel spin for all the mini helmets that have filled up this show. It wouldn't be fair to the other guys who were in the minis earlier tonight. But actually, the folks from the last break and this break, uh, you guys are in. It's going to be one chase wheel spin right away for that. And then that'll be it. That's the only free wheel spin tonight, <laughs> Colin. That's it. Only other chase we'll do is for the slab cards, if which we have one double filled up, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. That's we correct. do have a chase wheel spin for the slabs. Brennan Kennedy in. Hi, right, Brennan. Warriors on fire, says Blake Miller. Let's go. And only only three points for Steph in the first quarter. Wow, that's a good sign. That's a good sign for Golden State. I like the sound of that, baby. Oh, he's gone. And he's gone? He's gone. All right. Well, then all that confusion led to fun. Tony got what he wanted. We're getting a chase wheel spin and another mini helmet break. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. Confusion, maybe. I bet it'll be more clear this time. Let's go. All righty. So we got David, Ronnie, Blake, Brennan, Tony, and Michael Lemke. Two box numbers, guys. Uh, we oh, here we get a lot of them coming in. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Maybe it's bigger. not gonna be so clear. <laughs> and this is funny because you know Blake dropped them in, not in the same comments. And in between Blake's numbers, Tony got. Oh in my there. god. <laughs> of course, it's confusing. So we have twenty-seven, and then Tony either twenty-two or thirty. Exactly. We need that song from Common tonight. Got to get the thirty boxes, Ronnie. What are we at, Colin? We are at. 19 it's gonna be 20 20 and after this after this oh that's 10 more that might happen box 4000 please <laughs> okay so we're gonna do 27 and 22 uh so yep yeah, so blake came in with 27 first and then he typed it in once in between his type tony got in with 22 and 30. So it's gonna be 27 and 22 what we do here Seven. 22. Tony, we never agree, says Blake. Never. They will never agree. So are we doing just all of the minis up till now? Yeah, and that's it. It's not going to be the rest of the night. Just the four breaks we've done so far, get a chase wheel spin, and then no one else in the minis is getting one the rest of the night. Got it. That's the way we'll run it. So come back in. David, Ronnie, Blake, Brennan, Tony, and Michael. Eight times coming up. Good luck in the mini helmets. 22 and 27. Uh, let's get these orders going in these other breaks, Colin. Pretty open right now. I'm really hoping this is not the last break tonight. Me too. Uh, that's the goal. Once it hits about 10 o'clock, uh, orders got to be coming in the break boxes. Let's go diamonds. We'll be here till 10 at least, though, no matter what. We'll give you guys till 10 o'clock, then we'll revisit things here at 10 p.m. Central Time. 11 for some folks. It's 9, 7 for others, depending on what coast you are. Uh, I am referring to 10 o'clock, our time here. 
So eight clicks. We got David up top in the NFC North. He's got the NFC South. Right below, we got Tony NFC East. Uh, it's Michael NFC West, Brennan AFC North, Ronnie AFC South, Blake AFC East, and David AFC West. You know, I know both these guys, Ronnie and Blake, are good for it, but nobody's in either diamond right now. Yeah. So you guys got to get the party started. Yeah, you guys know right. how this works. Uh, if that diamond break is wide open by 10 o'clock, Colin, we're signing off the air at 10 o'clock. If nothing is close, if we're not within at least three spots or less 10 o'clock, we're off the air. We're out of here. Uh, you know how it works. All these guys say I'm good for a spot. They don't buy in. Nothing happens. We go home. As soon as one person gets in, it starts moving. It's a domino effect. Ronnie and, and Blake are going to be in the diamonds, whether it's today or tomorrow. They're getting a spot. You guys want to see these diamonds tonight? Get those spots right now. Uh, right about now. Right about Because they, they both say they're in, but no one's hopped in yet, Colin. Uh, so if they're not in by 10 o'clock... We're going home, 10 yeah. p.m. here. Look, Blake, I know that, but the people watching only see eight spots available. Yeah, no one, everyone that's watching sees a break that's wide open, and they don't want to play. That's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. All right, David, you're getting one of the best offensive linemen ever. A Hall of Famer, Will Shields, on the Chiefs uh, mini helmets. Uh, he was actually at the Super Bowl, Colin. He was. Uh, got honored at the Super Bowl, the great Will Shields. Uh, actually, not a very big guy these days. Some of these offensive linemen post-retirement actually lose weight. I wish I could be like those guys. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, what happened? What did I do? <laughs> it went wrong somewhere. Shields is a legend, says Blake, 12-time Pro Bowler. His first two seasons, Colin, didn't make the Pro Bowl. His last 12 made him every time. Pro and college football Hall of Famer. Will Shields. I mean, it makes you wonder. Priest Holmes, one of my favorite running backs of all time. How good is he without Will Shields? Not as good, that's for sure. I wouldn't think. A lot of people probably don't know him, but he's a living legend, says Blake. I agree. I'll Everybody be honest with you, Blake. This man gets disrespected in this break room. We actually don't have him very much in the breaks anymore because people say they don't like him. Uh, but, I mean, clearly you guys do a nice hit right there. Ronnie doesn't have uh, email, just doesn't have uh, social media, just email and sell. There you Ronnie go. lives in the moment. He said he was on AOL dial-up, so. <laughs> he's, he's actually serious. I used to love AOL dial-up. It was definitely fun. You couldn't be on the phone uh, or the internet at the same time. So <laughs> definitely something else. Oh, let's Tony already had that one. I'm looking at the same mini displayed in my living room right now, says Tony. Blake's been to Arrowhead a lot, represents the legends. And Steven says, respect the trenches. That's right, Steven. Honestly, man. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, baby. <laughs> Come on, Colin. We're not singing yet. We still got more boxes to go. Ten more? Ten. Ten more. Let's go. But he is right, man. I mean, you need a great offensive line to win. It's just that simple. This is great. Uh, Dave says, originally from KC. Oh. Couldn't be happier. Beautiful. Chiefs, baby. The kingdom. Let him know, oh. Dave. Uh, there's actually a Will Shields right here above us. Will Shields helmet. Uh, Colin, we talked about this the other night. Whatever team wins the Super Bowl this next year, the helmet up top here is going to be that team. If the Eagles win, we'll swap it with an Eagles lid. Makes me feel queasy. Mm. I used to like the Chiefs. That a boy, Dave, says Blake. That a boy, indeed. 27 is coming up next. Oh, a little bit of Chiefs for me, Colin, right? A little bit of Eagles for you. Yeah. It's the best receiver in Eagles history. Ooh, Harold Carmichael. A Hall of Fame inscription. NFC East. Tony Rosati with the Harold Carmichael. Nice. Tony, Tony, Tony. Eating up, man. Yes, he is. Nicely done. Harold Carmichael, sir. That's a beaut, my guy. Mm. That is a beaut. That is nice. Uh, Ronnie says that star will look good. I'll be honest with you, Colin. Uh, if it's not the Chiefs or Bears, which I know it's not going to be the Bears, right now the third team I'm cheering for might be the Cowboys because Steven said he's going to wear cowboy right. boots, yeah. a cowboy hat. He'll sing the song. Uh, so I want to see Steven and the it Cowboys would, get him. It would soften the blow quite a bit. <laughs> yes, it would. I still think I might puke. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
Solid. Very solid, dude. Tara Carmichael was an animal. Now, there it is. We're going to fly at some point this show. Fly, you go fly, Colin. Yeah, that's we're, right. We're flying, baby. We're flying. Uh, Tony, remind me what mini helmets you don't have. Tony's looking for minis of all 32 NFL teams. Now, who are you missing, Tony Rosati? Aren't I you know looking the for the same thing? Yeah, I am too. I'm way behind him. You're way behind. I think I've got... I want Flash minis. The only ones I have right now are the Ravens and the Colts. Okay. Jamal Lewis and Reggie Wayne. Uh, we all know it ain't happening, so we're solid, <laughs> says Steven. Okay. I've got a Bear Flash mini. Uh, Samurai Mike, Mike Singletary. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Harold Carmichael, did someone hop in the diamonds, Colin? Uh, Ronnie did. All right, so Ronnie's in, but no one else is in. He's trying. So, Ronnie, Ronnie is the voice of the troops. The man of the people. The man but of the, the people. people are not following their leader. Follow him. Follow your leader, folks. Everybody follow the uh, leader. Jason Clark followed him. First time order. What up, Jay Money? Get in there. Jason Clark. He said, I don't know, this Ronnie guy seems pretty cool. I guess I'll we'll see what he's up to. All right, quick top to bottom rundown. People are dead tonight, says Blake. Yeah, well, things could change, Blake. I got work coming up too, says Blake Miller. Well, that, you got to get in now, Blake. <laughs> and right now, baby. Right now. Oh, get in there now. Uh, Where man. are you going? Where are we going today, Blake? Yeah. Or tonight. Or tonight. Tomorrow. He's going to Cuba, probably. He goes to Cuba a lot. I've seen Cuba and New York. Okay. How about Bulgaria? Have you ever flown to Bulgaria, Blake? Serious question. Because uh, I'm Bulgarian. I've been to the Bulgarian airport multiple times. It's not even a It's not even a real place. Sofia, baby. It doesn't Sophia. exist. Bulgaria is a made-up place. Oh, I forgot about the chase wheel spin. You got the four yeah, breaks ready. in. That was Bulgarian Easter, by the way. Epic. Epic. It was so fun. Did you win the egg battle? Uh, yes and no. <laughs> so I didn't win on first try. Yes uh, no. I didn't win on second try, uh, but I got a third egg and no one could beat it. <laughs> no one. But could beat normally it. the way it usually goes is everyone gets an egg, and sometimes you get a second egg depending on who wins. But I went three deep. You should and be my throwing third money. Egg won. Do you throw in money? We don't, but we should. Yeah, it should be like we should. I mean, probably a dollar an egg for family. Yeah, maybe. But if, five. It, like, if we were playing, I'd be like, yeah, five, ten, fifteen, twenty uh, bucks an egg. I would let's be go. Twenty-five, Colin. Yeah, we let's go. Uh, so this is the the rightmost <laughs> one is for the minis. Cuba and Savannah, Georgia says Blake. Okay. And you know what, Colin? It's nine fifty-one. We got six spots to go in the double slab. Uh, we have eight to go in the single slab after this chase wheel spin. If we're not at least four away on the slabs, we're running the second chase wheel spin right after this. Sounds good. Sounds fair. So that works. And we did knock out one more spot in the diamond double, though. So that's good. Six to go. Six to go. Hop in there, guys. Cuba and Savannah, Georgia. Savannah. Y'all from Savannah. Cool. Never been to Savannah. I haven't been to Savannah either. I had a friend that used to live there, though. He loved it. Mm, there you go. Seven clicks. It's David Styles after seven. Eighth and final click. Michael Frank. Michael? Well, he's not going to answer. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't answered all day. So, Michael Frank, start you on one. I'll give you about 20 seconds, sir. Uh, let us know what number you want to start on. And then we'll do a chase wheel spin for the slabs next. And then we'll see where we're at after that. Oh, what did I just click here? All right. I'm spinning this bad boy. Uh, Michael Frank, the big number. We're just giving away money here, Colin. <laughs> 77 bucks. I got to say, this guy earned it, though. Last night, I know this man went hard. He went hard in uh, the paint. Did earn the 77 bucks. Michael, that money is in your account, sir. As for the second chase wheel spin, let me see here. Slab card. Are we still six away? We've been six away for we still quite are. a bit. But we're now only four away in the diamond double. All right, so Lord diamonds. Miller, two spots. Diamonds will be happening, looks like. Let's knock out this chase here for the slab cards. Get in there, Blake. So no more chase wheel spins. But looks like we'll have some more diamonds tonight. Eight clicks coming up here. Good luck, guys. Four... Five, six, seven, and eight. It's John Gagliano. 
Man, it's had a good day. Uh, what a bunch of jerseys. Chase Wheel Spin John Gags. Uh, let us know. He might still be out there uh, for sure. Where's Bobby G? I know. Where's Darcy at? Where's Darcy? Darcy! Where's uh, Mike Miller? Miller time! Michael style! That's it. We just need them and we're good. I know. This wheel spin is for the slabs here. We got Reginald Tags with the question. I'll look in quickly here. Cody Meyer saying I should have been in the chase wheel spin for the slabs. Cody in a slab break tonight? It was for the double slabs. From tonight's show, Colin. Let me make sure before I spin this here. Let's make sure. Let's look at Cody Myers. I think he might have been in the early slab. Or was he in the night one, too? I think he was in the night one. This might be the wrong list. All right, that's the wrong list. Uh, so Colin will get a fresh list for us. Cody Myers. Let's see. I don't think Dennis Solis. Dennis wasn't in there either. Yeah, I think that's from the early show. From the early show. Are you sure, Colin? Uh, yeah. Okay. Then this wasn't in a slab. Okay. Yeah, was Cody from, was in the slab. That was from the jungle double. Yeah. We already did the mini wheel spin, Blake Miller. Uh, we did the mini wheel spin. You did not win. Uh, that was won by Michael Frank. Yeah, Michael Frank did win that one. That yeah. was legit. <laughs> All right, so this is the right list. And actually, John Gagliano was not in the slab list. So we're not going to give him a chase wheel spin for a break he wasn't in. Right. Uh, so Colin's got the right list in here as well. So eight times coming up. Good call, Cody Myers. Uh, good call, sir. Got the fresh list in here. Ready to go in the diamond, says Ronnie. That's going to happen, looks like, Colin. That break will happen. Five, Adams. six, seven, eighth and final click. It's Timothy Rodriguez. Oh, well, he actually... And, well, this guy <laughs> swept it. He did. He got the LaShawn McCoy, the Devontae Smith, and the Chase Wheel Sheesh, Spin. Sheesh, Timothy. Oh, my God, brother. Tim, let us know what number you want to start on, sir. Otherwise, we'll start you on one. I'm not sure I've ever seen that. You won both and the Chase Wheel Spin. That's, it's like hitting for the clean. cycle. That is clean. All right, we're spinning this bad boy. I haven't seen Timothy in the chat much recently. Timothy, you are getting yourself another good one, Colin. Uh, ironic. I think he spent 62 to get in. Oh, my God, he yeah. He gets 60 back, and he wins two autograph slap cards. So we got Devontae Smith and LaShawn McCoy for a dollar apiece. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, yeah, that's all. All right, so Reginald saying, sup, guys, about the Untamed Hall of Fame uh, signings, what's the best option? Individually signed mini, multi sign item on team, uh, full size salute to service authentic helmet, multi and a Hall of Fame, full size authentic salute to service, or all Hall of Fame from all sports signed uh, by Army Combat Worn Uniform. Oh my God. Well, that one seems the most personal. Yeah, I mean, if you're an Army guy, Reggie, the, the D sounds good, but honestly, if you're going for individually, I would go for the full-size stuff, my man, personally. Uh, either the authentic or the army option. That's up to you, though. I mean, mm -hmm. up to you what and what you like, Regimal Tackle Cop. I say C or D, personally. But yeah. That's, yeah, it's it's all it's all for, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Personal preference? Yes, personal preference. I'm going to clear out these Chase Wheel Spins, Collins, so we don't have any confusion for tomorrow's show. And diamonds are coming up, looks like, probably. Ronnie, we love the <laughs> diamonds. You know, as a goat, Mr. Thomas Edward B Brady, his next favorite ring was the next one. There you go, Blake. Sounds good, says Reggie. I love all messages must be sent to Ronnie via pigeon. It's William Adams <laughs> saying all messages. Is this Harry Potter here? It's not pigeons in Harry Potter. It's owls, Colin. But you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know that. I do know that. Warriors yeah, winning, has says Blake. I can't think of the name of the owl. He's got a name, though. Hedgewig? Yeah, I knew it started with an H. Yeah. See? 39 30 Warriors. Curry with eight. Whoa. Clay's got six. Uh, Andrew Wiggins leading the way with 11 points, Colin. 
Hey, wait. Uh, he's back, baby. He's back in a big way. Oh, Reggie's going to be in Chicago. There you go. Chicago Sports Show in July. There you go. Would have loved to see A.B. stay around, says Ronnie. Short stay. A.B. Antonio Which... Brown? Who are we yeah, talking that's about? That's what I thought about. A.B.? Yeah, who are we talking about? I, mean, I don't know. Talking about practice, not the game, Colin. All right, three to go on the diamonds. Ronnie got his all stop the other day. Blake, it looks awesome. Reminds me of you. There you go. Oh, that's adorable. That's cute. <laughs> that's cute, boys. Antonio, uh, stay where, Ronnie? And where'd he go? He didn't go to Dallas. Right. You just mean a general? Well, he was a Raider for like a few okay. minutes, right? Yeah. He was a Raider. Was he was a Raider at one point? Yeah, he was on Hard Knocks. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> yeah, never played it down in the NFL though. If he wasn't a crazy man, and probably have some uh, CTE, he does have CTE. He's an amazing wide receiver. That's why I tried not to judge him because he's definitely got CTE, Colin. I think he. I don't, look, I don't like know the guy. guy. I think he definitely has CTE, yeah. but I also think he's not a great person. No, I think it's a, like a it. toxic mix of both. Can I see that Randy Moss? Uh, this, by the way, came out of the last diamond break we did. Randy Moss, camo authentic. Let's rock that diamond, says Boston Boys. Uh, what about that double card slab? We have eight boxes left, four headliners left. Kyler Murray, Jalen Hurts, Peyton Manning, Josh Jacobs. Joe Burrow still out there in the diamonds. Uh, no reason why we shouldn't do it. I told you, boys, all you had to do was get it started. And here we go. We're one spot away. Right, so the diamond double is coming up. Randall Moss says Blake from Marshall University. That's, That's right. right. Marshall's finest. Randy Moss, we are. Marshall, baby. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> I like Man. how I don't think he's he's ever been called Randall, except for by us. Except for by us. But Blake's, Blake's embraced it. I like it. Randall Moss. Randall. Uh, Boston boys asking for the slap card double. Yeah, would be a good play. It's a great play. The diamond double, one spot to go. That's going to fill up here shortly. And then we'll release the rest of the numbers on the ticker. Release the hounds. Release the hounds, baby. They're going to eat. I'm not buying it. Right, right. <laughs> Me and Colin told you. He said, told you, Colin. Buy that spot and it'll move. That's right. <laughs> Ronnie, you could have bought that spot an hour ago. The same thing would have happened. But Ronnie waits till late at night to hop Ronnie in. Ronnie stirs that pot. Stirring that pot, baby. In the best way possible. Uh, my dad is named Randall, so I love it. Says oh, there you go, Randall. Randall always makes me think of the, of the guy in Monsters, Inc. I think of the guy in This Is Us, personally. Well, I don't watch yeah. that. <laughs> it's a good show. Uh, kind of sad, but a good show. And there's Mike Miller closing the door. Miller time! This man came in about this time last night and oh swept the break. All right. He knows what he's doing. He's know what he, he knows what he's doing. Uh, drop me two box numbers, guys. First come, first serve. Uh, we have the diamond double coming up. Mike Miller says Blake Miller. That is the uh, former NBA champion shooting guard mike miller no it's not. right it's not it's him. him this mike miller's even cooler believe it or not we had jonathan stewart and him today boston boys saying my wife is not <laughs> happy with the big boxes that have been showing up uh so that's true why not uh, a lot of folks are not happy ronnie's wife is okay with it because ronnie can take a break from she says i don't want to deal with ronnie <laughs> he can have his own hobby 13 and 19 going off the ticker. Uh, that gets us down to five left. That means 21 through 25 are up. All right, so that's it. 10 boxes left of the diamonds. They're all on the good old ticker. Uh, let's go. Oh, I'm happy, says Boston Boy. She just doesn't understand. Shame. Shame. Make the woman understand. <laughs> Taylor, how do you feel about, I don't want to make a, a judgment joke, but everyone's got their own hobbies. That's true. Uh, it's like, tell her, no more makeup for you. No more makeup. No if more I don't have shopping. boxes. Oh, there we go. Blake says, I'm going to be honest. 
I lit some candles tonight. I opened my Brady and my fiance FaceTime. There you go. That's cute. What were you admiring more in that moment, Blake? Your fiance or the Brady? The Brady. Be real now. Be real. Uh, Boston Boy says, ha ha, Ronnie, that's why she only sees one fourth of them. There's a storage facility that the wife doesn't know about, Colin. That's funny. She'll be like, are you cheating on me when you go to that place? He's like, no. Not exactly. And then she'll follow him. <laughs> and she'll see the helmets. And she's like, of course. This is even worse. This is even worse. <laughs> I wish he was a woman. <laughs> he said Brady, obviously. Of course. Yep. Definitely Brady. That's it's priceless. I don't even know why I asked. Um, no, no, no doubt. You got Ronnie, Jason, Blake, William, Michael, and Mike. All right, eight times coming up here for our diamond double box break. Here we go. 13 and 19 coming up. That's great. Ronnie told her uh, those these things are her retirement. She can have these. Now, reluctantly take uh, the properties. Aren't I a great guy? <laughs> I think so, Ronnie. Ronnie. There you go. Uh, Blake's wife is a queen, yeah. an LSU queen. That's right. Okay. Stacy, the LSU queen. Let's go, Stacy. Thank you for not doing a Stacy's mom. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Maybe, maybe when we get to 30 boxes, Colin. That could be the song tonight. Right. Stacy's mom. Uh, NFC North, it's Michael Frank. Michael Frank in the NFC South as well. We got Blake Miller, NFC East, NFC West. Mike Miller, AFC North. Mike Miller, could it be the Joe Burrow? Ronnie, AFC South. Jason, AFC East. And William, AFC West. Uh, good luck, folks. 13 out of 25 coming up. <laughs> uh, not that song, man. That's fine. Yeah, she hates it. She hates that song. I That's good. Survive. My girlfriend's name is Caroline. Hate Sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline. So people sing it to her and she doesn't know what to do. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> As you sing it. <laughs> I love it. Sorry, Caroline, if you're listening. Sorry, Caroline. All righty. Got a diamond coming up. Let's go. Tell you what, Colin. We got some heat coming up. Uh, this guy is one of the better receivers in the league, over 1,000 yards this past season. That's a good start. Uh, Debo Samuel got hurt. He took over as the number one guy. It's Brandon Ayuk, Lunar Authentic, Mike Miller. Exactly Blake, Blake Miller, yeah. excuse me. <laughs> it's Blake Miller in the NFC West. Congrats on your Ayuk, sir. A little Brandon. Uh, nicely done. I won't, Blake. I will not. <laughs> First time Blake is... Not ask me to sing. Uh, that's fair. We won't, we won't do that song. Beckett certified on the Ayuk. Love the gold ink on the white lunar helmets. Super clean, uh, Mr. Ayuk. Yeah, San Francisco. Wonderful lunar. Add the gold ink, even better. One of the best teams, period. They're Eclipse, they're Flash. It's all good. They're standard. Very clean stuff. Stacy's Mom's a good song, though. It I'm is just gonna just going to put it out there. I've done it at karaoke multiple times, Colin. Bowling for soup. I'm bowling for soup. Heck yeah, UA, let's go. Let's Blake go. Nice hit says Boston boys. Uh, nice hit indeed on the Ayuk. Brandon. Whoa. <laughs> what? We both said Brandon. At the Brandon. Same time. <laughs> I like it. That's cute, Colin. We'll take it. I think Fountains of Wayne is the original. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. You know more about music than me, so I'll take it. And Bob knows more probably than both of us. So I refer, uh, defer to you guys on the music stuff. Michael Frank has joined the Break Room Union. Welcome aboard, says Ronnie. Yeah, I was listening to all the players we need to get this going. I didn't even mention Michael Frank. Mm -hmm. And he said, don't forget about me, man. Was he commenting last night? Okay. Silent assassin. Because he comments sometimes. No, he used to talk. Yeah, he used to talk. Now he's just watching. Silent, Silent assassin. Maybe he's watching. I don't know. He's winning a lot. Uh, we got works. 19 coming up. 19 to 25. Double box break. Ayuk in the first one. What could we have in the second one here? Oops, it was a New Jersey Bob. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me one bit. Good choice. Is this the Burrow moment? Is this Debo Samuel? 
It's neither. Winner of the break gets an $83 gift card, though. A little bonus here. Looks like we are giving out more free money. <laughs> you oh thought it was gosh. over. We thought it was over. All the money. Oh, this is... Well, go figure, right? It's Miller time again. One of the best safeties of the 90s. Heck, one of the best safeties of all time. It's Darren Woodson on the Eclipse oh, Authentic. Yeah. Uh, Three-time Super Bowl champ. Five-time Pro Bowler. Four-time first-team All-Pro. Uh, very nice Blake Miller on your Darren Woodson. And 83 bucks. That ain't bad. We're paying this man to play in these breaks, Colin. Very nice. Darren Woodson. And you've got it, sir. I see done, Blake. A lot of interceptions. Not the most, but they have a lot of picks for sure. All right, so, Colin, there is 10 left in that series. Uh, Joe Burrow is either box 2, Box 8, two. 11, 14, 15, 21, 22, 23, 24, or 25. You know for sure he is currently on the ticker. 100% know that Joe Burrow is available right now. No doubt about it. Uh, we also got some movement on that slap break, by the way. That's right. We also know Peyton Manning 100% for sure in the break room right now. By the way, that eclipse is gorgeous. It's beautiful. I love the silver ink, too, on this helmet. Super clean. And who did pull the moss? That was Blake Miller. Yeah. Blake's on fire in the diamonds, man. He loves the diamonds. You wonder why he's hopping in. He's winning. Yes, Tony. I just see Colin question mark. What's up? UA is fire, says Blake. Thanks, Blake. Appreciate that, man. You're fire, dude. We are fire. Uh, good stuff, guys. Real winners move in silence, says Ronnie. Ah, I guess. I like that. Why are you so loud then, Ronnie? Anyone here on PS4 play MLB The Show? I think Steven does. Do you play that one, Colin? I do. I do. Oh, Steven you... plays on PS5. PS5. He's, too... He's fancy. I play PS2, Colin. <laughs> you are... Uh, you don't really game, though. I, I don't game. Uh, I set up the PS2 uh, actually before work today. I was late to work setting up the PS2 uh, because my girlfriend wants to watch a movie. I'm surprised the cable still fit into the TV. It works. I had it for like 15 years. It works. You got like the red and the yellow and the white. You yep, have I have all the... three of them oh in the gosh. back of the TV. Not even... The brand new TV still has it. That's amazing it has it. Huh? I was uh, very, very happy. Uh, so we have movie night set up now uh, because the PS2 works as a DVD player. Yeah, but it doesn't even do Blu-ray. <laughs> That's fine. We don't need no Blu-ray. Don't need no Blu-ray. We don't need no Blu-ray. <laughs> I'm a simple man. Just put on a good movie and enjoy it. I don't know if that's the correct way I would say it, Ronnie, but... Colin is licking his chops with that cowboy. I like that, Ronnie. It's, it's nice, but... The DVD player is a tremendous value? Yeah. Well, i got to have a DVD, baby. Uh, let's see here, Colin. Four to go in the diamond double. Uh, that's going to happen here very shortly, looks like. Who's in? We, oh. Probably less to go, right? Yep, yep. It's changing fast. All we right, got good. Ronnie, William, Mike Miller, and uh, Brett Simonis. Brett who? Brett Simonis. Is that a new customer? Relatively. 12th order. What up, Brett? What up, Brett? Yeah, look at that. It's going to fill up pretty quickly here. Blake, hurry. So Joe Burrow is coming out tonight in the breaks. Hit video tonight is going to be Trevor Lawrence, Randy Moss, and Joe Burrow. Triple hit video, Colin. He said, I ain't new. <laughs> I ain't new. Let's go, Chi-Town man. Let's go. Chi-Town? You from Chicago? You from Chi-Town. Let's go. You've been around since the Donnie since days? The Donnie days. He's actually, he must have made a new account or something. He's actually a very old customer, it turns out. And maybe he got a new account, because we don't have that many yeah. orders. For I've him. only seen 12, so... Okay. But yeah, man, nice. He back, baby. Actually, come to think of it, I do recognize that name. Uh, but has not ordered much recently. But back in the breaks, Brett. <laughs> I'm going to turn on his car 12 minutes ago, yeah. 
I apparated about it because I can turn it on from here. You might be able to remote start it. You I could don't know if there. I don't. I don't have remote start in my car, oh, but no, me either. Yeah. yeah. Ronnie says better turn it off. That's okay, Ronnie. I'm here for brakes, brother. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be. We're gonna see the burrow here pretty quickly, Colin, because we have only ten boxes left. Someone bought into the single yet for the diamonds? Thanks. No, it's wide open. Wide open. All right, so it's only five double box breaks, and we'll probably pull them sooner anyway, right? Yeah. Does Ronnie think we're Matt? Nah, we don't have we don't have a, a, a jet like Matt does. Yeah. That's only Matt Solace with the jet, Ronnie. Uh, we are just, we're the people. Matt's got the jet and all the money, right? <laughs> That's the one percenter. <laughs> one percenter. I like that, Colin. Uh, Ronnie might need to get that Taco Bell DoorDash at Boston Boys. Now, nah, we're good. Uh, I probably shouldn't say this because we'll be here all night, Colin, but I believe the Taco Bell down the road here. Oh, no. Common, don't don't reveal the secret. Uh, I probably shouldn't. Don't uh, reveal the secret. I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it. Oh, no. Open till 2 a.m. Jeez, uh, we're never leaving. <laughs> we'll be here all night. God. Open till 2 a.m. Oh, they've been so worried about us not getting our food. And now. I know. I know. We're opening up a whole can here. In the, I actually know that because I've ordered it past 1 o'clock. I've left this office past one o'clock and have been there oh, uh, at like 1.20 at night. So. Playing well, MLB the show. Nice. There you go. Who are you listening to? Are you listening to us? Yeah. They don't, Ronnie. Do they have Mr. Pib? <laughs> what they, kind of question is that? They don't. Have you been to a Taco Bell that sells Mr. Pib? Yeah. That'd be impressive. Steven's listening to the Cubs and us. There you uh, go. And playing MLB The Show? My goodness. Steven's a busy guy. Uh, Warriors, by the way, Colin, up 53-41 at the half. Let's go. Looking good. Curry did heat up, by the way, up to 18. I saw him make one with, like, one second left. Yeah. Only six for Clay, though. No way, Ronnie. I've never had Mr. Pibb. I'm not really big on soda. I have had it before. I'm not a huge soda guy either, Colin, to be honest. I drink it with a mixer, and that's about it. I'm, As a mixer, rather. No, I'll, I'll have... Actually, I really like it with popcorn at the movie theaters. Okay. That's for whatever reason, that's when I get my soda kick. Go to the movie theaters, get popcorn and pop. Uh, otherwise, I'm more of a water, Gatorade, lemonade, yeah. sweet tea yeah. I'm a juice drinker. Guy. Ju orange juice as well. Yeah, that's usually what I do. Ronnie says, enjoy it now, Stephen. When the baby comes, your hobbies are gone, my man. I don't think so, Ronnie. <laughs> You're here. You've got kids. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen could have some hobbies still. He's probably going to have the baby on the lap while he does it. Right? No doubt. I, Blake Miller has missed the ship on this double box break. He missed the double? He missed the double. Oh, Blake. Blake, 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 what are we doing, brother? What happened, Blake? Oh, you snooze, you lose, right? He snoozed. Ah, oh, that's surprising. He's been surprising. on fire. Uh, the fourth double this is, right? Uh, I think it's the oh, third. third. I didn't know you did have it right. Third. Okay, so we got Ronnie, William, Mike, Brett, Cody, and Michael. Baby's going to sleep right next to me, says Steven. <laughs> that baby's going to be forced to watch Cubs baseball. Even if the baby hates Cubs baseball, it's going to be forced to watch it from day one, Colin. That's just the way it is. Uh, William, ask Blake. Blake's got the plays. Uh, Tony says, I have I've had four babies and still have hobbies. There, there you go. go. You're the man. That a boy. Uh, Boston boy saying Blake needs to, wants to give the rest of us a chance. <laughs> and Cody Myers says, thank you, sir. I want 22 and 24. All right, Cody. 22 and 24. We got the Emmett Smith and the Mamba Box in the diamonds here. Amen, Tony, says Ronnie. Ronnie's got four as well. Okay. I have, I used to have, so, you know, I live with my mom. They're going to say I used to have kids. Well, I was going to say, no, <laughs> I, I had a dog growing, like, I, I had a dog with my mom for the last couple of years. My girlfriend and I moved out together. Now I got two dogs, Colin. They're a lot of work. I uh, got woken up at six in the morning today. Uh, the guy had to go number two. 
Uh, a little upset stomach. Did not sleep Aww. well last night. I just got cats that jump on me. Steven's baby's gonna be called Chucky, said Chucky. Bob. <laughs> uh, okay. Michael that's Miller not says rude. we still have hobbies. People are named Chucky, Steven. Chucky? I heard Steven's name is gonna be, uh, his baby's gonna be named Common, I heard, after me. Oh, really? <laughs> that's what I heard, I don't know. That's interesting. Nah, maybe it's gonna be after Bob. Robert after uh, Bob. Yes. Ray. I think it's gonna be Ronnie Blake William. He's he's referencing the evil doll. Oh my gosh! You don't know that. Because Stephen and I don't like scary movies. Maybe he's uh maybe he's referencing Chucky from Rugrats. I feel like it's the evil doll, Colin. <laughs> John Gruden Chucky says Blake. Okay. John Gruden Chucky. Five hundred ball over under on the Cubs says Michael Miller. I got the Cubs at five hundred exactly. My call eighty one and eighty one. They'll be like the Sox last year. Shh. That's that's what I'm thinking. Chucky from Rock Rugrats says Tony as well. Yeah, see. Okay. I feel like it's the evil doll. <laughs> Let's be real. I I don't know. Eight clicks. We got Michael Frank up top. Michael's got the NFC North. Right below, it's Cody Myers NFC South. It's Brett NFC East. Ronnie's got the NFC West. Looking for Debo Samuel. William Adams, could it be the Joe Burrow spot? Oh, AFC North. Man. Cody Myers, AFC South. Uh, he's already got a Trevor Lawrence with the South today. And Mike Miller, AFC East, AFC West. No one in my blood has any red anything, says Stephen. Stephen is <laughs> taking this too literally. <laughs> I like it. Stephen, how, how are you playing your game? Listening to the Cubs, watching us, and typing out messages. Good God. He's a legend, Stephen Ryan. He is the, the ultimate legend. multitasker. All right. 22 coming up. 22 out of uh, 25 here. The Emmett Smith box. <laughs> winning four zero in the game. Cubs are 2-2, I think, in the ninth right now. Ooh. So Ryan's on the edge of his feet. Stephen Ryan, that is. All right. Is this Joe Burrow? William Adams says, well, let me see that Burrow comment. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. It's Miller time in the break room. It's Mike Miller time. Seventh in the league in receiving yards. One of the best young receivers in the NFL. Nice. Camo authentic. Jalen. What? Uh, very nice hit right there. She's a uh, camo. Rookie season, Colin. Set the rookie record for most catches of any rookie of all time. Second season. Seventh in yards receiving. Great hit, Mike Miller, on your Jalen Waddle. He's got a nice signature, too, man. I mean, I know, like, Waddle is written out, but you can read it, and the J looks nice. Jay Waddle, baby. Clean. That is pretty, man. Wow, that's pretty, says Ronnie. Congrats, says Ronnie. Nice he's on Mike Miller on your Jalen Waddle, sir. Listen, you can't go wrong on a dolphin helmet, but I was not expecting this to be a camo. No, this that's is pretty clean. awesome. I thought it was going to be the Flash as well, Colin. Yeah. We see that Dolphin Flash so much. And look, the Flash is my favorite. It's beautiful. But the Camel's my second favorite, and we don't see it as often. Uh, sweet says Boston Boys. Sweet indeed for Mike Miller. Mike Miller. This man comes in here, and he just gets dubs. He's rolling. Actually, it's been the Mike Miller and the Blake Miller show on the Diamonds with a little bit of a side sauce of Cody Myers. And with that, Trevor Lawrence side Flash. Side sauce of Cody Myers. But it's like a Raisin Cane side sauce, you know? Mm -hmm. Chick-fil-A side sauce. And Raisin Cane's the fastest drive through uh, that I've had in a while. They are efficient there. Absolutely. Jalen Waddle, a ton of upside. ton of upside. Not I have to mention, if uh, Tyree Kill's actually going to retire in a couple of years. He'll be the guy. He'll be well, he guy. was top five most of the season in receiving yards, Colin. He was like, he was like one or two. Waddle was like four or five. Amazing. Only reason why he finished seventh is because Tua got hurt. With the healthy quarterback, he was top five in the league. I mean, it's he's a part of probably the best one-two punch at wide receiver in football. I think so. Yeah. I think so. And I was listing off best young receivers I would take right now. I mean, Jefferson, Chase, and third is probably Waddle or his former teammate, Devontae Smith. 
Uh, so a lot of good options in the NFL receiving oh, core. Steven had raising canes today. I'm jealous. Steven. Steven. <laughs> you know, Steven and I agree that we got to try pot bellies. I know you're so loyal to Jimmy John's. It's just right there and it's quick. <laughs> That's the only reason. Well, pot belly is there too. Oh, not, know that. not quite as quick. Cross the street, Colin. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to go there sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm diehard Jimmy John. Yeah, no, you're diehard Jimmy John. I do eat it a lot. You are their number one local customer, Colin. <laughs> that might be true. <laughs> He's like, you know what's crazy? Again. It's, a, it's a different person every time. Yeah. There's so many employees. I don't know. Tony says, pot bellies is legit. Fire, 100%. I wasn't quick the other night. Colin says, Roddy, oh, <laughs> that is true. I mean, look, it might have been quick the other night. It just wasn't here. <laughs> wasn't delivered to the right place. <laughs> it might have been quick somewhere else. All right, here we go. Box 24 coming up. 24-25. Uh, uh, we are still looking for that Joe Burrow, uh, the best helmet in this series. Maybe the second best quarterback in the NFL behind Patrick Mahomes. Such a fire series, though. No matter what we pull, it's been nothing but heat. Nothing but heat. Why stop now? Here we go, Joe Burrow. Let's go. Three and one against Patrick Mahomes. Uh, that's not a bad record for Joe Burrow. Wow. Uh, Joe Shiesty, top five in the league in most categories. Passing touchdowns. I believe he was top three in passing touchdowns. Former number one overall pick. Doing it big. AFC North. Beauty. That is William Adams. That a boy. How about it, William? A wow, wow, wow. Joe Burrow, authentic helmet. Steven's jealous. Uh, Ronnie's jealous. It's Joe Burrow, baby. That's a hit right there. So cool. Uh, yep, I love it, says Boston Boys. Uh, he is happy for your son. His son must be a Burrow fan. Oh, nice. That's awesome. He's going to be the coolest dad around. No kidding. That is that's uh, sick, dude. That's how you keep your hobbies, uh, Colin. You get the kids some good stuff. You earn a good grace with the wife, and you keep your hobbies. That's how it's done, baby. Uh, Joe Burrow, fifth in passing yards this last season. Uh, he was second in passing touchdowns. An absolute star quarterback. For me, this man's got the it factor. I put Mahomes number one. Joe Burrow, number two best quarterback in the NFL. Great hits, William Adams. He does have the it factor. He, he doesn't let a lot of things get to him. Uh -huh. And he just goes out there and slings that thing. I was a little bit worried. You know, he was looking great his rookie year. Gets that big injury. How do you bounce back from that? You do exactly what Joe Burrow he's does. He's got it. He's, he's, he's got it. You're right. Fire says Blake Miller. Uh, he will be kid will be pumped. Uh, keeping it a secret from mom, <laughs> though, will be tough. I think I would almost say impossible. I don't know how old your son I, I, is, but... I feel like mom's going to be okay with this, though. If you do it for her son, happy. she's got to be happy. Joe Burrow, authentic. Uh, great hit, William. That's nice, man. Steven says your son makes quality decisions, Mr. Adams. He <laughs> does. Uh, his son is the fan of Joe Burrow and Ronnie and Salako. Two of his favorite people in the world. Yeah, how could you? How could you complain? It's a good, it's a good list, right? Oh, he's eight. Oh, he's gonna love this. Oh, he's eight. He is gonna love. He'll this. be telling all his friends at school. Says Ronnie, that's fantastic. He's gonna take it in for show and tell. Yeah, just tell her how happy it'll make him. 100%. Exactly. He's gonna have a big old oh, smile on his Will face. William, you can tell her about this one. I think it's okay. I think so. Tell her about this one. It's Joe Burrow, baby. That's fantastic. Right, W O E eight says Ronnie. Stevie always does. He's still waiting on a Ronnie <laughs> signature. Uh, that's how he convinced her. At least that's my plan, says Steve. That's right. Just tell her what it means to the kid. She'll be like, okay, that's cool. That's cool. You're good. You're good. Play ultimate autographs as much as you want if you're getting Joe Burrows, right? Yeah, no kidding. If I'm William, I'm going to bed excited like it's Christmas tomorrow. I'm going to give my son something that's going to make him so happy. Yeah. When's his birthday? It could be a good birthday present, Colin. It's on eBay for 99 cents with zero bids. That's how much worth nothing. <laughs> nah, he's talking about the Chalupa. No, nope, uh, I'm talking about Joe Burrow. Oh, okay. No, no, he's probably talking about the Chalupa. He's though. talking about the Chalupa. If it's, it, I'll, I'll bid on it. I will bid five times that right now, Ronnie. I will go five times that right now. Jeez. 
I'll go 502, but nothing farther. Oh, uh, I'm going 503, Colin. Ah, oh, God. 100% <laughs> worth it. You're really going to make me break the bank. I know. Oh, boy. The Cubs are going to lose. That's not good. Six oh. to two in the ninth now. Was there a grand slam? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we, we figured it out. <laughs> That would be crazy if somebody was starting a Joe Burrow Authentic yeah. for 99 cents. His autograph is next February, and William waiting on a Ronnie Sign Chalupa still, okay? Oh, they just hit a Grand Slam. Who was yeah. it? Now, uh, Ronnie says, told you, Steven. <laughs> Steven says, can't win them all. It's 162 games, right? It'd be, it'd be tough to win them all. Grand Slam. Oh, uh, looks like... Outman. Oh. A different name for them? That'd have been James Outman. Is he in for Mookie Betts at right field? He's got two home runs in this game oh and God. five RBI. Can you imagine? That's the guy that's beating you up. And Dodgers are good, huh? Dodgers are good. Well, we still have a Debo Samuel in this. Yes, we do. And we're only five spots away on the next double. All so. right, the quick little top to bottom rundown. Uh, I don't know of any bucks in there, Blake, to be honest. There could be, but there they'd be fillers. There could be, but they would be filler hits. Um, all right, quick peek here. We got four spots to go in the slab cards. We are down to eight slabs. Peyton Manning, Jalen Hurts, Josh Jacobs, Kyler Murray still out there. We got five to go in the diamond double. We have a Debo Samuel Flash Authentic. But everything is good in the diamonds. We know that for sure. Uh, there's also, actually, I think we did pull a lot of these names, but Debo Samuel's still in play. We got eight to go in the mini helmets. Warren Moon, Joe Montana, Brian Dawkins, Keenan Allen. Headliners left with just, I believe, 13 mini helmets left. Eight to go in the diamond single. Seven to go in the reps. Uh, we have every headliner out there but Warren Moon. Primetime, McLaurin, LT, Ray Lewis, Tyree Kill. Devontae Adams and Jim Kelly. Uh, eight to go in the slab single. Eight to go in the jerseys. Still looking for Gates, Kenneth Walker, Brian Dawkins, and Devontae Adams. Six to go in the basketballs. The Dennis Rodman is still out there. Uh, so it is 10.30, guys. Let me know what else you guys would like to break tonight. Debo still available. Yes, Blake Miller. Debo Samuel, Flash Authentic. Is still available. A slabs and diamonds. Let's go, says Michael. Uh, let's do it. Real winners finish. They don't ha hand the keys in the ninth, says Ronnie. Ooh. All right. Uh, so it is 1030. I'm going to give you guys 10 minutes. At 1040, it's 1031 now, nine minutes. At 1040... We'll take a peek at the break page again. So look, we have five to go in the diamond double. If this gets down to one or two by 1040, Colin, I'll give him a little bit more time. If this is still five, four, or three, that's the show. This has been four away for quite a bit, the slabs. Mm -hmm. It took us almost an hour to knock out two spots. It was six, went down to four. It's been four away for a bit as well. We got to be down to like one or two in the slabs one or two in the diamonds by 1040. We are not close by 1040. That's going to be the show. Everything else is wide open. So I would concentrate our efforts on these two breaks, the diamond helmets and the slab cards. 50% chance at a headliner in the slabs. Uh, all the diamond helmets are, are good. It's yep. the diamonds. But let me know, guys, what you would like. William Manor wants that, Darren. What's Hmm. Even says Ronnie knows is a Cowboys fan about finishing. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, got, I gotta be honest, Ronnie. Steven got you. Uh, it's funny. Steven got you, brother. Uh, that was that was good. That must be the might be the best row Steven's ever had. Coming up with zingers when he's multitasking. Oh my god. Steven. 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 That's clever. Uh, Erlacher is gone in the minis. Travis, we actually pulled him tonight. Uh, Erlacher did go in the minis tonight, sir. I think there's only, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 left, though, and four headliners? Mm-hmm. 
Pretty good. Oh, 11 left. I said 13. It's 11. You're right. Yeah, because we're missing. Well, we got to take one out. Yeah. But I'm counting 12 over there. So 12 left, but we got to have one personal for Michael Frank. Right. So headliner odds are pretty good in the minis. Yeah, Travis headliners left. Warren Moon, Joe Montana, Keenan Allen, and Brian Dawkins. Warriors of 14, Colin. Ooh, baby. Warriors. And I bet on the Suns, minus seven and a half. They're up eight right now. That's looking good. <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> Yo, that's a good one. Ronnie says, Steven's the guy who you throw a water balloon at, and he returns a rock. Jeez. woo -hoo! That's good. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that's funny. You know, honestly, depending on the size of the rock, I'd almost rather get hit by the rock than the yeah. water balloon. I mean, I don't want to get all wet. Parlay checks his Blake Miller. Let's go. A lot of time left, but I feel good, Blake. I feel good. I think the Kings got a run in them, and the Warriors are going to win by six. Okay. It's going to be perfect. All right. Let's see it. And then, is the other game started yet? It has. Suns are up eight. I have a minus seven and a half. Me so too. That's go. the last leg of the basketball parlay. Oh, and you're going to hit it? Well, I need the, the Kings plus six and a half. Ah, uh, you're not going to hit it. Come on. Colin, you can't bet against your own team. I didn't. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Not to cover, you did. They can still win. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't bet against them. I have a. I actually have certain teams I will not bet against. The Chicago teams. I know they'll lose. I'll bet against them. Warriors and Chiefs can get so hot. I never bet against the Warriors. Never bet against the Chiefs. Even if I think they're not going to cover, I don't do it. I. I thought the Kings would cover tonight. I couldn't bet it. Couldn't bet it. <laughs> they still got time to cover. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. What's the crew want to play? Diamonds, minis, because the headliner chase, and only 11, 12 minis left, Travis, in the, in the mini helmets. The entire series, 12 left, sir. That's it. That's it. Four headliners with 12 boxes left, one in three chance at a headliner. That's wide open, though, so y'all are going to have to go on that. Yes. Five to go in the diamond doubles, if you guys want to find Debo and whatever oh. other nice secrets are out there. But the closest break is the slab double. I know cards aren't your thing, Ronnie, but... If you want something to close for sure, that's probably it if you hop in it. Three to go there. Three to go. Yeah. I did say 1040, Colin. Uh, they got to learn to deliver the orders. I'm going to be the Grinch eventually. I said at 1040, we must be one or two away or we're not breaking it tonight. Now, with that said, we get down to one spot in the, or two spots in the slabs. At 1040, I give them five more minutes to close it. We can't knock out one spot in five minutes. It's not meant to be. Not meant to be. Well, I'm excited for you guys to close out the slabs and get a series that I'm never going to see. No. Because that thing's going to be gone. Is the graphic ready? I think it is. All right. Can you drop it in there? We knock out that slab break. I'll preview that upcoming series. It's going to be insane. It is going to be insane. Yeah. And the listing hopefully is ready as well. Otherwise, we'll double check with Luke tomorrow. But if the listing is ready and the graphics ready, maybe we can look at it together. Ooh, whoa, graphic is wild. It's nice, huh? Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's nice. Is the listing in, in Shopify too? I don't know yet, I'm downloading the graphic. Oh man, it's clean. It is clean. Uh, Boston boy, actually, I can actually already see one of the items from that series. Mm-hmm. Let's show show that off here in a second. Oh boy. The mound says Michael Miller. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Still three spots to go in the slab cards. Someone's got to hop in there. Someone make this happen. Let's see one in four. Yeah. Tell me if you see the listing. Don't see it. Yeah, right. I don't see it either. Oh, so, all right. Well, we're going to drop that series tomorrow regardless because the listing's not ready. Oh, wait. You do see it? Let me see if this is it. Yep. This is it. This is it? You got it? I got it. All right, let's plug and chug. Let's show it off. Plug and chug. Plug and chug. 
Uh, after the slap cards, these guys don't even know what they got coming here, yeah, man. You just type in mixer and then uh, make it so it's first available. You have to scroll a little bit, but it's okay. okay. Headliners in the red zone, Travis. All of them but Warren Moon. Warren Moon's the only headliner gone. Well, Blake Miller, a couple spots in the next diamond double. Oh my god. Holy cow. That's the one. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this, Colin? This is a 40 box series. We have six, eight, twelve headliners. Oh my god. For the record, this is gonna be a Tom Brady authentic helmet. One in four mixer series. Look, it's almost eleven o'clock, Colin. We're not dropping that this tonight. But once we knock out the slabs, this will drop tomorrow. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, frame photo. Peyton Manning, frame photo. Floyd Mayweather Jr., boxing oh glove. God. We got Giannis, a jersey. Yager, jersey. Clemens, Acuna Jr. Clemens? Pete Rose, batting helmet. Tom Brady, authentic Patriot Woo! helmet. Uh, John Jones. We got Magic Johnson basketball. Larry Bird basketball. That's going to be a one in four mixer. 10 football items, 10 basketball, 10 baseball, and 10 is the other section. Like John Jones, Yammer Yager, those will be others. It is amazing how goaded this is. I mean, Giannis, maybe the goat player in the NBA today. Roger Clemens, one of the goat pitchers of all time. No question. Pete Rose, the goat hitter. Tom yep. Brady, the greatest football player of all time. Peyton Manning right there behind him. Floyd Mayweather, never lost a boxing match. Maybe the best ever. John Jones, the greatest UFC mm. fighter of all time. It's it's insane. Yeah. All the goats in this series. One in four mixer. Our favorite uh, series in the room. I'm going to miss it. And you guys are going to enjoy it. The beauty of that series, Kyle, you got a one in four chance to win each oh, spot you it buy. is so good this is amazing i'm pumped i am jealous already i mean there's a lot i'm jealous of in that series but the whoever gets the john jones trunks i'm a big ufc yeah. guy that's sick 98 bucks a spot for that one guys uh you know colin it's my favorite series too because i came up with the idea <laughs> i love that series uh one in four it'll be 98 bucks a spot and it'll be worth it uh, we also have Justin Jefferson in that series, Mike Tyson, Shaquille O'Neal, Justin Herbert, not even photoed headliners in that series. Ooh, baby. Mm. Yeah, I nice. think you're right, Ronnie. I'm excited to sit back, relax, do exactly what Steven's doing. Just watch it from the chat, play some MLB The Show. I actually disagree, Ronnie. I don't know if it's going to be a long night, because we might close it out uh, by 10 o'clock. It's only That's a four-spot break. That's it. Four spot break. That's true. Yeah, I mean, if you yeah. buy two spots, you've got half the break. Yep. And uh, as you can tell from that graphic, there isn't a bad spot. Let's show off the Rogers photo. Oh. Actually, is the Manning one bigger? Uh, is the Manning behind it, or what, what's behind it's it? It's kind of the same size. One goes this way, and one goes this. Way. Okay. Let's show off the Manning. Actually, I'm a, I'm more of a Manning guy. We have it here in the room. The Peyton Manning frame photo. Yeah, maybe we'll skip a dinner break. It's going to be an early night tomorrow, actually. Yeah, you never know. Here she is. Look at this bad boy. Peyton Manning. Down a little bit. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, look, look at that. That's a beauty. Uh, Travis, we're going to post the break tomorrow night. Uh, we'll post it after we get off the air if the slab's close tonight. Got to get the slab's done. Um, we're not going to be here until 2 a.m. I did kind of say the drop new break's got to be before 10. When well, we close out the slabs tonight, we can do that break next. Uh, we'll put it up right after we get off the air. I mean, we might have three of the top ten quarterbacks of all time in that series. I think we do. I think we do, too. But you can make a case for three of the top five. You could make a I case. I mean, look, Brady is the GOAT. Manning might be the second best. And Aaron Rodgers is right on that edge of a top five quarterback. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. We are one away on the slab double. All right. Cool. Yeah, it's 10.42 right now, so we're not dropping that. We're not going to be here until 3 a.m., let's be honest. we got to get some rest at some point, uh, but we will drop that as soon as the slabs close, and we'll pick it up tomorrow. No Cub headliners. It'll fly. Wow. We did have Greg Maddox in one of them recently. Yeah, Greg Maddox is great. Yeah. So, Greg Maddox. it's a great hit. There, there could be some Cub stuff in there, though, Ronnie. 
No, it might not be headliners, but... And I'll be honest, the one in four is a great bait why to close this here. But Colin, Peyton Manning, slap card. Jalen Hurd, slap card. These are great. One spot to go. Okay, we could do one break tonight, Travis. But that's going to be one break. We'll do that. You'll <laughs> buy out an entire break. You are setting a dangerous precedent. Just to be clear, Travis, there are no personals available in one and four. We'll release the first ten of the series right away. And then we'll go, uh, we knock out five, we post ten more. The one and four is a high-end break. Uh, like the diamond helmets, there's never personals in one and four. So you have what's on the ticker, just so you know. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, so. I, honestly, I do not doubt between all of you, y'all could commit to a lot of that. Tonight. Yes, they can. You see? Dang it, Common. <laughs> I, I did tell him no new series before. 10 o'clock, so... Well, we're um, a little late on that one. Yeah, it's definitely past 10 o'clock. A little bit. Well, not for Ronnie. <laughs> we are one away on the slabs. The point is mute, Colin, because we have one spot to go. Yeah, we still got to get the slabs done. We have knocked out about seven slab spots the last three hours. No, last four hours. I think, well, we did one early on in the show. Mm -hmm. So the slabs are pretty open, guys. Uh, let's get these closed up here shortly. That is an excellent point. It's not like they're getting dropped right after this break. No. We got we got a bunch of slabs to get through. Uh, we have a lot of slabs to get through. We are going to do two of them, though. All right. Double box break coming up. Drop me two numbers in the slab cards. Uh, we have 1, 4, 5, 11, 16, 21, 22, 23, and 25. So I think we might have done one of these, Colin. Uh, so I want to make sure you go through all the numbers you have. I want to make sure they're right. right. One second here. Just getting it ready. All right. So what numbers are left? I want to make sure the ticker is right. A little cross-reference. I got 145. 145. 21, 20. Okay. 24, 25, and 16. Sorry, 145. 16. 16. Then 21, 22, 20. Okay, 24. You have 24, you said? I have 24. But you don't have 23? I don't have 23. All right, so we have 25 is going off. 23, you said uh, 23 is there or no? No, we did it earlier. All right, so I think I must have taken off 24 instead of 23 on accident. So 25 will do. Blake Miller wants 25. One more, Blake. Do one. First and the last. 22. Let's do 22. <laughs> Wanted to get the first box and the last box. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen it done. Uh, Travis, uh, we got to close out the entire series, my man. That's why I'm saying it's not going to happen tonight because there's six slabs left. Right. We're not posting that one in four until the last six are done. So, 11 is there, by the way, William Manor. But we did already have the two boxes called out, sir. Yeah, Travis, that's why I'm saying, Travis, if it was one break, I would maybe do it, but we have six to go, Colin. It may take another hour to close this, so uh, we'll, we'll drop one in four tomorrow. Uh, Got to have something left for the weekend crew, you know? Yeah. It's one of those, like, fine lines uh, of we got to leave something good for the next day to give the next show a chance. So... Yeah, given it's 1046, one and four will be for tomorrow's show. You can buy out the break, Travis, and we'll break it to start tomorrow. Let's do that, Colin. There you go. I don't want to open up a dangerous precedent here. <laughs> uh, eight clicks coming up. We got Mike Miller, NFC North, NFC South. Wayne Wright, NFC East, looking for Jalen Hurts. We got William, NFC West, the Blake, AFC North. Wayne, AFC South, could be Manning. Michael, AFC East, and William, AFC West. All right. Slab double box break here. 22 and 25. Looking for Manning, looking for Hertz. Looking for a lot of heat here, Colin. Heck yeah. Good odds that we're going to see it. Four and eight chance at a headliner. 
And those odds just got better. Oh my God. We got a rookie card. Uh, maybe the best young rookie receiver this last season. Ohio State star, Saint star, nice. Chris Olave. All right, look, it's Mike Miller again. Jeez. NFC South, congrats, Mike, on your Olave slap. Hey, that's pretty sick, though. I mean, yeah. Depending on how his career goes, that could be a headliner. 100%. It's been a headliner before in the slaps. And I feel like with cards especially, too, I mean, that value can go up real fast. And you want to get the rookie card. It's the best type of card to get. Uh, nicely done, Mike Miller on Chris Olave. So, Colin. So, Colin. Forget the one in four. Forget it. Uh, there is seven boxes left, and there's four headliners left. Sheesh. Yeah. Four and seven chance at a headliner. That should speak for itself. That in itself should be incentive enough on these slab cards. 25 next. 25 of 25 in our slab cards. The very last slab in the series. Liner. Tyler Murray, back at 10 autograph. Uh, Pro Bowl quarterback, one of the best dual threat quarterbacks in the league. Uh, fantastic young player. Consistency, injuries, decision making. He gets that under control. The sky's the limit. NFC West. William Adams, congrats on your Kyler Murray slab. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, also a rookie card, by the way, Colin. Becca 10 Auto, 9 Mint, uh, 2019 Rookies and Stars, uh, Kyler Murray. I like it. Kyler Murray has led my fantasy football team to three championships. He's so a legend. special place in my heart for him. Look, he was an MVP candidate a few years ago. Uh, I know the back half of the season didn't go great, but he was at one point... One of the leading MVP candidates. I think he's got what it takes to turn it around. Yeah, he does. I mean, the team's not great. He's got to overcome an injury, obviously, but I don't think it's over for Kyle. He's Murray. actually a very accurate passer. People don't realize how accurate he is. He's good. I know he gets some bad, timely picks, but accuracy, not an issue. Decision-making, maybe, but accuracy is there for Kyler Murray. And you throw in his legs, too. I mean, the guy, the guy's a good package. He's fast. He was... Five, four inches taller. <laughs> uh, Boston boys say, nice, love it if you could stop playing video games. Yeah. <laughs> he does love his video games. That might help. That might help. All right, 1050 here, Colin. Refreshing the break page. We are still three away on the diamond double and have been for a while. Here's what we'll do. Five minutes at 1055. If we are not full or one away on the diamond double, we are going home. Eight to go in the slab double. We get down to like five by 1055. We'll give them more time. Uh, we have everything is like eight away right now. Seven to go in the reps. And then six to go in a six spot basketball break. So you guys got five minutes. If no one orders in the next five minutes, Colin, no orders of any kind. That's it at 1055. So make those moves, guys, if you want to get more breaks tonight. Uh, hit of the show is Joe Burrow. I mean, the Randy Moss, the Trevor Lawrence are great. Joe Burrow's hit of the show, right? I think. It's got to be Joe Burrow authentic. I love all these helmets, though. All three of these. They're all nice. Let's show them off. Uh, let's do Moss first. I'll say Silver Meadow, Randy Moss, Camel authentic. It's color. I know Steven likes this one. Yeah. The look of the helmet, the Trevor Lawrence, is the nicest looking helmet. Uh, but all due respect to Lawrence, great player. Burrow and Moss are better. I think so. So at this point, Moss says Blake Miller legend. That's fair. You got that Moss Blake. That was legit, brother. That was legit. Steven says all three are my favorite. That's right. Steven oh, likes Joe Burrow is probably. Well, Joe Burrow is Steven's favorite. That's got to be your number one though. Yeah, uh, Burrow is the hit of the show for me as well. Number two quarterback in the league for me. And by the way, Jalen Hurts is my number three. He's out there in the slabs with six boxes left. Let's go. Disappointed I didn't get to see him, but happy yeah. I did get to see Devontae Smith and LaShawn McCoy. That was sick. That was cool. Love me some shady. Steven says Moss is his favorite all time. Wow. Yeah. So what, how do you rank these then, Steven? Because that's your favorite flash and you love Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. Joe Burrow's your favorite player in the NFL today, and this is your favorite player all time. Yeah. These helmets right here, not the players. These three helmets, what's your ranking? Yeah, right? With the signature, obviously. I'm going to go Moss for me, by the way. I'm going to say Moss because really? he's one of my favorites. 
I'm going to put so. Burrow only because of the show because it's a quarterback. It is a quarterback. Yeah, but personally, I would go Moss, Colin, for me. Angle. <laughs> All right. What do you guys think? We did knock off a couple, a few spots in the slab single. Dwayne Wright. Dwayne Wright making moves. Uh, but otherwise, crickets here a little bit. Let's go, common sense. <laughs> He's happy you're on the moss track. Yeah. Well, let's put the moss up. Let's put the moss up. Bajo. <laughs> Bajo. Hey, Randy Moss is taking the claim. All right. It's Randy. Randall in the first the spot. The new gold medalist. All right. So this is going to be it, Colin, in two minutes here. We're halfway on that single. All right. And the slap single. It's Dwayne Wright again, though. All right. I'll give him until 11 o'clock. That's it. So we got to close it up. Seven minutes, 11 o'clock. If the slab is closed at 11, we'll break it. Otherwise, refill for tomorrow. Seven minutes, plenty of time for four spots. It's just Dwayne right now, though. It's just Dwayne. So someone's got to join him. So what, I'm talking about a combination, Stephen. The helmet and the player. Yeah. What's the ranking? Yeah. Like, that's your favorite flag. Trevor Lawrence is Trevor Lawrence. definitely third. Uh, he's, he's great, but there's no way you can so put Trevor Lawrence. So the flash doesn't make up for it. No. Not for you. Not not for me, at least. Yeah. I'm a player type name guy. I'm a player name guy. So is Steven. Moss yeah. Lawrence. It doesn't change. Yeah. 100%. That's probably how it is for me, too. I thought you said Burrow. I first. do. Yeah, but it is Randy Moss. Yeah. I'm just trying to think what I'd want. I mean, if I'm actually being completely honest, if it's my PC. Yeah. Probably Randy Moss, Trevor Lawrence, Joe Burrow. Ooh. Because I love this flash helmet. Yeah. And I have a lot of faith in Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's decisions. It's tough. It is tough. All three will be in the hit video tonight, Colin. That you don't have to know. choose. That's what's great. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, two away. All right. Looks like the customers are chasing uh, that Peyton Manning. All right. Get the slabs knocked out. Let's see Peyton Manning tonight. Let's go. 13-point lead for the Warriors. Mm. Three minutes to play in the third. Mm -mm -mm. Right there, though. I mean, a little run. I want the Warriors to win. I mean, I I don't want to. Warriors risk it too are winning, much. and they're not covering. Uh, well, Blake got the diamond double to one away. All right, Blake. Things are interesting here, Blake. We can Blake it. We can break it. We so, can Blake it. Blake it. Oh, it's sold out actually. Is that right? Did someone else hop in. Michael Miller. Michael Miller. All right. So diamond doubles coming up. If the slab is not closed by the time this is done, Colin, this will be the show. It's going to be done by 11 o'clock anyway, so time's out perfect. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll put the moss next to you. I'll keep the burrow here. Yeah, you missed out, Ronnie. That's right. You snooze, you lose, Ronnie. Uh, you can never wait around too long. Oh, Ronnie. 25 and 23. Thank you, Blake. We do have a diamond backup as well, by the way. Also really good. We can drop tomorrow. Yeah, you guys are going to be set, huh? Uh, love my moss and the chrome speed flex, says Boston oh, Boys. Oh, that sounds amazing. Was that out of our loaded dice series? Was he even with us at the time? I don't know. We've had some sick Randy Moss. That was sick. I still think the coolest one I've ever seen is that Adrian Peterson. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that, was, that was nice. I don't even know who was around for that. That's no, that watching. was nice. All right, so welcome to the Jungle 4, William, Mike, and Blake. William Manor, Alan bet on the uh, Kings to cover six and a half. So Golden State looks good here. Yes, I want it here, he says. There you go. Unbelievable. The butte. Was trying to be funny and was waiting it backfired, says Ronnie. That's right, Ronnie. <laughs> Jokes on you, brother. A Warriors death hitting the spread, says Blake. I should have bet it, Colin. I should have bet it. I was thinking about it. But that, we got him in the parlay at least. The money line in the parlay. True. Four, five, six, seven, and eight clicks. It's six and a half. I mean, they, they don't need a huge run. We'll see. Blake NFC North, William NFC South, Blake NFC East, NFC West. Looking for that Debo in the West. Mike's got the rest of them in the AFC minus the AFC West, which is Blake. 
Getting confused, Mike and Blake. All about the AFC there. All right, 23 first, the MJ boxed, and 25 next in the diamonds. Good luck, guys. See that heat? Here we go. Well, let's see that heat. I mean, you don't really miss in these diamonds, Colin. The non-headliners are also very good. Pretty good. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. I like this one. Uh, the Bears' new number one receiver. Uh, three 1,000-yard receiving seasons with the Panthers in a row at one point. Uh, didn't get it this last year, but was consistent before as well. P.J. Moore, salute the service authentic. Blake Miller. Nice. Let's go, Blake. And up the diamonds. Little D.J. Moore. Yeah, he gave these guys a round to play without him, and now he's back. He's back, and he's not messing around. He actually missed out on the burrow spot. That's right, but he wanted the boss anyway, so. Yeah, worked out well for him. Slabs did close. Slab is closed. Thank you, Dwayne. 21 in the slab, sir. Uh, that is coming up. We'll get this DJ Moore put away. We got one more coming up in the diamonds. Only six boxes left, Con. I see them all. You see them all. Six left in the slab, six left in the diamonds. So one and four coming up after slabs. Uh, we'll have a new diamond as well after the current diamond. And actually, then Blake, we have a diamond backup, and then it's loaded dice afterwards after the next diamond. So loaded dice will be in the break room at some point this weekend, I think, as well. Uh, yeah, sold out quicker uh, than I could get in. Wanted Burrow had issues with the internet, says Blake. I know. That's why you got your spots right away, Colin. You don't want to leave it up to the internet. It's yeah. not a good idea. Well, I mean, I don't know. Well, you say it all the time. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but yeah. it's just, you, you just... Everybody doesn't want to be the starter. They want to get in when they know it's going to close. But, and then they miss out. And then you miss out because something like an unforeseen thing happens. Exactly. It's, like when, it's like when you try to give yourself five minutes of buffer room when you're leaving in the morning. Yeah. And then you get stuck in traffic and now you're late. Go the extra mile. Get yourself 10, 15 minutes. Story of my life. <laughs> Story of my life, Colin. Uh, nice hit, says Ronnie. Go Bears, says Michael. So we have one more coming up in the double. Is this Debo Samuel here? Debo. Box 25 on the way. Then we have 21 in the slabs. And if you guys want to keep breaking, get those spots now. If we're not at least within five or less after the slab break and in these breaks, Colin, that'll be the show. Got to be five or less away after this. Oh, this is something different. This is kind of, actually the first time ever having this guy in the break room. Uh, kind of good timing, actually. Oh. He's just been cleared for football activity. Oh. Uh, we got Jamar Hamlin. Wow. Salute the service authentic. AFC East. Mike Miller with the Jamar Hamlin authentic. Nice. Okay, a little different right there. That's cool. I never had him in the break room before. Yeah. He was at the he was at the show. It yeah. Makes sense. So there you go. That's very cool. Demar Hamlin. I mean, this guy's story speaks for itself. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Now we are happy that he is a healthy. Looks like he'll be returning to the sidelines this year and playing some football. That's great, man. Nice hit, hit, Mike Miller on Demar Hamlin. And that is something different. Something different here in the break room. Put the Hamlin away. Let's see if it's going to be Manning time, maybe Jalen Hurts time. We will see very shortly here. I'll take some of your boxies. Houston having storms all day, says Blake. Okay. Well, stay safe, Blake. We had some storms here too, Colin. The weather is no joke. Hamlin says, Blake, that's sick, incredible. A sick indeed, man. Great story. A great story for Jamar Hamlin. God, he's here. <laughs> literally. Uh, literally. Slab break, Dwayne Wright, William Adams, Cameron Warren, and Mike Miller. The Sammy Sosa box, 21 going off the ticker in the slab cards. So we have a three and six chance at a headliner here. Cool, love it, and good to see him back, says Michael. And Cameron, he's still young. You never know. He's a young player. Uh, you know, guys that are in... You know, two years into the league, plenty of time to make up for it. 
Um, he's been decent. I mean, he was a starting player for the Bills. Mm-hmm. He's, I mean, he's not he's not a bad player. I get it. He's not a Pro Bowler, but there's time for sure for Hamlin. Absolutely. Five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, we got ourselves. I think Dwayne Wright's got the Manning spot in the AFC South. Who's got the East? The NFC East is Mike Miller. Could it be Miller time for Jalen Hurts? Uh, Dwayne NFC North, William NFC South, Mike NFC East, William NFC West, Dwayne AFC North, AFC South, Cameron AFC East, and Dwayne AFC West. Uh, the show was what a month ago, three weeks mm-hmm. ago. Yep, in Virginia. Yeah, it was I missed him. That... I was upset. He he was Sunday, so I left yeah. before. But I know Colin was part of that team, uh, but he was one of the Sunday guys. Luke or Matt got him. You never know, Cameron. We'll see. You never know. Yeah, we'll see. There's been a lot of guys that start that way. You yeah, get your big the, break, and then... The beauty of the NFL. You don't know what's going to happen. Uh, we'll see what happens with Mr. DeMar. You could be right, but you never know. Yeah. All right, here we go. 21 of 25 coming up, and here's my card slap card series. Is this the Peyton Manning moment? Is it Jalen Hurts, Colin? Oh, yeah, it's Peyton Manning. Wow. QB Extra, Fleer card, trading card, authentic auto, Peyton Manning, AFC South, Wayne Wright Ooh. with the Manning, five-time NFL MVP. Uh, that is the most ever beautiful coat card. Nice. Uh, that a baby, man of the slap cards, Wayne Wright. Let's go, Dwayne. That's the right way to do it, baby. Peyton Manning card. Beauty, man. Awesome, says Michael Miller. Awesome indeed on the Peyton Manning. The king of the cards still on his throne. I have 100%, man. Uh, it's a Peyton Manning card, too. That is clean. Very much so. Get this bad boy written up. And then we'll see where we're at on the break page column. This could be it. Unless these breaks are close. He is, Blake. Legend of the cards. He is a slab legend. Yeah, 100%. I mean, slabs are easy to store. Those are the ones to hide from the wife. You can hide them easiest, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the easiest one. Would love one. to see his collection someday. It's a pretty good one. Uh, great QB and SNL host. Have a great night, guys, says Michael Miller. Yeah. Peyton Manning. Uh, he is my second favorite quarterback ever. And you know what, Colin? We'll put him in the hit video. Wow, he's in. A uh, hit video is going to be Burrow, Moss, Lawrence, and Peyton Manning. Uh, pretty nice hit video tonight. Have a good night, Mike. Congratulations, dude. Uh, headliners in the minis. We got Warren Moon, Joe Montana, Keenan Allen, and Brian Dawkins. 12 minis left. Four headliners left. Blake Miller. It's amazing all the great stuff we've pulled and how much good stuff is still out there across all the series. It is nuts. Uh, taking a peek at the break page. I'm seeing a lot of eights here, Colin. We got eight to go on the slabs, eight to go on the diamond double, eight in the minis, eight in the diamond single, seven in the reps, eight in the slabs, eight in the jerseys, and six in the basketball. So everything is pretty much wide open. Uh, you guys have been great tonight. I'll give you four more minutes, 11.06. We got to be within four or less, Colin. That means if you guys want to tackle something, someone gets two spots, Someone else gets two spots. If we're not at least four away on a break, uh, this will be the show here at 1110. So make those moves ASAP. ASAP like Rocky. Otherwise, uh, that could be uh, something we pick up tomorrow. Could be good breaks tomorrow. Uh, Slap cards, five left in the series. Is it Ronnie or Miller time, says Boston Boys? Could be. Look, uh... I don't think we've had a Jordan signature, at least in my time. Uh, we had a Jordan slab card, non-autograph before. I don't know. So I started Ultimate September of 2021. We've been breaking boxes since 2019, December 2019. In my time here, no MJ yet. I was just about to say, we do have a Dennis Rodman, though. Yeah, we do. And I imagine it's, I mean, it might not be a Bulls ball, but it's probably just like a Spalding or a Wilson or something. Mm-hmm. Not a Pistons ball is what I'm saying. Yeah. But I guess it could be. I don't know. Well, the Pistons were a central division anyway. Yeah, you'd still win. Yeah, it's a central division hit. 
But yeah, seven, one and seven chance at Dennis Rodman. Uh, it's eleven oh seven, guys. Uh, I said at least four away. Unless you guys make these orders right away, this will be it. Uh, so I know Boston Boy says let's go, but I'm not seeing orders, Colin. And I did before this break say we got to be six away or less. Before we started this break, we're still eight away. So I'm giving them extra time. Already being friendly. Yeah, call me the Grinch, but uh, break page is wide open. Uh, now's the time to pounce. Otherwise, we'll wrap it up here in three minutes. You already know Ronnie's got like four things in his cart. He's just waiting for 11.10. That's fine. Uh, once we're off, we're not hopping back on. William got two spots in the basketballs. We got to be three away in the basketball. It's got to be halfway there or less on a break. Uh, so Ronnie says, many double, let's go. We knock out one spot in two minutes in the basketball, Colin. I'll give him more time. Ronnie is in the mini. The mini double. All right, Ronnie. Now's that time, boys. Now or until tomorrow. Today for some of these guys. It's past midnight for That's some true. of them. We're still here. All right. Anyone else want to break something? Let me know. I want to break something. I mean, a basketball would be nice. I like basketballs. We are four to go there in the basketballs. One minute. 9077 Warriors College. Sheesh. 30 for Curry. And actually, I said 30. Each for Curry and Clay, I'm half right. Curry's got 30. Oh, God. <laughs> only six for Clay. That's not great. He hit like one of his first shots. He's been ice cold ever since. Jordan Poole is one for six from three, and he still has 14 points. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Wiggins, 20 tonight. How about Moses Moody, 13 off the bench? That go. a boy. Not bad, Moses. That a boy. All right, Colin, I think this is going to do it here. Uh, we are still four away on the basketballs. I think I'm pretty happy with tonight's show. Four hours and ten minutes. I got to make sure I don't lose my voice. I'm already starting to lose it, too. Mm -hmm. I can you hear do, it a little bit on my last You five-hour shows every night. You lose your voice. Uh, we did not get within at least four away. Uh, so that's going to do it for us. Oh, uh, we did three away on the basketballs. All right, I got, I'll give you guys two oh, minutes boy. to close out the basketballs. <laughs> Where's Blake? Two minutes, 11, 10, two minutes to close out the basketballs. We are three away on the basketballs. We are halfway there. Nope, we're closed. Closed. All right, Blake <laughs> wants 22. 22, I see. Perfect. Box 22 coming up. Pouring rain, says Blake. That's not good. Jeez. Not good. Look at the radar. Oh. I trust you. Hurricane. Oh, well, stay safe, Blake. Do stay safe, my brother. Uh, make sure you are safe. All right. So 22 in the basketballs. And for Rodman here in the break room, Colin. Denise. Folklore Press, William. And Blake, William Adams, and William Manor here in the basketballs. All right, good luck, guys. Eight times coming up. 22. Uh, 22. Five Drexler box. Six, seven, and eight. Oh, sorry if that was loud. Uh, Blake, you've got the Atlantic Division. Central is going to be William Adams, the Southeast William Adams, Blake Miller Northwest, and the Pacific, and William the Southwest Division here, the basketballs. Warriors up 18, Colin. Sheesh. This game is over. Go oh, Blake Miller parlay. Yeah, right? It's actually all three of us have it. Yeah. Phillies and Lakers, let's go. Uh, 22 of 25 coming up here in the basketballs. Hey, I'm just happy they won. It's 11-12 right now, Colin. 11-12. Uh, we are six to go in the minis. we got to be at least two or less away by 11-15. If we're not within 
two or less on a break, I will actually call it 11.15. This is the last break of the night, unless we are closed out or within two spots here at 11.15. You know me, I like to add on and not even numbers, yeah. like 15, 20, etc. And you know, we were debating whether he was pulled or not, Colin. Turns out this young man, I guess not so much young man anymore, but he has not been pulled yet. We've got the shortest player in NBA history. Oh. It's a Muggsy Bogues basketball. Five foot three, a 7.6 assists per game in his career. Uh, Hornet star, Southeast Division. That is William Adam. Oh boy, Muggsy. Uh, crazy. Muggsy Bogues. It's Muggsy. funny that we like started our day talking about Muggsy Bogues, and here we are pulling him at the end. Yeah. All right, nicely done, William, on the Muggsy Bogues. Love the little man, says William. Oh, yeah. Uh, Blake, I'll give you five minutes, brother. Uh, unfortunately, if the technology doesn't work in five minutes, that's going to be it, my man. Uh, look, I tell these guys, we got to keep these orders hot to stay on late. Uh, I lose my voice if we're on past 11. My girlfriend's losing her mind. Where are you for movie night tonight? Uh, you guys want to be on late. Order's got to be quick after 11. Blake, I'll give you four minutes now. If we can figure it out in four minutes, we'll break it. Otherwise, brother, we'll break it tomorrow. That's a good uh, good signing point here. Love the little man, though. Moxie Bokes. Oh, yeah. What are you looking to hop into, Blake? Or not Blake. Uh, yeah, Blake, Blake. What, did you, what did you want tonight? I'll give you a few minutes, brother. I'll be honest with you, my man. Uh, as much as I encourage folks ordering, no storm is worth your life. Hopefully you're safe and at home. Uh, if the internet's not working, uh, just make sure you're safe. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. Uh, don't be breaking and losing, you know, things. Maybe, I guess, that, is that a thunderstorm or a tornado warning Ooh. in Houston? Looking at the radar here. Yeah. Oh, it's coming, man. It's right above him. The tornado? Uh, or the thunderstorm. Heavy, heavy rain. Okay. Interesting. All right. A few more minutes for Blake Miller. Yeah. And I don't know what part of Houston he is in, so he might already be there. But we are wide open here. Wide open. Well, what are you looking to buy into Blake? Just so I know. Wide open on the brakes, guys. I mean, minis is the best bet, Colin. Six to go in the minis. Blake might buy out a basketball, though, for Dennis Rodman. True. Only how many left in the basketballs? Six. Six left. I think. Yep, six. I think you're right, Colin. Blake just got in, actually. That was the basketball. Oh, that was the last one. Okay, my bad. You're right. That was the last order here. Although. He's in. He's got four in the basketballs. All right. Four spots to go. Uh, two spots to go. Two spots to go. My bad. All right. Who's out there, guys? We have about 13 of you guys watching right now. Which of the 13 are interested in boxes? I know Blake, William Manor, William Adams, and Ronnie are interested. Uh, does anyone else want to break boxes? I guess it's all we need is the right people, Colin. Whether it's Ain't that the truth. I mean, we may have a hundred people watching sometimes. No, we have about a dozen right now. Yep. But they're ordering. You get Ronnie and Solaco, Blake Miller, and William Adams all in the same room. They These boys want to play. They won't stop. These they, they aren't boys, Common. They're men. They're not, they are, they're not even men. They're men. They're animals. They're animals. They're animals. They're hungry for breaks. Eleven. Here we go. We got an order coming in. There he is. William Adams. All one right. to go in the basketball. One to go. All right, let's break this. Uh, one spot to go in the basketball. And I wasn't going to say anything. Where's Brennan Kennedy? No, what are you going to say? We are currently at 29 boxes. Uh-oh. All right. Oh, if they, if they requested, Colin. <laughs> if they requested. He's losing his voice. I'm losing my voice here. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Ronnie and Solaco has closed the basketballs. Basketball box number, guys. Let me know. The B-balls. Uh, we have, let's see. 
as we'll see steven 23 in the basketballs all right 23 going off jordan box the jordan box why not could it be his former teammate uh rodman here Did I make that red? Now I don't know where I put it. Playing basketball. It's gonna be right to the right of that one. Give me one second. You're good. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. There it is. Ronnie wants the song. Doesn't care about the ball. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, hey. He said, "I just want the song." <laughs> Whoever wins this break chooses the song. So it's Blake Miller, William Adams, or Ronnie and Salako. So winner of this break chooses the song I do here, Colin. Uh, that works. That's a fair trade-off here. Eight times coming up. Good luck, guys. I mean, Blake's got the best odds at the song choice. Let's be honest. He's got four of these spots, Colin. He's got four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, William up top in the Atlantic spot. We got Blake, Central, Southeast, Northwest, Pacific, and Ronnie Southwest here in the basketballs. All right, here we go. Must be PG-13. I, I will not see any swears. Like, I don't even care about the ball. <laughs> Does not matter. Bob is the only guy who doesn't want to hear me sing. Everyone else wants to hear me sing, Colin. I get it. Bob is the only guy who doesn't enjoy my singing. Bob's in bets. He doesn't have to. Yeah. He doesn't have to hear it right now. Got a basketball coming up. It's JSA certified. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh my gosh! Okay. Uh, this isn't a way to end the night potentially. Now we got a Dennis Rodman hey, basketball. The worm. Seven-time rebounding champ. Uh, basketball Hall of Famer. Uh, NBA champion five times. That's the Central Division. Uh, that's Blake Miller. He's got the Rodman. The worm says, Brennan, where were you at, Brennan? Uh, you missed out on Dennis Rodman. Uh, fantastic basketball Ooh. right there. It's Miller time. Uh, Blake Miller with the Dennis the menace, Jeez. Rodman. Eight-time all-defense, seven-time mm. rebounding champion, mm. five NBA championships, mm. two-time defensive POY. Yes, sir. Hall of Fame. Well-deserved. Uh, nice hit, Blake. Wow, cool one, Blake, says Ronnie. Uh, not only the photo headliners, a lot of heat in the basketballs, for sure. No kidding. Love the crew in here, says Ronnie. Right back at you, guys. We got the best crew in the game. Ruth. So Blake's got the choice of a song. Oh, I can boy. sing it are right you, now. I can sing it tomorrow. Are you all right? Uh, whatever you guys want. Are you gonna make it? I'm gonna make it, Colin. I think my voice is uh, is losing there. Blake says single in the diamonds question mark. Oh right. my! All right. A best family here says Blake. Thank you, Blake. I'm telling Stacy. Uh, great show. <laughs> I'm out, says William. See you tomorrow for the one and four. I hope. Ooh, baby. I hope. So actually, the one and four, Colin, we will drop whenever the basketballs or the slabs close. We are five away on the slabs and five away on the basketballs. Whatever closes first, one and four enters the break room. I'll take some boxes, too. Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. Oh, great song. All right. I'm going to be honest with you, Blake. I don't know the song that well. Uh, how about this, Colin? How about? How about some homework, Blake? Uh, I will look up the song. Uh, I will familiarize myself with the song, and I'll do the song for you next time in the break room. I, I, I don't know it well enough by heart, Colin, to be honest. It's kind of funny, yeah. I was about to say, it's kind of about a storm, so it's kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, pick a good song, Common, says Blake. Okay. Yeah, what's one? How about you throw a couple out that you're willing to sing and uh, see what Blake likes? All right. Um, all right, real quick. We are eight to go in the slab cards, eight to go in the diamond double, six in the minis, eight in the diamond single. Everything is seven or eight away. 11-22. Uh, we must be 
uh, within at least two here by 11.25. Ronnie will hop in again, putting it to three. Uh, Blake. I'll offer up some suggestions. Uh, here's one. I can do, can you feel the love tonight? Yep, yep. Come I can do, court. I can do, my heart will go on. Oh my. You're going to try to do my heart will go on yes. after five hours of breaking? Yes, sir. Wow. Uh, I can do Barbie girl. Please not that one. <laughs> uh, man, I feel like a woman. Okay, yeah. Those are my karaoke songs. Or I can do Every Breath You Take by the Police as well. Ooh, that's a good song. Uh, those are the options. Uh, I am a little bit surprised, Roddy. I am a little bit surprised. Yeah, great auto indeed, Vernon Knight. Love me uh, some Dennis Rodman. So what do you think, Blake? Otherwise, this is it, 11.25 here, Colin. Maybe I'll do the song tomorrow for Blake. I mean, if you want a more quality performance, it sounds like you might want to wait. But yeah, maybe. I don't know, though, because Blake's got work. I don't even know if he's going to be here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you don't have to if you don't want to, Common, but honestly, my man card is taken tonight, and I like Celine Dion. Uh, all right. Wow. All right. It's my heart will go on. It is, Colin. Ah, uh, man. All right. I gotta like pull up the lyrics. Maybe I'll like mute it though, so it's not heard. I can look it up on Google. My heart will go on lyrics. You gotta be over here doing the. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Here we go. If a break is not full by the time I'm done, Colin. Uh, this will be it. I'm going one time around. I know it plays multiple times. We'll go one time in, around. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Silence, please. <laughs> she She's heard it before, Ronnie. She hears it every week at karaoke. <laughs> Don't worry. She knows. Oh, man. All right. Here we go, Colin. Here we go. Did, did you hit record? Oh, yeah, I should record this. Yeah, I mean, this, this probably should go All on. Right. Uh, uh, lighters and phone lights in the air, everybody, says oh. Brennan. All right, all right. Let my me get my phone here. Room. Uh, he turned off the lights. <laughs> He's ready. ready. This is not going to be as good as these guys think. The problem with this song is I don't get to dance as much, but that's all right. How do you dance to this song? I can't. That's the right. <laughs> so, uh, I dropped my diet talking. Oh my god. All right. All right, Kyle. Let's do this thing. Let's do it. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let me hit record. Uh, what's wait like? I'm doing what do you mean? Wait, we're already in this. Wait some. What what do I have to wait? What are we waiting for? We're doing it live, Colin. We're doing it. We're live. doing it live. It's already been committed. We what's want the, the full, full what's effect? the full common effect? Is he changing it? Wait, you want to wait till tomorrow? Oh no, we're doing it. We're doing it live. Every night in my dreams, I see you, I feel you. This <laughs> is how I know you go on far across the distance and spaces between us. You have come to show you go on near far wherever you are. I believe that the heart does go on once more. <laughs> you open the door ah, and you're here in my heart and my heart will go on <laughs> love can touch us one time and last a lifetime and never let go till we're gone uh love was when i loved you one true time i'd hold to hold tight colin in my life will always Go on 
near far wherever you are i believe that the heart does go on once more the heart does go on and my heart will go on and on and on colin uh, you're here there's nothing i fear and i know that my heart will go on will stay this way forever colin forever ever you are safe in my heart oh. you are safe in my heart and my heart will go on and on wow done bravo done. bravo i lost my voice right, look you earned that one that was good, <laughs> that. That I, almost was good. I literally almost fell out of the chair <laughs> <laughs> so here's the oh my here's god the most honest comment william manor says no copyright infringement needed <laughs> you won't recognize yeah, it. dying uh ronnie oh. says play says uh my life is complete uh, phenomenal team player. I wish you work with me, says Roddy. Uh, it's like hearing an angel, says Brennan. That was amazing. Sounded amazing. Could make it professionally on an opera, says Roddy. Uh, heck yeah, common. All right. That is the single best seated version of My Heart Will Go On I've ever heard. 100%. I've never heard someone so, sing it better sitting down. Good news, Colin. Uh, there will be more songs to be had. We can work on interactive dance songs oh next time. Oh, my gosh. Um, it might be just <laughs> That's probably what it is, yeah. It it's, sounded great in person. It's the speakers, William. <laughs> we're going to start selling we're, tickets. We're, we're getting a new studio with fresh mics. It'll sound better, I promise. Oh, Lord. Uh, that was fun. <laughs> Ronnie's dog <laughs> too. Oh, my gosh. Uh, his All dog right. went away whimpering. Uh, well, that was cool. What a way! What a way to cap it! Yeah, Dennis Rodman and my, my heart God. will go on. Whew. I'm literally sweating after that. I was sweating Colin. over here, just laughing. Oh my gosh! All right. Wow. We gotta get thirty or more in a show, and I might do it again. Sure, well, we're dropping one and four tomorrow. I think you're doing it again. Oh my gosh! <laughs> if Be they ready. request it, I'm hoping they might forget. Maybe we'll see. You think they're gonna forget this? <laughs> I don't know. As Bob would say, it might be forgettable. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh my gosh! Uh, All right, guys. I think it's Ronnie. Uh, many helmets left. Warren Moon, Joe Montana, Keenan Allen, and Brian Dawkins, Blake Miller. I think it's just it's easier Woo. when the song is playing, Colin, and when your voice is not completely gone, but still fun. Oh yeah, still fun. I had fun. Uh, so yep. I think this might do it here for us tonight, Colin. Uh, 11.30 p.m. Everything is pretty open. I did say we got to be uh, close. Our last order was 14 minutes ago. Actually, no, we did get one order in between there, but we're still pretty open on the stuff. Uh, Blake is doing the free mini, okay. Signature Club mini, Blake, is that right? Signature club or the spot? Ah, uh, well, I might be quitting, Blake. You guys might not be quitting. <laughs> Got to get those spots in. Ronnie Mini says Blake. Well, I'll give you guys four minutes. Oh boy, that's it, Colin. Got to be closed here. There you go, William. Minis are Colin six away so must be closed 11 35 i'm hopping off at 11 35 on the dot so must be closed by 11 34 if ronnie closes them by 11 35 to be funny it would be a good refill for tomorrow <laughs> don't test him ronnie i'm not hopping back on the air ronnie uh that'll be it here my man just gave his heart into a performance he's not messing around right now Get in there, Ronnie. I mean, look, if the orders are coming in, we'll break boxes. We've had one order the last 20 minutes here, Colin. Well, I guess last 18 minutes, if we're being exact. We're being exact. I got to do math. But, uh, yeah, we are wrapping up, Ronnie, unless you guys want to close up the minis by 1134. 
Uh, it's 11.32 and 20 seconds. When the clock strikes 11.35, we are hopping off. So get those spots right now. Otherwise, great pre-fill for tomorrow. We're not hopping back on, Colin. I'm going to put that on right there right now. <laughs> Just saying Gotta it right now. Got to close it up. I love getting momentum in the happy hour show. There's no love for the happy hour show with these late night shows. Got to give the happy hour show some love. Yeah, give it some love. Oh, gosh. That was... That was something. That was something. That was an event. You're welcome. Tonight has been a spectacle. You are welcome. Blake's got some spots in. Not closed, Blake. It's not closed. We are three left. If it doesn't close in the next minute, Crap. we gone. Could be good pre-fill for tomorrow, though. Oh, yeah. Wrapping up on the mini. I guess Blake is a Florida guy, too. They're a different... What coast are they at? He's a Texas guy. Oh, Texas guy? Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's a Texas guy. I keep thinking Bucks. That's right. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. There's a Bucks uh, season ticket, though, I think. Okay. Well. Ronnie's going to test me here, isn't he? You know it. You know it. I'm going to prove to Ronnie I'm not falling for his tricks, Colin. I'm telling you, it is 11, 33, and 43 seconds. That means Ronnie has one minute and 12 seconds here to get the last three spots, Colin. One minute and 12 seconds uh -huh. and counting. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Oh, I got an order. It's Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie All right, this will be it, though, Colin. <laughs> Uh, it's been a long show, almost five hours of breaking. These breaks are not filling up quick enough. This will be the last break tonight, unless something is full while we do this. If you guys fill up a break while we do this, uh, we'll break another thing. Otherwise, last break of the night. Back kid number five. Yeah. Blake, you got time? You want to close up this break? By the time this is done, we'll break it. Uh, that is going to be, what, about five minutes, Colin? You guys want to close up the next mini in five minutes? We can do it. Uh, and my challenge for these guys is if we can get 20 boxes done in the first two hours tomorrow, we'll do songs again. Because these guys are late at night. I get it. You guys got stuff going on, uh, but we got to get some rest too here. So, guys, this will be it. The last break of the night, unless we are closed up uh, while we do this break. All right. Come back, kid. Bonnie, William, Blake, and Ronnie here. Did he change his numbers? I don't know. <laughs> I think he did. 30 and 25, he says now. You want to throw some more boxes up there? Yes, sir. 30 and 25. Cuba. You got Cuba tomorrow. There you go. Cuba. Well, we'll see you when we see you, son. Warriors. Did they win? Officially? Oh, yeah. I think so. They covered easily? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, they did. All right. Well, I told you, Colin, don't don't bet against them. Don't you bet against them. 114, 114 97. Good news, Suns will cover here, Colin. No bad news. They're up 13 right now. Doesn't matter. All right. It means nothing. Got five, six, seven, and eight clicks. All right, Blake up top in the NFC North. Right below, we got Ronnie, NFC South, NFC East. Blake, NFC West. Blake, AFC North. Ronnie, AFC South. William, AFC East. And Ronnie, AFC West. 25 and 30. We got the steroid box. McGuire and Bonds. Oh, we got a headliner here. Uh, we have the Hall of Fame safety. It's Brian Dawkins. AFC West on the Bronco lid. Nine-time Pro Bowler, Weapon X, Ronnie Insalaco. That a boy, Ronnie? Congrats on your Brian Dawkins, sir. Nice hit, man. Nice hit on the Dawkins. Where did I put my pen? I'm going to borrow Colin's pen because I put mine somewhere. Really? Oh, great. Right. <laughs> no, uh, I got it. I found it. It was underneath my keyboard. Oh, God, you got so discombobulated on the performance. I know. I got, um, it was a performance I gave my life for, man. A once in a lifetime performance. Well, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. 
We'll do it at some point again. Brian Dawkins for Ronnie. Headliner. Headliner. That was on the change the box call for Blake. That's right. The amended one. See, these stickers are right. 30 and 35. Some of us have 25. These definitely say 35 here. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. I think it's about to double up, actually, unless it's a different team. Hold on. No, not a double up. It is a double up. He's got the East anyway. And Ryan's got the NFC East. Uh, we have one of the best running quarterbacks of all time, the most rush yards by a quarterback. It is Michael Vick, Ooh, Ronnie and Thalaco. That's Congrats nice. Congrats on the Vick and the Brian Dawkins. Oh, very nice. Ronnie, doesn't it feel good to end on an eagle? That is beautiful. And that was the closer spot. That's right. Little closer magic for Ronnie in Salako. Beautiful, Ronnie. Absolutely beautiful. That a boy, Michael Vick. Uh, it's actually the my favorite kind of eagle lid, Colin. So cool. Uh, the Kelly Green. They're bringing them back next year. For one game, right? Or Yeah, that's okay. their alternate Perfect. instead of the black. All right, let me see that Randy Moss. Randall? Now, Randall's the hit of the show. I know we're talking about Burrow. I'm a Moss fan. Randy Moss camo is my hit of the show. Blake says, love me some Vic. Yeah, how could you not? MV7. He's an right. absolute legend. All right, Colin. Uh, we are four away on the diamonds. I did say everything had to be full. Uh, this is going to be it for tonight. Uh, it's been almost five hours. About to be 11.40, like to sign off on even numbers. That diamond could be a good pre-fill. Everything else is eight away or seven or six. Diamond four away will be a good start to tomorrow. Uh, so any final thoughts from you, Colin, for tonight's show? What what a show. <laughs> it was yeah. a trip. Four hours and 40 minutes. Start to finish. And I said it earlier, and I still think it's true. We pulled a lot of great stuff, a lot of really great stuff, and there's still... Yes, a lot did. of heat left. So, and we have a one in four coming tomorrow. I'm very excited for that. It's gonna be sick. You I'll won't be... see it because you're not back in the room until Wednesday. Oh, yeah, I'll be watching that though. That's yeah, too good. That'll to miss. be fun. Too good to miss. Uh, Blake, I think that's it for tonight. Uh, look, my man. I'll be honest with you, brother. Um, hosting the show for five hours takes a lot out of you physically. I love you guys. I want to make more money, but the mental and physical health is part of it. Uh, you want to break more boxes, uh, we got to consistently get done a little bit earlier at night. I've been here till midnight most days the last week. Uh, so, and we got to be here for another, like, 30 minutes at least, Colin, post-show stuff. Uh, so I do apologize, Blake. Uh, that is going to do it for us tonight. Uh, looking forward to plenty more heat tomorrow uh, in the break room. So we will see you guys right back here. Uh, tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Time.